you've got this quick. Well, a very good morning and welcome to Manchester, the host venue for the Adidas Manchester Marathon for 2023, an event that was revived back in 2012 and has been a growing success since then. 28,000 entries for today. And I think the most astonishing fact is that 11,000 of them are first time runners. That is astonishing. Uh, some are in for a shock. Some are in for one of the best experiences of, of their life. It really is an astonishing venue and Manchester priding itself on the fact that this is one of the friendliest marathons in the world. Uh, it's the fourth biggest in Europe. It's the second biggest in the UK, of course, just behind London, uh, but massively popular. And uh, it's fast, it's flat. It's one where a number of athletes will be looking for PPs for qualifying events. And uh, we will see how it pans out today. Great uh, event last year, of course. Johnny Meller taking the win with a record time of 2.10.46. We had a record in the women's as well last year. Uh, so uh, everyone expecting a bit of the same, but there is quite a breeze blowing, as you can see, and that may well affect the runners uh, in the latter stages of the course. Old Trafford, of course, the uh, venue, and let's have a look at the course for this year. Make sure you're one step ahead of the action on Sunday, 16th of April with our preview of the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon route. The 26.2 mile journey begins under the Trafford Arch with the A56 closed to handle a whopping 28,000 participants. Early miles will see everyone head through Trafford and Hume on the Chalton Road on their way to Manchester City Centre. Upon arriving in Deansgate, expect big crowds and an even bigger atmosphere, including our brand new sing-along zone, blasting out classic Mancunian anthems. There'll also be performances from members of the amazing Honey Feet and the Horse Puppets, plus Ben Williams and Anna Ashcroft belting out tunes. Say cheese as you pass an official photography point where your photo might feature on our giant screen before heading out into Greater Manchester. The first relay switch point for four-leg teams is nearby, accompanied by a fabulous live performance by Manchester School of Samba. Bridgewater Way leads to the iconic Theatre of Dreams, Manchester United's world-famous Old Trafford Stadium. Here, we'll also pass the O2 Victoria Warehouse, as well as Hotel Football, owned by United Legends. The wall of sound blasting out great tunes at the seven and a half mile mark precedes a direct five mile section beginning on Chester Road. To keep spirits high, there'll be pom-pom waving action from the British Art Foundation cheerleaders, plus DJs, MCs and a cheer team at Stretford Public Hall. Expect some swing anthems from Dave Bradley and some absolute bangers from the popular Underground Collective. Their DJs will be pumping out techno tunes under the M60. South of the M60, the Cancer Research UK cheer point will give everybody a boost before reaching sail and their very own Salvation Army Band. Just before the halfway mark is the next relay point where it's time for both two and four member teams to switch. The second half of the challenge begins by entering Timperley with the Alzheimer's Society cheer point and the sensational Call on Steel drumming band creating a dramatic atmosphere. Look out for the legendary Frank Sidebottom statue in Timperley shortly before the Sense Charity cheer point. Plus, we have tunes from the inspirational British Sign Language Choir, followed by some feel-good hits from the Rock Choir. Ultranum is always a huge highlight, boasting relentless support and music over a short one and a half mile section. In 2023, Ultranum welcomes the Music Place Choir, Little Belters Kids Choir, and a boost from Ultranum FC. It's an experience you're unlikely to forget. After making it past the 17 mile mark and onto Shaftesbury Avenue, the beaten track DJ will be cranking out the tunes, pushing everyone back to Timperley, where we find the final relay change and music from St. John's Church. At the top of Brooklands Road is the 20 mile mark, signalling 10K until the finish. 
The Cheshire Pop Choir will be on hand to keep spirits high through Sale More before another chance to hear the Underground Collective, Dave Bradley and witness the eye-kicking British Art Foundation cheerleaders. The final push begins by entering Charlton Kamadi, with DJ Mitchell Bruff spinning tunes on the way. Another quality DJ on Seymour Grove indicates it's less than a mile to go before our heroes cross the finish line to complete the challenge. I'm exhausted just reading about it. Route and activities are always subject to small changes. For more detail on the 2023 route, including water and science in sport gel stations, plus road closure times, head to our official website, manchestermarathon.co.uk. Well, I hope you got all that. It is going to be some affair. It's not just about the running. It's about the entertainment as well. And you won't find a marathon runner out there who doesn't appreciate what a difference it makes. One, to have uh, music on the way round, but two, to have the spectators there. And it should be said, we've got a thousand volunteers in action today. What a difference they make. Uh, without them, this event would not take place. So congratulations and thanks to all of them for, for turning up today being involved and it's not just about being on duty for the four five six hours of the race uh, they've been involved for many many weeks prior to this starting so uh, everyone in place the wheelchairs will be the first away uh, because they're the quickest uh, the current world record at around one hour 25 astonishing speeds uh, we're looking for something around the 135 136 mark i think that would be an impressive performance today and uh, Again, the wind makes a massive difference. The surface on the roads is excellent, so that won't be an issue. And all these custom-made uh, wheelchairs, you'll see the camber on the wheels that uh, really add stability, really, with the bottom of the wheel much wider than the top. But ergonomically, it's advantageous as well, keeps the elbows out of the way of the wheel, allows them to uh, make contact with the push rim more positively, more confidently. And then, of course, the runners will be away and uh, the elite group have already been in their position for some 55 minutes, many of them coming with uh, extra layers just to stay warm prior to the uh, actual race start. And uh, that's always an issue when the conditions are cold. Many athletes here have run this race before. Uh, Matthew Crean, who won two years ago, he is in action again. He was the fastest starter last year, almost comical, but uh, having won the race with a blisteringly quick start, I think his first 5K in 21 was in 15 minutes dead. So uh, we're waiting to see whether he pulls the same sort of tricks. Uh, he had a bit of a meltdown. I think it was around the 10K mark where things started to go wrong for him last year. Well, a huge number of charities uh, benefiting from today's runners. The Alzheimer's Society, the British Heart Foundation, Cancer Research UK, all amongst the main uh, charities being supported. And of course, uh, it's so important that the official partners get their mention. Adidas, of course, the name sponsor for the event. We've got Erdinger Alcohol Fry, SISA Wall Adventure. And now just seconds away from the start of the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. The fastest will be just over the two hour mark. Many will take considerably longer than that and they will enjoy doing so. Tian Bosch, South African, one of the favourites in the wheelchair category. Started racing a, a decade ago. He had a dreadful accident at the age of 17, a motorbike accident. And uh, he was a multi-talented sportsman prior to that, but uh, got himself back into sport 
uh, and still enjoys a multitude of sports, but this is where he excels. He's wearing one. Matthew Clark wearing uh, bib two. Did a 221 in New York. Raced in London last year as well. Worth a mention that uh, the sister event of the marathon is, of course, the half marathon. That's taking place in October this year. It's all been a bit uh, topsy-turvy over the last couple of years with COVID and cancellation of events and the change of dates. We may have heard from the MC that the first ever event here held in 1908, that was a 20 miler, uh, started at the Saracen Head pub. And uh, actually the event here was the first one to use the 26.2 mile distance. And I'm sure many of you know the story of the 2.2 of a mile, thanks to Queen Alexandra, who wanted the uh, start of the event in London to be just outside the uh, the kids uh, kindergarten I guess it was so they could see the runners go past so that extra 385 yards was added and it is still there astonishingly certain controversy over the years here in Manchester with uh, what was it 2013 14 15 when the course was uh, a little bit too short so many people getting PBs and then being massively disappointed when the results were null and void. But I can tell you what, nowadays they measure it once, they measure it twice and then thrice just to make sure. Well, there you see the camber on the wheel of the uh, wheelchairs. Just uh, as I said, it adds a bit of stability, but does make it easier to make contact with the push rim. The gloves they use uh, rubberized, the push rim rubberized, so there's a uh, massive amount of friction there. And essentially, the push rim, it's whatever size you choose it to be, generally about an 18-inch diameter, but uh, effectively you have just one gear. So uh, these guys will be happy that... Manchester famous for being a flat course. I think in the uh, whole distance, uh, there's only an altitude change. They do uh, in total 54 meters of climbing, uh, not a massive amount. Compare that to other sports. Well, marathons are either, they either need to be, to be popular, they either need to be flat, fast and friendly or uh, hilly, hard and uh, humiliating. Those are the ones that get the big numbers of entries and with 28,000 this uh, event is a, a huge success. When it was reintroduced back in 2012, uh, the, what did they get then? About 6,000 athletes. It's uh, an event that's growing in popularity and because of that and because of the numbers of first time athletes, uh, the actual average time for marathons has gone down, got, gone up over the years rather than down as you might have expected. All right, looking around, we see lots of face looking nerves, looking for this, yeah, that's just a marathon 2023. So last minute adjustments before the wheelchairs get underway. The countdown uh, has started. Uh, can't help feeling sympathetic. It is not warm out there. Uh, ideal marathon running conditions, but it's not ideal for standing in the start pen. Well, we've got a slight delay on the start. I'm just looking at the times last year. Johnny Meller winning the men's elite 
category, 2.10.46. That was uh, almost eight minutes quicker than Matt Crean did uh, in 21. Uh, and the only man to have gone under 2.11 in this marathon. Uh, I think that might be a possibility today. We'll have to see. There are so many big events on at the moment. Boston, incidentally, running tomorrow. The world record holder will be in action there. Kipchoge, Elliot Kipchoge, of course, the first man to run under the two-hour mark. I know it was uh, somewhat manufactured uh, event with, what do they have, 64 paces involved in, in that uh, event in Vienna. It was some spectacle. Uh, but he'll be involved in uh, Boston tomorrow, trying to get uh, another record uh, and another win in one of the six major marathons around the world. But uh, there aren't many bigger than Manchester. Berlin is huge. It's another fast course. London, of course, one of the most popular events in the world. But uh, with 28,000 here, uh, and, and I can tell you that the uh, entries, limited number of entries available on Tuesday for the 2024 event. So if you like what you see today, uh, get your entry in soon. They get snapped up very, very quickly. So the event, uh, as we heard earlier on, starting in Trafford, we're, we're heading in a sort of southwesterly direction. Uh, get to the halfway point just before they go into Altrincham. Uh, as we saw, plenty of entertainment laid on there, and uh, I think they're going to need it at that stage. Uh, before they get to Altrincham, they've got that long, long stretch. It's about a five-mile stretch, uh, a Roman road, essentially. It's absolutely dead straight, Chester Road. Uh, and, and that takes a sort of different sort of psychology. Uh, there aren't so many landmarks that they can aim for. And uh, I, think, I think that could be quite testing, certainly on the way out. Uh, and then the elite runners will, no doubt, as they make contact again with Chester Road, just briefly before they come into the last five, six miles or so, they'll see a lot of the starters uh, or the slower runners making their way up Chester Road. That's always a good sight. And uh, I, I think a massive improvement that the, the route now takes them through the city centre. Uh, it's early on. It's early on. I think some have argued that maybe it should be they should head to the city centre towards the back end of the race. But by going early, uh, so many of the runners are together and it does create an astonishing atmosphere. And uh, there's going to be a massive sing along there, which has been organised. Looking forward to seeing that. And uh, I hope the slightly colder weather hasn't put people off. Interesting weather system at the moment in the UK, uh, Scotland basking in uh, beautiful, beautiful conditions. Absolutely not a breath of wind in central Scotland at the moment, but uh, the winds uh, rotating their way round the further you get away from the centre of the system. And uh, consequently, Manchester has a significant breeze today. Is it a day for record times? I'm not sure it is. However, quite happy to be proved wrong. Uh, Becky Briggs last year, a 2.29.06. That was a fantastic run. First woman to go under 2.30 in the Manchester Marathon. Uh, there was the under 23 uh, British record as well set last year. And a good battle in the women's event, to be honest. Uh, Naomi Mitchell was uh, 2.30.54. So uh, she was less than two minutes behind and had a, a good battle. So, looks like problem solved. And uh, we are now within 60 seconds of the start of the wheelchair event here in Manchester. So they take their 
positions on the line and the uh, steering step set for straight now they can uh, if, if you come across a hand a, a, a tight corner they can manually do that uh, but generally you'll see them shift their body weight just lift the front wheel a section push slightly harder on one side or the other just to get the uh, chair to, to turn so away we go uh, four athletes in all entered in the uh, wheelchair we got Tian Bosch as I mentioned of South Africa Matthew Clark uh, who raced London last year Brett Crosley is there uh, formerly a, a motorcycle racer hugely successful what did he have 130 wins or so before an accident in 2006 he's now 39 and uh, then uh, back on the bike by 2011 well there you see the uh, rapid contact with that push rim and the downhill start here in Manchester so easy work pulse rates probably still around the 45 to 50 mark at the moment uh, but as soon as the first uphill section comes that will change and this uh, this downhill section for the runners does mean that they produce first mile times way way quicker than uh, what they generally plan in a marathon Callum Hall also racing, a 30-year-old from Leeds. Made his Commonwealth Games debut in the Gold Coast a few years back. Coached by Ian Thompson. Already after just 800 metres, quite a, a gap between one and two in the wheelchair event that is unlikely to happen in the men's event and they are now poised ready to start the elites going first and to qualify as an elite need to have a time under the 230 mark a pb under the 230 and the women is 250 uh, the men and women running separately. Uh, I think the women prefer that because their records don't count if they're paced by the men. So we get ourselves underway and uh, traditionally the first uh, mile very, very quick here in Manchester and that first little bit of downhill uh, plays a big part in that. Wave after wave until 56,000 feet are on the course here in Manchester and there will be a mingling of the groups but uh, if the previous years are anything to go by things will settle down fairly quickly uh, nearly always get someone who goes out just that little bit too hard That's quite a stiff pace. John Birch there, one thousand and seven. Hallamshire did a sub 230 in uh, Berlin very popular one because of the uh, flat terrain everyone with their own race plan Ollie Lockley just settling in in front
Always nice to have one of your club runners uh, alongside you. Scott Cousins there as well from Springfield. He ran a, what, a 65-10 half marathon in uh, Wokingham. Generally, double your half marathon PB and add 10 to 20 minutes to get an estimate of where your marathon time is going to be. I think that uh, applies when you've done a marathon. There's a, it's a big, big learning game. Well, already the leading group down to seven or eight. All looking pretty comfortable at the moment. go past Trafford and Hume and then uh, take Chalton Road up to the city centre. That will be about the four mile mark. So we'll be there in uh, 15 minutes or so. And uh, or under that with four and a half minutes already on the clock. Are we going to see some world records here? Well, uh, highly unlikely. Uh, Kieran Walker leading at the moment with uh, Cousins and Lockley on each of his shoulders and uh, two or three of them, in fact uh, almost all of this front group, regular looks at the watch just to check the pacing. Well, the next uh, group will be away very, very shortly. The elite women, a competitive field this year, as is always the case here in Manchester, but things settling down. So the uh, mass participation. And this is what brings the, the people and the money and the atmosphere to Manchester. Each runner here probably with two or three or maybe even four supporters. They will have been here to check out the course in some cases. Many, of course, from the, from the local area. Nothing quite like a race around your own city. So the first, first wave of uh, the masses through. One or two women in that group as well. This is all based on your predicted time. <laughs> There'll be a few in there who are considerably slower than they've uh, estimated. There may be some who are faster than they've uh, estimated. So that's the first wave uh, underway. Let's go back to the elite just to see what's going on in front. We had Kieran Walker leading. He's still leading at the moment. So no real change. And uh, we haven't lost anyone out of this group. It, it always becomes a war of attrition. And it's a, a case of looking at the body language, just uh, working out who's comfortable, who's not. Um, conserving conserving your uh, energy 
so so important ollie lockley there uh, as well cousins his uh, club mate just dropping back a couple of places and uh, well worth racing your own race and uh, leading you know even if even if it's uh, you're not doing speeds they do on a bike where leading is uh, is a fool's game simply because you're doing that much more work there is still a percentage difference it may only be half a percent but when it comes to the end of the 26 miles that is significant and i wonder when uh, kieran walker is just going to settle back in the pack he wants to keep a stiff pace they've already opened up a gap of some 75 meters over the rest of the elite runners far far too early to say that the winner is going to come out of this group certainly not too early to say that a few of this group are going to drop back before the halfway stage just being slightly over ambitious in the early stages good start from john birch in the black on the right of your screen sensibly just tucking in behind lockley did he do us just under 67 60 uh just under 69 minutes in the brass monkey half as it's called uh, that, of course, is run uh, in the middle of January, the coldest time of the year. What's the ideal temperature for running a marathon? Probably looking uh, at something between sort of 7 and 12, 13 degrees. Don't really think, uh, certainly if you, if you come from UK, you don't want it much warmer than that. If you're from the south of Spain, you'd be happier with something up around the 17, 18 mark. But dehydration plays such a huge part in this game and uh, refueling so important. They always say you should uh, refuel within 30 minutes of finishing any training event, let alone a race of this uh, magnitude, which st stands to reason that you should refuel within 30 minutes of uh, the start of a, a marathon. Gels will be popular. Not so often you see the uh, elite runners taking on, on fuel. I know they run for far less time than uh, those at the back of the field, but still uh, half a gel or something can make a, a big difference in the closing stages, but you will see every single one of them taking drink stops. They'll have that all planned out. So, good pace being good pace being set, and uh, wave after wave going off. Lots of paces being uh, used today in each of the groups for everything from 2:45. There's a 2:45 pacer. Um, that's quite a tough job. The five-hour pacer, not not so tough. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's got to stick to a really strict time just to make sure that he, he gets as many of his group uh, along as possible. And there will be those who've said, OK, I'll stick with the, uh, the, the four-hour pacer and then finding things a little too comfortable might be able to skip ahead to the next group. But running a steady pace, generally the way to pr produce your best result. Ollie Lockley looking uh, comfortable enough at the moment. Quite a wide uh, age range. Generally, the marathon runner's peak comes uh, in the 30s, provided uh, injury doesn't get the better of you and it is staying health free. That's where the 
physios and all the other events uh, runners love running but there's weights work to be done there's stretching to be done a lot of them are involved in yoga these days you've got to look after your body All quiet on the streets at the moment. 13.39 and uh, expecting huge crowds in Deansgate. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a big sing-along zone there. I'm really, really looking forward to that as the uh, latest starters get underway. Streaming over that start line. Everyone well spread out. guys almost three miles down the line at this pace they're going to be going through the uh, 5k mark fairly sharpish Kieran Walker Big loping stride for a man who's uh, not huge, but he's got a very long stride. Lockley looking smooth and efficient and the first time that Walker has dropped off the uh, off the lead uh, was that in the game plan well maybe we'll find out later on I think just decided to settle in the uh, pace was high over the early stages and slowly but shortly surely this uh, leading group turning into a single file rather than a bunched group and that uh, an indication that uh, Lockley is just stretching it out a little Cousins in second at the moment Kieran Walker in third twenty six point two miles most People measure them in uh, kilometres nowadays, just over the 42 kilometre mark. So when Kipchoge achieved his sub two hour run, what was it, 159.46, certainly he looked so fresh in the last uh, kilometre that I think he could easily, easily have gone sub 159.30. And he's not far off the two hour mark in marathons. His PB now is 10109. Uh, Boston's a downhill marathon, isn't it? Which he's racing in tomorrow. If the start, there's the first drink. And uh, that's a difficult change in uh, rhythm, certainly at, at this sort of speed. But take the fluid on early. Two or three mouthfuls. That is sufficient. And that can certainly break the group up. That's two, uh, two little mini gulps from Lockley. And everyone else who lost a little bit of ground um, has either got to say goodbye to this leading group now or got to do the work to get back in touch. Ignace uh, 
Brasovicius is the man in the white. Sorry, it's taken a bit of time to uh, ID him. And he's having a, a good run at the moment. Not sure he's going to be so happy with the chilly conditions here, but it will get warmer, obviously, as the day goes on. And with a start at just after nine o'clock, we're looking for a finishing time around uh, somewhere around uh, 11.30 for the elite men. So from eight, we're suddenly down to uh, four in this leading group and the gaps are starting to grow. Ollie Lockley still there, looking comfortable. Kieran Walker is there. John Birch has dropped away. Ignas Brasovicius is the man in uh, in the white vest. And Kieran Walker after the drink stop hits the front again keeping the pace pretty honest as they approach the city center also a relay event in the marathon this year as is the case with all the all the big marathons four people in a team uh, the first exchange comes at about five and a half miles shorter shorter leg to start with uh, and all the legs are slightly different lengths so I guess uh, you choose your strongest runner for the long one or you draw lots to see who gets the finish because that surely has to be uh, the best bit and you get a lion 2,000 pounds for today's winner which is uh, it's not about the money here in Manchester it's a, about the occasion last year was all about qualifying for the Commonwealth Games producing sufficient times for or good enough times for that what is London 30,000 uh, for top prize and if you win tomorrow in Boston $150,000 that sounds pretty healthy Two thousand pounds. What's that? Uh, Four point seven p per meter run, and you've got to win to get that. Now, if you're a five k runner park run runner and you're wondering what sort of time you could do in the marathon well if you go straight from the 5k to the uh, 42k <laughs> I think you're going to be uh, you're going to be struggling a little bit and uh, like Phidippides you're certainly going to be complaining about the state of your feet but generally multiply your park run time by 10 and then uh, Add or subtract uh, 10 minutes either way. Give you some sort of estimate. Well, good effort from the early bird spectators. Atmosphere will grow as the event goes on. So four athletes in this leading group. And then we've got uh, two or three who are only some uh, 40, 50 metres behind. I think we'll go back to the uh, early stages of the race, see if we can pick up on the elite women. Yeah, there we go. Everyone's smiling. Right. Let's have a loud shout. Are we ready for a mountain? Are we ready for a mountain? 
There's no going back now. 26.2 miles to go. The elite runners already 22 uh, minutes of running under their belts. And they are through the five mile stage, or coming up towards the five mile stage. And <laughs> definitely uh, the atmosphere gets less and less serious as the race goes on. There are going to be plenty of fancy dress outfits uh, out there. There are some uh, trying to break various records. Now, there's someone trying to break the world crochet record today, uh, and they've got to knit a chain of something like 140 metres while they're doing the marathon. Surely the slower you go, the better your chances of breaking that record. But got to carry a whole lot of yarn to achieve that so maybe we'll uh, pick up on that as the day goes on Eamon Chowdhury also racing today a man who you some of you may uh, remember from the BBC's race across the world He's in the middle of Ramadan, so uh, that's going to be a, a tall order. put that track on repeat just about the right uh, tempo for a steady marathon run now we're just getting some news from uh, out on the course and uh, Nemi Mitchell wearing bib number 68 there she is the lead woman and uh, setting a really good pace at the moment Becky Briggs last year winner, Nemi Mitchell, actually finished in second place with a time of 2.30.54. So uh, she's come back to uh, avenge that defeat from last year. As I said uh, earlier, she was about 2.48 off, uh, 1.48 off the winning time of Becky Briggs last year. They had a really good battle. Becky very, very strong in the closing stages. Uh, produced an astonishing performance. Uh, consistent centre of gravity and there's the uh, first bit of fuel going on board now that's early days for that but all in the race plan gels generally get the uh, required fuel into the system quicker than anything else the days of eating bananas or rice pudding on these sort of races is long gone. There's the briefing for Naomi Mitchell, her pacer, uh, just saying he's feeling really wobbly, uh, which is not a good sign. He may well, uh, he may well recover, but just saying to Naomi, whatever happens to me, just keep going. 
just keep going. He's setting a good stiff pace, but um, that would be a bit of a blow to Nermi if her pace that drops out early. starting this race all the way back to 11 o'clock let's go back to the uh, start now see what's going on there the bib numbers going up remember 28,000 people in all racing now I had a stat somewhere that uh, gave me the total number of miles. It's about three quarters of a million miles will be covered when you add up everyone's efforts today, and that includes the relays as well. And that, of course, is um, <laughs> three, three single tickets to the moon. It's a fair old distance. What you can achieve when everyone does a little, a little bit. Lots to be learned from that. And the same comes with the raising the funds. The event raising millions over the years. I think it was 1.9 million raised for good causes last year. This year, the. Uh, main benefactors as I mentioned earlier we've got the uh, Alzheimer's uh, Society really topical at the moment and um, funds for research desperately needed there the British Heart Foundation Cancer Research UK there's a Stephen McCann junior racing his uh, running in memory of his dad who died from uh, cardiac issues multiple heart attacks uh, but Stephen quite happy to say that if it weren't for the British Heart Foundation then his father would have had a much much shorter life anyway he's here he's uh, hoping to beat his PB of 359 and his three kids uh, Tyler Carla and uh, Clara and Rory are all here to support him on his way. Quite a lot of Irish uh, taking part in today's race. Doesn't matter which wave you're in, those at the front have got uh, their eyes on the road and one finger on the stopwatch no doubt that will be on Strava later on today and many of them will be matching their times up with their pulse rates well it looks like uh, Kieran Walker has uh, still got uh, a share of the lead there he is uh, He's done more than his fair share so far. The lead group of four. And um, Kieran Walker leading in black. We've got Ignace Brasevicius in the uh, white. Good shot. Straight in the bin. That saves someone a little bit of work. And then Ollie Lockley is there as well at the back of the group at the moment Lockley for me still looks to be the uh, most efficient in terms of uh, movement and Cousins in that leading group of four so these were the four men really who have been out front since uh, since the gun went and it really didn't take them long to split the field apart. 32 minutes on the clock, just about uh, a quarter of the time. I think it's going to be not quite there. 
anything around 2.10 is a remarkable time. Six and a half miles into the race already. They're going to hit, uh, supposedly, a wall of sound at seven and a half. The, um, the masses, really, are the, the athletes, the runners, that are going to benefit from all the entertainment laid on. <laughs> These guys starting too early, going too fast. They're going to miss a lot of that. But uh, they're all experienced. They've all done marathons before, so that's uh, not really an issue for them. It will help on the way back in when things start to get painful. Now, which uh, of these four is going to be the next to drop off the pace? They've got a, a lead of some 60 metres over fifth place at the moment. marathon which has been part of the olympic program since 1896 it's a 40k race on that occasion it wasn't actually part of the uh, ancient olympics i think the longest r race they did then was uh, 5 5k and it was in back in 1908 when the distance was changed to 26 miles 385 yards at the uh, Queen's bequest Thirty-four, thirty-three, and they are just over the quarter way marker that has to feel good rather than thinking about how far to go just break the race up and the worse you feel make it into shorter and shorter sections many of these runners will have some sort of mantra that either keeps them flowing smoothly keeps them thinking keeps them focusing the advantage of being out front is that you are the pace setter so you're uh, running at your pace rather than anyone else's which uh, isn't a bad thing but if you can get some protection from the wind and the uh, apparent wind created by your own speed of running and at this sort of pace there's a fair amount of that then that surely has to be advantageous Lockley still looking comfortable. Some of you may remember the uh, route starting in uh, Trafford and uh, they'll soon be on to Chester Road, which is the long, long straight section that leads all the way down to the halfway mark uh, pretty much just short of 13 miles they'll do uh, a sharp left hand turn which will take them towards Timperley and then Altrium the theatre of dreams now we're looking at around uh, 512 per mile for the lead runners. Just sensing a little bit of asymmetry in the style from uh, Kieran Walker. Po 
possibly one of the legs just tightening up a, a little bit, a little bit early on for that, but uh, still the pace hasn't changed. Brasovicius seems to have settled down somewhat. I think he found the pace over the first mile quite stiff, but uh, he's looked pretty comfortable since then. Experienced runner. So the leading men at around uh, coming up towards seven and a half now. And when they reach the uh, eight mile marker, they then uh, hit Chester Road. And that's when things straighten out. No more twists and turns for the next five miles or so. It's a long, long stretch. You can see exactly what you've got to do. A couple of left hand turns that lead on to Chester Road. Heading away from Trafford now. Old Trafford obviously in good uh, good spirits last night with the Manchester United's women's team reaching the FA Cup final for the first time ever. 3-2 win over Brighton. Big news for them. Lockley back in front for the first time over the last uh, three or four miles or so. Circumnavigation of the stadium. And now it is straight all the way up to the halfway marker on this course and the chasers have pretty much fallen away no threat at the moment but uh, as you all know the business end of the marathon is where things change and they can change very very rapidly Looking for a time of around uh, between 2.12, 2.15 at the moment. So there's the sharp right turn at the eight mile marker. Another significant landmark in the men's elite event here at the 23 Manchester Marathon. And it really didn't take very long for the leading four to break away, set their pace. They've maintained it, to be fair. Just over 41 minutes to reach the eight mile mark. They see uh, in the background and promotion for the Manchester half, which takes place on the 15th of October. That's another well-supported event. Over the years, uh, the Manchester Marathon, uh, as we said, first run uh, 1908. Uh, 
had a few years, four years, 69 or 73, then uh, nothing but until 81. There was another four year uh, running. And then from 96 through to 2002, when uh, there was then a longer break, 10 year, a decade without the uh, big event. And it came back in 2012. So this is the uh, 11th running since then. Winners, uh, Dave Norman, the only man, I think I'm right in saying he's the only man who's won it twice. He won in 2012, 2013. Uh, Aaron Richard won in uh, 2019. It was Matt Crean who won in 2021. And Johnny Meller, uh, the winner from last year in a time of 2.10.46. Well, the uh, masses who started five minutes after the elite have got to the six and a half mile marker, I think it is. Still winding their way through the streets of Trafford. lucky we might pick up on the leading woman Naomi Mitchell was uh, out in front last time we saw on her own A little concern about her pacer Even with 28,000 runners, it's not long before it's one long line, a single file. Would it be easier if they went from A to B rather than round in a circle? There's always something quite satisfying about making a journey. Many of the ultra marathon events, the sky running events, start in one place, finish in another, makes the logistics exceptionally hard, especially when you've got 28,000 entrants. But it is possible. When you have a city, you might as well start in the centre and finish in the centre. Everyone seems to be in their own little zone at the moment. 11,000 people remember running a marathon for the first time. Uh, what an experience it's going to turn out to be. For some, it will be grim. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And you've got to remember how much training everyone puts in. Uh, so many getting professional advice on to how to prepare for an event like this. One or two 
unlikely looking runners so many of them so many of them raising funds for good causes the MC looking for all the positives but he's absolutely right the fact that it's not raining makes a big big difference temperatures doesn't really matter as long as it's above five or six degrees keeping the body temperature steady now the leading woman uh, we believe is at around the eight and a half minute mark it is still near me Mitchell there she is there she is still looking comfortable her pacer is still with her but grimacing and uh, often a good thing look at the shoulders look at the, the, the any sign of tension in the neck generally those who are feeling comfortable are making it look really easy so you can make your own judgment on uh, how Naomi's going the pace certainly impressive and she's out on her own at the moment beaten by Becky Briggs last year Georgina Schweining and George King also putting in good performances last year in terms of the women's over the years, uh, Becky Briggs, obviously the winner last year, 2.29.06, a really impressive record-breaking run. Anna Brace Girdle won in 21. Uh, 2020, obviously, cancelled. Don't need to explain that. Uh, Jenny Spink in 19. Danny Nimmock won in 2018 with a, a 2.38. So things have uh, gone up in terms of standards since then. Just looking at the uh, records for older athletes, well, uh, Kipchoge, over 35 when he, he produced his 2.01.09 in Berlin last year. Uh, Bekele has the fastest time for uh, a male over 40 of 205.53. Absolutely astonishing. Bermond Lagat, uh, 45, produced a 2.14.23. Uh, so age seemingly no barrier. Uh, let's go down a bit further. 60, Tommy Hughes of Ireland. He produced a 2.30 in his 60s. That is quite astounding. Uh, he did that in Lisbon back in 2020. And then uh, Derek Turnable with a 2.41.57. He's a New Zealander. He did that uh, in uh, the 65 to 70 category. Uh, in terms of the women, uh, Katang with the 2.17.01, which still stands uh, as the fastest only women's race, so not being paced by male runners. Uh, that was uh, 35. And if we uh, if we go to 45, uh, Sinead Diver of Australia, she did a 2.21.34, only seven minutes slower than the men's uh, PB from the same era or the same uh, age group. So that's uh, really, really impressive. A 2.21.34 uh, in uh, 45. Absolutely astonishing. When's it too late to start marathon running? I don't think it ever is, but I think it just needs to be done carefully. Injury. Generally, the issue, uh, obviously, the joints don't really enjoy pounding the tarmac day after day after day. I would guess that the Achilles tendon is the number one uh, issue in terms of repeat injuries.
Just getting some info on Nami's pace. Went through 10k in 34. And uh, she's on 5.34 minute pace per mile. I think she'll be pretty happy with that. Have to do just under 7 minutes per mile to beat the 3 hour marker. And just under 5 to get uh, anywhere near the 2. Yeah, she's looking comfortable. Really good start from her. We haven't managed to uh, pick out who's in second place in the women's at the moment. Welcome to Stratford. Fantastic runners. Well, let's... Uh, catch up with the men's elite group remember we had a group of four running well, hopefully we'll get some uh, info on the leaders fairly soon these runners just leaving the city centre, heading back towards Trafford before they then will hit Chester Road. Well, just getting some news in that Kieran Walker's starting to fall off the pace. We'll get uh, we'll get you some some pictures of the lead elite uh, as soon as we can. Uh, Kieran Water, remember the pace setter, really in that lead group for much of the first eight miles. And uh, just news that he's coming off. Did ID just a slight uh, asymmetry in his running style. Look to be waiting the left leg a little bit more than the right, which is sometimes a, f a first sign that things are starting to go wrong. Uh, but hopefully just a little glitch for Kieran Walker and he'll be able to re rejoin the other three in that lead group. Ignas uh, Brasovicius is going well. Ollie Lockley still moving very, very smoothly as well. And Cousins uh, also in that lead group. of the leaders and um, they're on schedule for a 68 minute half marathon so it doesn't take a genius to work out that if they can keep that going that will be an hour 16 negative splits not easy to achieve uh, especially as they've had a slight tailwind over the first half of the race. Once they get to Altrincham and they start their journey back to the city centre in Trafford, uh, I think the wind is going to change. It may well die off, but generally, generally the wind picks up uh, throughout the morning up to around 1, 1.30, and then it will die off again. Let's hope that that's not the case today. Well, it sounds as if uh, Kieran Walker's uh, recovered his pace. Just been through a sticky patch. There he is. He's at the back of this group of four. And uh, he is very much in contact. Lockley is the man leading the way at the moment. Long loping style of his. Brasovicius uh, is there in two. We've got Cousins uh, as well. And then Kieran Walker at the back of the group with a blonde hair. Uh, is he going to make his way back up to the front? Not sure whether he dropped off because of a, a drink stop. If you have a, if you miss your drink, and you have to go for a second grab, 
you know, four or five metres is all it takes. You're suddenly out of touch. And then you have to pick the pace up, which involves raising the pulse rate, raising the breathing rate. And uh, it's a really, really tough job. And, and the best thing is just be patient, do it slowly. And that looks exactly what Kieran Walker's done. So he's, uh, he's back in the money and uh, still cruising along nicely. Incidentally, if you want to sign up for next year, 14th of April, the date for the uh, race next year, a couple of days uh, earlier in terms of uh, date. And uh, I know a few tickets going on sale on Tuesday. They'll release them bit by bit, I guess. So still heading down towards uh, the halfway marker on Chester Road, 58 and a half minutes on the clock. Uh, estimated to uh, make that halfway mark at 68, so another nine minutes or so of running before they uh, do that. And then twists and turns as they head through Timperley and then into Altrincham. And uh, once through Altrincham, the bulk of the race is done. Once they exit Altrincham, it would be, what, the 17-mile marker. So that will give them another nine and a bit miles to go. Well, so much for Kieran Walker falling out of contention. He is uh, very much back up front in the race. I think um, Lockley will be more than happy to have him for company out front. I think the only man who hasn't led so far is Scott Cousins. No prizes for getting to the halfway first or any other stage apart from the finish. Should you feel obliged to do your share of the work in front? <laughs> Depends who you are. Absolutely not in my book. Make the ride as easy as you can. This really is a long-standing event. The first amateur race uh, raced over the uh, proper marathon distance of 26.385 was uh, actually 1909. Uh, and I think that was the first uh, amateur event in the UK to, to do that, or in the world, in fact, to uh, race over that distance. It was, of course, introduced, as I mentioned, in the, in the Olympics in 1908. Now, the slowest marathon ever as they approach uh, the 12 mile mark, and they are certainly not going to beat this record. The slowest marathon ever 54 years, 8 months, 6 days, 3 hours, 32 minutes, 20 seconds. How about that? Uh, now, I think I, um, it was a, a Japanese guy called Sisho, and uh, he took part in the Stockholm Olympics. I don't think he finished then, but he went back to finish 58 years later, or 54 years later. Uh, I love that story. Boston, of course, the world's oldest marathon, started in 1897. And that, uh, for all marathon fans, you'll know, is taking place tomorrow. One of the big six, the Boston. Now, how much training do you have to do to be able to race at this speed? Well, they'll all have been tapering over the last uh, couple of weeks, just winding down the distance and uh, that, that they run at. Maybe just picking the pace up a little bit. You certainly want to be used to the, to the race speed. General rule, if your average distance covered is one third of the race distance you generally feel okay so Lockley again slows himself down coming in 
Yeah, and uh, Kieran Walker's dropped off again with a drink stop. Now, that was that was bad move from Walker. Uh, you saw him drift out to the right, and once again, Brasovicius, absolute bullseye, straight in the in the bin. Does uh, beg the question: Why produce uh, bottles with so much water in them? The, the elite could probably do with something a third of the size, except it probably makes the handling a little bit harder. But Brasovicius with uh, one small sip and then it was gone. But uh, getting back to Kieran Walker, he just wasn't focused on uh, the drink stop coming up. You saw uh, Lockley was the first to uh, drift away. He gets uh, he gets it smack in the middle as well. And... Uh, Lockley moved over to the left. Cousins followed. Brasovicius went with them as well. But uh, Walker, who was leading, was left on his own. And then he had to double back. He lost some 20, 25 metres. He's nearly back in touch. And I suspect this is exactly what happened uh, at the last <laughs> drink stop. And here he is back out in front. Well, this effort does remind me of... Uh, Korean last year who uh, went off like a bat out of hell from the start didn't run consistently surging kept his lead for a while but then got swallowed up in later stages so if I was going to rule one of the runners out uh, and I hesitate to do it but I, I just can't believe that these changes in speed are doing Walker's energy reserves any good at all we will see wouldn't be the first time I've been proven wrong. Looking at the age breakdown, the uh, highest number of competitors uh, on the men's side are in the 40 to 49 year old category. Uh, the women's at 30 to 39. Certainly seems to have been the case over, what is it, last decade, last 15 years, that uh, most events you go to, <laughs> there are so many, so many competing in the over 50s category. Is that because they're the ones with the time and the money? It's not cheap. Don't get much change from 65 quid for most of the big ev running events nowadays. Triathlon's even more expensive. Often felt it should be free up to the age of 25, just to keep the youngsters into it. Yeah, kids should always be free. Well, that is now an hour, in fact, an hour and two minutes that this group have been running together. It took them just four minutes to break away from the their nearest rivals. Now, we get a pretty long view down Chester Road here, but there is absolutely no sign of them. Past Stretford, then... Sale will be the next of the landmarks. In fact, they've just uh, cleared sail, heading now towards uh, Timperley, and there'll be a, a sharp left-hand turn, which comes just before the 13-mile marker. And that's, uh, as you can see, is the second of the relay exchanges. And... Uh, that coming just before the halfway mark so there's the left hand turn they're now on to Park Road heading into uh, Timperley uh, fascinated to see the Frank Sidebottom statue which was mentioned uh, at the start of the coverage. And all 
also got the British Sign Language Choir here as well, but most of the performers uh, actually a slightly later roll call uh, than to benefit the elite runners. They're just, uh, as I said, uh, started too early, going too fast. They're going to miss most of the fun. But Altrincham, generally one of the best supported areas of the Manchester Marathon. Some 10 miles southwest of the city centre now. It really is a superbly flat course uh, described by the three F's fast, flat, and friendly. And uh, that is definitely what you get. This is one of the, f the few climbs, only 54 meters of uh, altitude climb throughout the race. Well, I gave you, I gave you a 68 minute estimate for halfway. They've gone through that just a little bit uh, quicker than we expected. And uh, they're at 5.08 uh, over the recent miles. But I think, I think the fact that uh, Chester Road is so straight, I think that uh, allowed them to pick it up. And uh, certainly looks as though Kieran Walker is starting to wind down the others. Cousins, who's been at the back pretty much all the way through, has allowed a little bit of a gap to open up. Lockley still looks comfortable in second. Uh, Brasovicius is uh, sitting in third at the moment. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be a wily competitor. And that's uh, it's uh, a significant back now, a gap back down to Cousins. And I'm not sure that's not going to be the last uh, we see of him competing. But hopefully, hopefully not. He had a brilliant season last year, Scott Cousins. Ran a 65-10 half in Wokingham. When was that? The back end of February. I think it was 26th of February that weekend. Well, we're just getting the official halfway split at 67.52. So, just a slight change, but uh, all in all, quite consistent. I think that little climb after the uh, after they made their way onto Park Road. I think that uh, certainly will have just cut the pace back a little bit, but uh, what goes up must come down again. And now they're on uh, a, a nice flat section of the road again. And this is a tough time for Cousins. He's, uh, he's some 40 metres adrift of this leading group of three. He uh, can see a podium place disappearing out in front. And uh, he's only just gone through the uh, halfway mark. Well, where is your money in this this group fascinating battle so far two little uh, mistakes by kieran walker when it comes to the drink stops how many of those can he afford uh, each time he's had to make up some 20 25 meters lockley slows down more than anyone else when he comes into the drink but if you're out in front that doesn't really matter because everyone else follows suit and uh Brasovicius, who I thought was busting a gut to stay with the leaders over the first mile and a half, has really settled into this race very, very nicely indeed. Well, with the leading men approaching the 14 mile mark uh, an opportunity to go back to try and catch up with the lead women Nemi Mitchell has been on her own for a while uh, she is about a mile behind the uh, elite men at the Here moment so Two some uh, five and a half minutes it is amazing you've made it here you've done the training this is the easy part running around this city people <laughs> cheering you on don't Have believe everything you hear We'll do a countdown for 10 seconds. That's Certainly, add up all the training, and it makes the marathon distance look like absolutely nothing. But uh, 
with a, with a world population at around 8 billion, I can tell you that only 0 0.17, 0 0.17 uh, of, the, of uh, the population have ever completed a marathon. So everyone who finishes today moves into a very, very elite group. And there will be some in here who've done virtually no training. So hats off to them. I always think it's incredibly brave. Foolish, some would say. But sometimes you just don't have the time to put in the training. Others would say the preparation and the training and the camaraderie that you develop by going through the process is bigger and better the longer it is. All ages, all types, all different styles of running, but everyone essentially can reach that 26.2 mile mark. There are very few limits when you really want to do something. There will be those who have been training for months and months, but suddenly struck down by illness just before the uh, before the race. That's a tough. That's tough to cope with. Some will still run. Others, others will probably do the wise thing and sit it out and then just prepare. But once you've in, invested all that time and, and a lot of money, to be honest, not just the race entry fee. Well done, I was reading an article about about general training and it, it was essentially saying that if you if you're out on a run and after 10 or 15 minutes you still feel rubbish uh, that is the time to call it a day just walk home uh, have a rest day essentially a rest day <laughs> some 10 or 15 minutes uh, already means it hasn't been a rest day but uh, generally saying you know read the signs from your body and uh, if it's not up for it give it the rest that it needs and then come back. Training all about stressing and then recovery. Stress, then recover. And if you miss either of those, you are not going to produce a decent performance. And the rest is so, so important. The sleep, the st staying off the alcohol for a while. And I wonder how many of you when you go running, you do the same old route at the same old speed and have the same old bar of chocolate at the end of it. That's the easy way. They keep on coming. I mean, if you're into people watching, this is a great event and, and uh, certainly well worth, well worth watching any marathon. But uh, if you're going to go and visit a, a city, it's not a bad idea to do it on the day of uh, a big marathon. There's always uh, so many human stories out there to be told. Most you won't find out about. You can only wonder. Generally, 80% of uh, everyone here will make it to the end. Some will struggle. And it's all thanks to Phi Dipodes. 
the guy who ran from Marathon to Athens. I think he'd just run from uh, Sparta before that. In, t in, in all, he covered 150 miles, but uh, for convenience, that bit of the story was, uh, was forgotten. And we've settled for the 26 mile race. And his dying words at the end of that, my feet are killing me. Not sure I believe that, <laughs> but I like the story. So welcome along to the final point for you today, the Adidas Manchester 2023 Marathon. Thank you for being here. Now I'm looking for some of the pace setters. Um, plenty of them out there. Generally carry a flag uh, of a specific colour with the time on it. I might have missed one. Keep your eye out for them and then you'll get a very good idea of what sort of pace uh, these athletes are running at. I think we've got 18 pace setters in all, going all the way from 2.45 hours up to the five hour mark. I think if you walk the marathon, if you literally just walk it at a good pace, eight hours is very achievable. And if you walk flat out, seven and a half. And if you're a, a specialist speed walker, they are remarkably quick over the distance. Well, I think we're getting closer to locating Nami Mitchell, who has uh, been throughout the lone uh, leader in the women's race. And from this shot, uh, does that mean her pacer has gone? Uh, certainly didn't look comfortable last time we saw him. Yeah, the pacer has dropped off. So Nami Mitchell is on her own for the second half of the Manchester Marathon this year. Just about one hour, 20 minutes on the clock. Uh, she'll have, now if she's gonna match the uh, record time set last year by Becky Briggs of 2.29.06. She's got an hour 10 to go. Her half marathon time, 73.04. Now, 73.04, 2.26.08. If she's gonna be able to keep that pace going. Let's add, uh, let's, Let's uh, add another 10 minutes max. Uh, so I, I think we're looking at something between um, 227 and uh, 233. The pace has slowed just marginally from 234 down to 230, uh, 534 down to 536 miles. Nothing massively significant at the moment. guy behind was wearing a chef's hat for a moment but I think he's just got a, a wonderful lock of silver hair or blonde hair now was that number 1034 speeding up or was it Naomi Mitchell just starting to drop away again look for any sign of tension in the shoulders she could do with latching on to someone who's traveling at the same speed uh, look for any tension in in the face still looks very very focused but two of the guys that have been in her group suddenly starting to uh, pick the pace up if we get another split on Nemi Mitchell we'll let you know how the how the progress is going but I think uh, although the first half of the marathon run in uh, well under record time here in Manchester I think it's still going to be a tough tough ask she's got uh, what an hour and seven just about to get inside that record time set by Becky Briggs last year Briggs so strong in the closing stages. I guess everyone has their 
watches set on different things. Some will just have the time that they've been running. Others will have their pace. Some will have the heart rate. Yeah, difficult times, I think, for Nemi Mitchell. And it could be a very, very lonely second half to her race. There's uh, no one in sight behind her. One thing she can guarantee is that the spectators will pick up the volume, raise their cheers. It's always uh, a big moment when the first woman comes through in a marathon. Sounding nice and light on her feet. Yeah, the impact of running uh, certainly forces many out. Those who aren't designed for running, maybe carrying a couple of extra kilos, it's it's a tough ask. And uh, if you are like that, then it's never a bad idea to put in some uh, some sort of training, the bike or the elliptical trainer. Or if you're lucky enough to uh, be on the snow through the winter months, cross-country skiing, ideal ways of keeping up the fitness without uh, putting the joints and the tendons and the ligaments through uh, the constant impact of running. The other way, of course, is develop a really, really efficient technique. That really where Elliot Kipchoge is, seems to be ahead of the rest floats across the ground. So Mitchell now just with uh, the bike for company. Well, Mitchell, I think still looking uh, comfortable enough. Uh, I'd be surprised if that pace of 5.36 doesn't drop off an, a little bit over the next few miles, simply because she's now uh, on her own. It's a solo effort from here towards the finish. Uh, anyone she catches, she's going to want to go past. Maybe, maybe someone will come from behind her and just uh, pick the pace up take her with them that's what she's got to hope for at this stage but a great effort from Naomi Mitchell the leader of the women's event here in Manchester at the moment and uh, last time we saw the men's lead group was down to three be back with the leaders fairly shortly they have uh, just about completed their tour of Altrincham and uh, the volume of the music and the regularity of the music picking up as the race goes on and um, when they come out of Altrincham that will be the 17 mile mark and then they'll start weaving their way back towards the city center and at some stage, they're going to get a very good view of the 
the runners who started uh, in the waves after them. It's always a little bit of a boost. Well, Kieran Walker still going very, very nicely in that men's group. He has certainly done the bulk of the donkey work. Scott Cousins, the only man to drop out of that leading group of four. And um, Ollie Lockley on the right of your picture alongside Ignas Brasovicius. Savicius from Lithuania. Born in 84, so what does that make him? Late late 30s at the moment. Yeah, he's looking pretty comfortable at the moment. Raced in the World Championships, incidentally, back in 2017. And uh, was part of the Lithuanian team in the European Championships the, the year after that. Yeah, this would be a big uh, feather in his cap if he could win this at the age of 38. Yeah. Certainly looks comfortable at the moment. Kieran Walker still a couple of metres ahead and uh, that gap just slowly but it does look as though it's gone from one to two to three metres and uh, Ollie Lockley needs to be a little bit careful here. If Brasovicius uh, drops off the pace, Lockley does not want to lose him. Now they must be due another water stop fairly soon. They should be reaching the 30k point in five minutes or so so that gives them another 12k to go from there and this sort of pace it's not going to take long i think we're looking at a fantastic time here 210 46 remember is the uh, the record time set by johnny meller last year And for the first time, Ollie Lockley looking to be in a, a spot of bother. These three pretty much being glued together all the way through the race so far. And uh, I don't think I'm in imagining things, but uh, Rasovicius working hard to close the gap on Walker and... Uh, Lockley struggling.
As I mentioned, uh, Walker with a what 66.27 half marathon time did a 2.19.36 last year, and that was in uh, this event. make the top 10 last year but um, certainly an improved performance so far this year 225 25 back in 21 so he probably knows this course better than most out there today still struck by the length of his stride Be interesting to know how many or how fewer paces he's taken than Brasovicius, but actually if you watch the foot plant, it's not that significant. Takes them about 30 paces to uh, lose one cycle. Lockley still agonizingly close. Kieran Walker from Durham. Plenty of hills around there to train on. Just trying to think of uh, the flatter areas. to be running too many hills in your preparation for an event like this. Going well, they're going exceptionally well. And this looks like a fairly key part of the race. Uh, Ollie Lockley is going through a dark spot, no doubt about it. No competition so far for Naomi Mitchell. She is still leading the women's. And suddenly from four to three, we are down to two. Lithuania versus uh, England at the front. Kieran Walker has done so much work. Is he going to pay a price for that when we come into the last few miles? They've been through Stretford, Sale, Timperley, Altrincham behind them as well. Bagley on their right at the moment. And then just a, a few twists and turns as they work their way back. And then when they get to Chalton come Hardy, then they'll, they'll know they are nearly there. That will be the 24 and a half mile stage. Well, is Lockley on the end of a piece of elastic that is suddenly going to uh, contract and bring him back up to the leaders? It does not look like it. These two up front are not letting up one little bit. 136.56 on the clock at the moment. And I have to say, despite the surges that Walker has had to put in uh, due to those slightly uh, careless drink stops, he still looks pretty much the same as he did at the... 5k mark posture is the same the tempo is the same that's better he spotted it this time and uh, he generally has three or four sips from the bottle just checking to see how much he's consumed Brasovicius generally takes on less than the others just one sip for him 
and it really is just a little pool of water in the bottom of the mouth. Let it trickle down. You've got to take it on slowly so it doesn't interrupt with your breathing rhythm. And again, so that's five or six. This would be uh, a big result for Walker if he could pull this one off. impact with the feet unless the microphone's that little bit closer but it does seem they're just that little bit heavier in the legs and at 140 it's no surprise Hours and hours of training, trying to teach the body to use your fuel efficiently. Certainly need to do some training where you, you're running effectively on carbohydrates, which is the majority, but then you need to do some where you're, you're just burning fats. That's when it's difficult. And generally, when you hit the wall, that's what's happening. You're switching from a carbohydrate fuel supply to a fatty one. And if you're not used to it, your performance drops away by uh, a high percentage. Well, just looking uh, at the pacing, really impressive. Uh, just under 5.10 at halfway mark and uh, that has dropped away just a little bit we're now at 5.18 and they went through 30k in 1.37 that's with 12 still to go in terms of kilometers see uh, Ollie Lockley or just get a glimpse of him in the background he has gone on, he's lost another four or five seconds since they went through that 30k marker what have we got seven and a bit miles still to go here in Manchester but they're getting through to the tough end of the race so many feel that 21 22 miles is the the hardest point certainly for those who <laughs> haven't put in the training that's when they start to suffer now we haven't seen Scott Cousins 
for a while. And Scott Cousins about two and a half minutes down on this leading pair, just over that at the moment. Nemi Mitchell has gone through 18 and a half miles, so she is getting there as well. She's uh, out of Altrincham and uh, just approaching Bagley now. She'll know this pretty well. And then uh, another mile and a half down the line, she'll join uh, Chester Road for a section. And um, I suspect we'll be able to see the uh, the later waves still making their way up through the sort of 10, 11 mile mark. Now the support uh, really coming out for the latter stages of this race. It's, uh, there are only two men involved. I think uh, we may well have seen the end of Ollie Lockley. He looks so smooth in the early stages, running beautifully well. And then just, uh, just about the halfway mark started to struggle. And there were a couple of miles between 13 and 15 where Kieran Walker dropped the pace down to around 508, 507, and that seems to have done the damage. The pace is back to normal, so maybe we'll see that uh, the gap between two and three stabilise now. Brasovicius looking remarkably comfortable. Uh, World Championship experience, European Championship experience. He's been there on many occasions. He wasn't near the front in either of those races, but he is here. And uh, he's showing his class here in Manchester. Are we going to have a Lithuanian winner for the first time? Incidentally, looking at the, the world record uh, holders and that time has come down and down and down and down and now everyone with the question, is it possible to uh, break that two hour mark under normal race uh, conditions? Well, we, we will see, but you would cons consider it possible in time, in time. Has Kipchoge got it in him or has he run out of uh, youth to achieve that? But uh, quite an impressive number of uh, British record holders over the years. Jim Peters, who uh, broke it and broke it again and again back in 53 and 54. Harry Payne, all the way back in 1929, uh, had the record at 2.30. And then in more recent times, of course, Steve Jones uh, with a time of 2.08.05. Did that in the Chicago Marathon. But since then, it has been uh, Kenya and Ethiopia that have dominated. Turget, Gebre Selassie, Macau, Kipsang, Kometo, and of course, uh, Kipchoge. Yep. Well, Naomi Mitchell has gone through 30k, which is the good news for her. The bad news is that her pace has dropped to around six minutes per mile. Dog bike on the leg, uh, not what you want at this stage of a, of a race, but luckily on a leash. And uh, Kieran Walker free to continue. Now, barring a couple of minutes when Ollie Lockley took the lead. Kieran Walker must have led for 98% of the race so far. It would be cruel fate 
if he were to miss out by fractions. But the way this is panning out, it looks as though we're going to have a, a really fascinating finish. Can you see any uh, weakness in Brasovicius uh, in the white bib? I don't think so at the moment. Still running really, really well. And uh, certainly with that lead group of eight or nine at the beginning, I think he's after a bit of fuel. He has. He's got himself a gel. Now, it generally takes a couple of minutes for them to kick in, but they do make a difference. The cleanup crew will spot that. Leave the streets spotless by tomorrow morning. Always one of the most impressive things about these sort of events. Don't know if any of you have ever followed the Tour de France, but what a huge operation that is but by sunrise the next morning there's virtually no evidence that the race came through One forty-nine, and we are still on schedule for a record time here in the men's race 2.10.46 is the target Kieran Walker, who not only competes, but he does uh, his own bit of coaching as well. Part of a thing called the Northeast Project Run. Never, never a bad idea to, to get involved in coaching. And certainly that's where I think the Scandinavians are uh, ahead of uh, many when it comes to endurance events their schooling very supportive of uh, athletes throughout the, the school years but uh, they insist they learn how to train either themselves or other people so they're fully fully aware and consequently know how to read their own bodies a whole lot better Certainly one nation that's embraced the 80-20 uh, training scheme, 80% easy, 20% hard. That means the, uh, the easy <laughs> wouldn't be easy for us, but it was, it's easy for them. And then uh, the hard training is real quality training. So I uh, haven't really had a climb since the halfway mark just before they came into Altrincham, but that was uh, a couple of metres gain and, and nothing huge, but it can upset the rhythm. It can just push the pulse rate up to uncomfortable levels. Uh, so look for signs in a, in a drop off of the tempo. I'm not sure Brasovicius is going to make a move at uh, any early stage. In terms of the sprinting, he's... Uh, He's the older of the two uh, athletes, the Lithuanian, but he's, uh, he's quite sharp. But when they came out of the start gate and the pace was high, being set by Walker largely and Lockley at that stage, I thought uh, Brasovicius looked a bit uncomfortable with that. So maybe from that he will assess that if he's going to win, he has got to make a break before the last 500 metres. Still a way to go. Well, they've been very attentive to the drink stops and uh, to the extent that Kieran Walker missed a couple of them had to go back 
or deviate from his from his race line. I think that's probably a, a better description. As soon as you get dehydrated, the body temperature goes up and the body automatically pushes the blood to your skin to try and cool the body down. And in doing so, it takes it away from the muscle groups that so desperately need the oxygen that the uh, blood delivers. So staying hydrated, such a key factor. So now they get to see the uh, runners from the earlier stages who have got a long, long way still to go. Now, by my reckoning, they are coming up to the 22 mile marker and uh, again, a, a drink stop. Let's see the difference. Brasovicius generally one sip and then he drops it away. Any change in the habit might be an indication. Walker tends to take, well, he's been increasing. Last time it was five or six before he discarded the bottle. Well, his pace may have slowed. His aim hasn't got any worse as he's uh, been going around the race. I think it should be a bonus. Now the crowd starting to gather. This is what the front runners have uh, needed absolutely at the right time. Stretford on their left. And... Uh, They've got a mile along the Chester Road. You can see the athletes who are just going through the 10-mile stage on the other side. So they are 12 miles ahead of the wave on the other side of the road. And uh, many of them are gog at the performance that they can see on their left. The two race leaders, they may not know that, to be honest. But... Uh, Chester Road, such a long, long straight. They'll be through the 23-mile mark before they take their next turn, which is another 90 degrees to the right. And then they're heading for Chalton Come Hardy. And then there's a sharp left, 110-degree uh, turn that leads them back down towards Old Trafford. And then they'll finish on Talbot Road. As soon as they turn onto Talbot Road, they'll be able to see the banner. A couple of hundred metres to go. And uh, it could well come down to that last couple of hundred metres. But looks to me as though Kieran Walker is pushing again. He is really asking questions of Ignaz Brasov Brasovicius. A little bit of a tongue twister. Still no signs that either of these two athletes are weakening. Yes, the... Uh, the impact noise of the trainer on the tarmac is just that little bit louder. They're not floating as they were in the early stages, but with almost two hours running in the legs, that's totally understandable. They're up and over the next little rise. There's not a lot of climbing to do on this Manchester course. The flatness so key to producing good, fast times. Well, that certainly seems to have uh, raised the spirits of uh, Kieran Walker and for the first time opening up uh, a little, not for the first time, but for the first time in a while, opening up a little bit of a gap over Brasovicius, uh, but the Lithuanian quick to close it down again. Was that the response to the music? It may well have been. More Walker's era than Brasovicius, I think. Two hundred and thirty six marathons in the UK throughout the year, all the way from Loch Ness down to St. Austell. Aver averaging uh, finishing time 
in the UK is about 4.30. Um, Switzerland the most impressive on that front with an average finishing time of 3.50 in their marathons. And then uh, Alaska, and I suspect the geographical conditions have something to do with this uh, uh, average finishing time of 5.30. And generally, worldwide, the average pace is just under 10 minute miles. That's a good, solid pace. The same as the Royal Marines have to do in their 30 miler to uh, win their Greenberry. But they're carrying a fair amount of kit, I think, on those occasions. Another look at the watch and it will tell Walker that he is uh, just a minute away from the two hour mark and he will know that by this stage Elliot Kipchoge when he raced in Vienna in the Ineos 159 project he would have finished the race by this stage. I wonder whether Kipchoge can get the record in Boston to take uh, the record in four of the big six events. Big six, uh, London, Tokyo, Berlin, Boston, Chicago and New York. Well, Brasovicius is the first to ask questions. He goes out in front and that is a very, very positive change in pace. And for the first time, Kieran Walker looks to be tightening just a little bit in the shoulders. Well, it's a long way out with roughly eight minutes of running still to go. Walker surely can suffer that after what he's done so far today. But is this when he pays the price of doing all the leading? The hands constantly adjusting the vest just tugging the shorts left and right to make it comfortable that's usually a sign that he is hurting and walker suddenly finds himself 10 meters adrift this is what happened at the drink stops but he he made that ground up very very quickly and brasovicius has got to be careful he's got to keep pushing Well, hats off to Walker for leading so much, but he may learn a huge amount from today's race. Had he fed off the others as they fed off him, then it may be the reverse situation in the closing miles here in Manchester. But from 5 to 10 to 15 and now 20 metres, and the pace has stopped, the, sh the stride has shortened for Walker. And Brasovicius just lets the legs go on this 150 meter downhill section. Well, they're coming up towards the 25 mile mark. This is a well-timed effort, and he may have had that two-hour mark in his head for a long, long time. Save it, save it, save it. When it gets to two, when you know everyone else is going to be hurting, including yourself, that is when it pays to push. Still looks remarkably good shape. The Lithuanian international at the moment looks too good for Kieran Walker. Walker is pretty much assured second place. There's, there's no sign of uh, Ollie Lockley, who was with them all the way through to the 17 mile mark. Wow. 
So the wheelchair athletes have finished. We're still waiting for confirmation of the results. Tian Bosch uh, set a very stiff pace early on. We had Matthew Clark, Brett Crosley, Callum Hall. And they generally average around 35 uh, k's an hour. They're capable of 40 kilometers an hour which might suggest that uh, an hour 10 is possible in, in the wheelchairs, but uh, on a course that has ups and downs and twists and turns, uh, I don't think that's very likely. The world record, I think, at the moment stands at 125. And if we get the results of that, uh, we will let you know. Andy Hamilton and Matt Ward at the finish will pick up coverage once the uh, elites come in. And it won't be long at this pace. And uh, I think Ignas Brasovicius has done exactly what he planned earlier today. I can only think of one occasion up to the halfway mark where he took the lead. And since 13 miles, he has sat on the shoulder of Kieran Walker, happy with the pace and happy to have someone taking the wind. If you want to win, that is how to do it. Just over two miles, you hear. Yeah, the Stretford uh, Bridge was the last uh, little bit of up and down that we heard. And then they'll have uh, a sharp left turn coming into Chalton, come Hardy, and then uh, just two straights remaining after that. Again, a check of the uh, pace. He seems to be happy enough with that. 24 done. Oh, just jumped a little bit ahead on my course map. Sunday stroll for Ignas Brasovicius. Stride length is the same. Be interesting to go back and just have a look at Kieran Walker uh, just to see his body language. But the margin now is very significant. We're at about 100 metres. Uh, and I guess Walker's concern is that Ollie Lockley uh, isn't so far behind. So there could end up being a battle for second and third with two miles still to go. Uh, all sorts of things can go wrong in the closing stages of for any marathon, let alone this one here in Manchester. The wind, uh, happy to say that there was quite a stiff breeze blowing at the start this morning, but that certainly eased off. And the conditions have been just about perfect. Not quite as calm as it was last year where we saw the record time set uh, is there a chance? 2.06 on the clock now. I don't think it's going to happen this time round. Went through the halfway mark in 67.52. So we were poised for a two sixteen for the women's finish. Uh, Nemi Mitchell also dropping off the pace just a little bit. So I don't think uh, the record is on the cards for her. We'll keep we'll keep an eye on that. Certainly running well in the opening stages of the race. Well, look at the damage that he's done over the last seven and a half minutes. He made the break pretty much exactly at two hours. And he's run the last mile and a half on his own with just a very, very subtle increase in pace. 
still flowing nicely. Hasn't looked over his shoulder so far. Ignores that drink stop. He's on the home run. Barring disaster, Brasovicius is going to pick up top spot here in the marathon in Manchester. Two ten forty six. The winning time last year. The next fastest after that. Uh, well, we we had a, a two sixteen fifty nine in uh, twenty fourteen, but that turned out to be on the shortened course. So the times from thirteen fourteen and fifteen have been scratched. So the next fastest uh, of that 2.18.26 uh, by Matt Crean back in 2021. I think we're going to be inside that. But I think uh, Johnny Mellor's 2.10.46 is going to be safe. Stride length, fantastic. No evidence of the wall here in uh, Manchester for Brasovicius. He can enjoy the closing stages. A veteran by all accounts, but that experience that he's picked up at major championships, hugely important today. got just about a mile to go and uh, we would suggest around a 215 finishing time So another shot of the uh, later starters. The uh, last group have only been underway for 17 minutes. This is a little bit disheartening, seeing the, uh, the leaders of the elite group coming in to finish before you even finish your first mile. Something for them to aspire to. There are going to be one or two in that group, taking seven hours plus. So it will be a long, long day for them. But everyone geared up to uh, hang around four or five o'clock. Uh, there'll be masses and masses of people pouring over the finish line. Just another three and a half, four minutes for Brasovicius to endure here in Manchester but at this stage with the race run he can enjoy every single second of it so impressed with his form I think you could superimpose his uh, two mile performance on this and you really wouldn't see the difference inside though he like everyone else is hurting but look at the gap that he's opened up Now, it really would be uh, unlucky if Kieran Walker failed to get second place as well. It'd be nice to see a sprint finish for the uh, silver medal here. Gold is going to this man, Ignas Brasovesius. Absolutely superb. At some stage, the bike cam is going to be called off the road, and then we'll have to wait for him to come across the line. But he's got uh, another two and a half minutes, 2.45 of running. If he can keep this pace going...
a lot of the noise is coming from the runners going the other way and of course the spectators on the right hand side of, uh, of the picture but um, huge support coming from the last wave to get underway at Trafford. And Brasovicius covering the ground two, maybe two and a half, possibly three times quicker from those who have just started. Astonishing feat of endurance from the Lithuanian. What a moment for him. He's made it look very, very easy. The race plan was to light the fuse at two hours. And he did exactly that. Did Walker know it was coming? I don't think he did. Uh, interestingly, Walker had just put in a burst uh, at about 1.59. Uh, I think induced somewhat by the support music as they went under the uh, under the road tunnel. And as soon as Brasovicius made contact again, he went for it. There was no uh, no surge. It was just a lengthening of the stride. He picked a slight uphill section, which is always where it's easiest to get away from someone if they're struggling. And he absolutely nailed it. But he's got one more turn to the left. And then he's going to be into Talbot Road and heading for the finish banner. And when he sees that, he can let rip. What a feeling. All the will eyes, won't eyes. Will I keep the pace going? Can I beat these guys? All those questions have gone. He knows that the race is his. Yeah, and he completes the turn. And just about a minute's worth of running now. You can see him in the background as he approaches the finish here in Manchester. Ignas. Brasovicius is going to take the top spot. One or two people on the course. They need to be aware of that. Well, he's, uh, he's missed out on the course record. Some way outside that margin, having been, uh, in fact, their, their pace at halfway was just outside as well. Uh, but he's uh, maintained a fabulous pace over the last five miles. That has to be said. And Ignas Brasovicius has uh, really taken... Kieran Walker to task here in Manchester. Now running on adrenaline. He can see the finish banner. Well, fabulous effort from Ignas Brasovesius. Let's hand over to the... Uh, MC at the finish, Andy Hamilton, Matt Ward are there to see this year's champion cross the line as Kieran Walker appears in the background. The victory going to the Lithuanian in some style, 2.16.29, the winning time here in Manchester. Talk about 
whether it's Premier League football or whatever you you, uh, you watch, you know, in a team sport, you can take the weight. People can actually share the responsibility. Marathon running, it's all about you. And this is what it means. This guy is semi-broken, but in his mind, he's victorious. Great, great moment to set there. Brilliant, so John Apple has just said, are you okay? He said, I'm just happy. And that's, that's what it means to these people, doing absolutely everything. And this is, this is very, very tough running at this, at this level. So we're just going to let them grab their breath before Matt probably grabs a, a quick word with the winner. Um, and we'll see how dear is feeling in a minute. But uh, we'll, we'll grab the Nicholas. Matt, do you want to go and have a, have a word, have a, have a chat? so nice to see our first two lead men there be so so elated to cross that finish obviously Ignis taking the taking the, the title but here with that and they ran together there was kind of three or four of them actually up until around 20 miles and then Ignis just put that spurt in around the, as Matt said around, it was around actually about 23 and a half to 24 miles and it just becomes unassailable and Kieran probably decided to just not go with him and just be able to save the legs because anything can happen when you're at the very, very sharp end of your ability in terms of pacing. So really good to see that the race was taken so far as I hand over to Matt on the word with our 2023 winner, Ignis. Matt? I have our champion, Ignis Bravasius. I'm going to say it again, right, Bravasius. With your family, man from Lithuania, you are a happy man. I can see it on your face. I just overheard you there saying that you had a race strategy and you came here to win. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I come here to win because you know I see my uh, uh, no no <laughs> runners over runners they have uh, uh, same personal best uh, half marathon marathon. So uh, my strategy is to uh, run with uh, group and uh, with leaders and. Uh, look how I feel, and if I feel good, I just sprint to the finish. And we were watching a race. This is uh, Ollie Lockley coming in here in third place. Uh, we'll just maybe just see him coming across the line. There was a big battle at the front, of course, with yourself and with Kieran for many miles. And in the last kind of uh, last mile or so, you uh, you decided to make a break. But let's give her a round of applause for third place runner today. It's Ollie Lockley. Give her a round of applause. Um, Another Say Sky runner, of course, which is great news. But Ignis, you made your uh, you made your break around about 25 miles. Was that the plan? Uh, no, no, it's not plan. Just I uh, feel very good, uh, and I uh, just a little bit sprinting uh, last five kilometers. I think. And what does it mean to come to Manchester, to this amazing city? You just told me your son is a Manchester United supporter. You come all the way over here and you win the race. How does it feel? Yesterday, my son, uh, his birthday, so we, uh, <laughs> this is uh, my present for him. <laughs> That's absolutely wonderful. Everyone, what a champion. Give it up for Igneous Brasovicius from Lithuania, well our champion of the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. Well done. Well done. Well done, yeah. So, Ollie just crossing the finish line there, our third. To, yeah, sorry to, about Andy. No, no, it's fine. Now, yep. Absolutely. Just yeah, trying and, to grab uh, some words. Again, it looks like that. Th those three guys just uh, kind of get, get it all early on, and I think they are suffering a little Well, what a fabulous effort from Brasovicius. We do, of course, still have the leading uh, women out on the course. Nemi Mitchell, who has led from start to finish in the women's event, is still going strong. And uh, what an effort from her. Her pace had dropped away just before the halfway stage. It was a little bit of a struggle for a while, and certainly the stride seems to have shortened, but uh, she's uh, put up a fantastic fight. Remember, she was the runner-up behind Becky Briggs last year. And so uh, this will mean a huge amount to her to get the win this year, if, of course, it stays that way. But no sign of uh, any other of the leading women close by 222 
on the clock. She's got just over a mile to go now. She was on schedule for the record time of 2.29. She looked as though at halfway a 2.26, 2.27 was possible. But uh, with a mile still to go, she's clocking at around six minute miles still. If she can pick it up, if she can pick it up over the closing stages, there is a chance. I think it's a slim one, but there is a chance, and she may well need some help from some of those runners around her. This gentleman could uh, do the right thing and just go ahead, if he can. Well, there he goes. And if Nemi can just uh, tuck in behind him, just use the slipstream, relax into the last 1,500 metres or so, break it up into 100 metre sections, one after the other after the other. The distance is soon done. Look at the focus on her face. This is fantastic. Yeah, good pick up in pace. Well, that's pretty much the first name check we've had from her for a while, but uh, suddenly there's a, a grimace on the face. Sometimes you like to be left in your own zone. I think that response uh, just hurt Naomi a little bit and probably wisely just deciding to keep her own pace, keep everything under control despite the fact that the finish is coming. Can she get to the finish in five and a half minutes? Or six and a half even? 2.29.06, yeah, it was five and a half. Instagram page. She says she's a 2.30 marathon runner. Can she become a 2.29 marathon runner today? The meter's ticking away. She will be painfully aware of how close to the course record time this is. It's a high arm position. I haven't seen the uh, I haven't seen the wrist drop below, below the, sh the elbows at any stage of the race. I think uh, a good feed and a good massage in order. Encouragement now coming from the other athletes who have been with her at various stages of the race so far today. And at some stage, as you approach the finish, the pain seems to disappear. The psyche changes, like an interval session. The last one is never as bad as the penultimate one. some senses she's zoned out trying to ignore all the body signals that are saying slow down take a break have a rest in another way she is totally totally focused just eyeing up the next corner couple of turns still to go the double turn into Talbot Road in Seymour Grove at the moment. Well under the mile to go. This has pretty much been a solo effort from Nemi today. 
Now, had she produced this sort of performance last year, she would have given Becky Briggs a real run for her money. As it was, she was only, what, 150 down on the winning time last year. It's going to be close, but I think that uh, record time is going to be out of reach. 229.06. And uh, I think she needed to be into Talbot Road before the uh, 228 came up. Just dropping away. Certainly at halfway, she was well inside record pace. It's about the winning, though. It'd be interesting to see what she says at the, the end of today's run. records are just a bonus if they come your way well all these athletes doing it exceptionally well oh, he's a big lad to be running around a 230 but he's finishing strongly and is he going to take uh, Campbell with him This is probably what she needs. Here we go then. Last couple of corners, 229.15. The record has gone and she's agonizingly close. Agonizingly close. A, a slow, uh, I was going to say a tough patch. She, she may have been feeling all right, but she just lost a little bit of pace after going through the 13 and a half. Couple of miles at around 6.03, 6.04. Certainly been quicker than that over the closing mile or so. And now the glory hunters start to pick up the pace. Can uh, Nemi Campbell respond? We're at someone else in the women's race. I think uh, she would probably go for it, but she can afford just to keep the pace steady. And now into Talbot Road for sure. Still some 300 metres or so to go. We're going to be looking uh, at a time of around 2.32. In fact, uh, could be 2.31. There she is. And... Uh, it is the familiar figure, friend of mine, coming here into the finish. This with Ignas Brasovicius, who won the uh, men's race. Coming in to finish in just around about two and a half hours. Well done, Dan. Well, done, Cash. well that's a great sprint finish uh, being put in there. But all eyes on Nemi Campbell who is going to take the women's top spot in the 2023 Manchester Marathon. Her pacer was not feeling good after the first couple of miles and just telling Nemi, stay focused, take it all the way home. She has done just that. A great, great performance. Top spot of 2,000 pounds, and Naomi Campbell, more importantly, goes from second in 2022 to first in 2023. That's what she came here for, and she takes the tape, 231.29. A great day's work, fabulous effort. Naomi Campbell, the women's champion here in Manchester. They call her Nemi Campbell, Nemi Mitchell, of course. Great effort, absolutely fantastic effort. Well, she looks to have recovered already. Astonishing, astonishing. Would you have enjoyed a closer race? Possibly, quite possibly, but. Um, We're going to see her running sub 2.30 again pretty soon, I feel. Well, let's have a look at some of the times for today, the uh, official finishing times. 2.16.27 for Brasovicius of Lithuania to take the title here. 
and Kieran Walker, who let set the pace for so much of the race, ended up 2.17.30. So he lost a minute and three over those last couple of miles. Uh, really, the break came at two hours. So uh, it was a tough last 17 minutes for Kieran Walker. Absolutely fantastic effort from him. I wonder whether he'll look at his tactics and uh, feel he, he played it slightly wrong. But it was a brave, brave run. And, of course, uh, Ollie Lockley, who played his part, lost touch round the 17, 18 mile mark, a 2.20.47 for Ollie Lockley. I think he'll be disappointed, uh, certainly, uh, as they went through 13. I, th I thought he looked as though he could uh, stay, stay with the pace throughout. He looked to be moving very smoothly, but when he went, he went quickly. Uh, and he ends up with a 2.20.47. So four minutes, 20 seconds down on Ignas Brasovicius, the winner here in Manchester. And Nemi Mitchell, 2.31.27. So in the end, uh, just around uh, 2.19 down on... Becky Briggs' record time last year. Well, that's uh, 100 or so finishes across the line now remember 28,000 competitors taking place today uh, and so impressed with uh, the fact that 11,000 of them are first time marathoners they join a very very elite group should they finish today of people who've run and completed marathons uh, a fantastic occasion the event here in Manchester getting more and more popular remember uh, entries will be open this week for the 2024 event which is on the 14th of uh, April next year should be another cracker here in Manchester uh, and bizarrely not really wanting hot sunshine it's all about nice cool temperatures it was perfect today and we saw some brilliant running congratulations to Brasovicius of Lithuania who took the men's title and Nemi Mitchell who uh, took the women's title in the time of uh, 2 23 27 uh, an outstanding 2 33 27 outstanding performance from her and uh, I hope you'll join us next year but for now we'll leave it with uh, Andy and Matt who are down in the finish area, hopefully getting lots of interviews with the runners as they come across the line. And mild precipitation in the air though, just dulling the backdrop there, but what a great, great performance there. Well done, Jordan. Super, super fast runners. And again, is the race clock might say one thing, but that's obviously the start time for our elite wave. But actually some of these are still running well under the 2.30 mark, depending on where they started within their wave. So. Amazing performances from all these ladies and gentlemen. We're just waiting, I think, as well for our second female finisher. Just letting Matt see where we are in terms of the live feed as well. But as the umbrellas start to go up, but the smiles start to get even bigger here on Tolbert Road, it's going to be a special day. Here she is. Here's our second female runner. Yeah, give it up. Coming into second place in the Manchester Marathon 2023. A gritty well performance. Well done, Starfelt there. Well done, great performance. And Penny Lane Striders, runner coming across the line there from the Liverpool Club. Well done to him. Excellent running. And this is now, as I'd say, a steady stream of runners, all running fantastic times. You'll see them in their club vests from all over the UK and all over the world as well. What an Alice. Maybe don't lean down that far. I nearly pinged the house. <laughs> well done, buddy. And well done, Alan guys. James. Well done, James. Dan. Super, super running this. Brilliant, brilliant performances. Well done. Just keep moving, gentlemen, all the way through. Ladies and gentlemen, our brilliant reception team will look after you, get you a medal, get you something to eat and drink. But just keep moving all the way through this finish line now. What well on Chris? What well on Stuart? Sensational performance. 
Well done, Finn. Keep moving. Well done. Swinson runners there, Dan. Well done. Yeah, I can just tell you, Andy, that that was Marlin Starfelt from Sweden in second place in that women's race. So brilliant running. Well done to her. And the runners are now starting to pour across the line. Uh, for those who've never been down here to the Manchester Marathon finish line here on Talbot Road, you'll see in about half an hour's time, we'll start to hit what we call rush hour between sort of three hours 20, three hours 40, when they will be crossing the line at what hundreds per minute. And looks like, Andy, here comes our third place third female. female. Absolutely, Matt, yeah. Looking brilliant. Well done. Well done, Georgie. Well done. That's Georgie Brunevels. Well done, Georgie. Third place yeah. in that female race. Well Interna done to her. International field today, Matt, as well. We've seen uh, some brilliant runners from far afield coming to this. As we, as we said now, becoming very well known within elite level running circles as an exceptionally, exceptionally fast course. Well done. Some very, very happy people there. Already getting it onto their social media as they cross the, the finish line. Well done, Alex Ward. Alex Ward coming into the finish line there. Well done, Alex. What a big dog. Excellent run. Well done, Mr. Sykes. Well done, Steve. Another Highgate runner there, James and Joe for the CLC Striders. Blackburn Harriers, Gaskell, keep walking. Well done, Mr. Short. Well done, David. Dan Rowe in there. Miles as well. And this is where our brilliant welcome committee, a mixture of medal people, medal volunteers, our photography team, and of course, our brilliant St. John Ambulance team who look after some of our weary runners who might be a little bit, a little bit, tender on their feet the legs are a little bit sore that just need a helping hand to get them through the last few yards well done wayne yeah, well done just, matt just to let people know as well now andy the live stream has now ended on the uh, for the race but now it's twitched to me and you we're now live on facebook or on youtube so you can watch the finish line live stream now which is what you're seeing right now so if you've got friends and family at home who want to follow and see where these runners are going to be finishing make sure they log on and follow the uh, links to our YouTube live stream which is happening right now here on the finish line. Well done, Craig, there. Well done. A little bit of rain feels like it's, it was a, a fleeting shower, which is nice. But it certainly warmed up a little bit here on Tolbert Road. Well done, Darren. Penny Lane Striders. An exhalation of breath. Good day at the office. Well done. Well done, ladies and gents. Some great running. A few interlopers there. Well done, Sam from Horwich. Well done. Some sensational performances and a few people looking almost surprised at just how well they've gone on this Manchester course. Okay, Andy, uh, sorry to put in there. No. We are now ready to do the third, uh, sorry, the female presentations. And in third place at the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon, it is Georgie Brunevels. Georgie being presented by the, uh, the Mayor of Trafford. Congratulations. And in second place this year, a fantastic run from Sweden, Marlin Staffeld. And the winner and the champion, she was second last year, but this year has come back victorious. A brilliant run and the winner of the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon for women. It is Naomi Mitchell.
Well there, Naomi, brilliant run, and all three of them, absolutely fantastic. Great run with the mayor of Trafford there. So uh, congratulations, our top three females, Andy, brilliant running. Well done. Well done, that's some very, very happy people there. Still got enough for a high, a high jump there, Mr. Frogley, as you cross the finish line. Well done, sensational running this. Well done. It means, it means you tried, that. It's an official sign. It meant you worked hard. Well done. Well done, Mr. Van Holden. Well done, Aiden. Well done, Rowan. Well done, James. You're a nice guy, but don't be sick on my shoes. Uh, well done, here he is from Chester Trite. Well done, Tom. Happy Tom with that performance, Mr. Chester Trite. Well done. Well done, Josh from Derby there. Some great performances. Well done, gents. Keep walking all the way through. Here you go, another strong female performance, Manchester. Certainly within the certainly within the top five. Brilliant performance there from one of our very, very fast females. Miss Reed, well done. Keep going, Sean, well done. All the way through the finish line now. This is what it means to so many of these athletes. They've given absolutely everything months and months of hard work, early mornings, late nights, days where stairs became like Mount Everest after some very, very hard training runs. And here's our brilliant 2.45 pacer, Matt. Our brilliant 2.45 pacer. And I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to grab him and I'm going to have a quick look at his watch. 2.44.32. Wow, there we go. that's what it's all that's about. That's how Andy. good our paces are. And, and to put that into perspective, to pace a group of very, very fast runners to 245 is nothing short of sensational. So well done to our first pacer of the day there. It's good to know, Andy, that um, we can just glance down and look at somebody's Garmin and know exactly what they've done. But brilliant running, as you say, 245 pacer there, 244 and bits. So excellent was, running. The, and the moment, uh, all the, the runners. The moment for me so far, Matt, was as uh, Ignis crossed the finish line and he stopped his Garmin and I saw 5.06 per mile. <laughs> 5.06 nice per nice mile work. for yeah. 26.2 miles. So absolutely sensational. Superb. Well, anything, as you know, Andy, and all these runners who are going to be dipping under 2.50, 2 and 3 hours, absolutely incredible work out there on this route here today. So this is just a little recap. I am Matt Ward. Andy Hamilton is my co-compare here on the finish line. This is the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. This is one of the greatest sporting events in the Northwest. The second biggest marathon in the UK behind, of course, only London Marathon. And this is this year bigger than ever. 28,000 runners out there registered for running this race. And it is well turning out to be an incredible day, Andy. So all you runners, make sure that you just keep moving as you cross the line. Keep walking down to claim your medal and your T-shirt. And of course, the accolade of finishing the uh, Manchester Marathon. Brilliant day for so many people. Two hours 45 plus on the clock. But lots of people have been absolutely challenging and bettering PBs. I know that because I spoke to a couple of people here on the finish line. And uh, it looks like some people have had an amazing day. One guy I spoke to said he was six minutes inside his target time yeah, of uh, 2.40. He was like 2.34, 2.35. Absolutely. Well, look, Andy, we've got some piano strings coming. Yeah. Come on, Manchester, this is what we do. Nobody, nobody walks across the finish line here. Well done. Sensational performance. He's given absolutely everything. Oh, oh I tell you what. He'll be, he'll be able to play a tune on those hamstrings later, Matt. Hamstrings I was about like to say, piano Andy, wires. I was just about to say, I think Monday afternoon will be interesting for that man as he, uh, as he tries to get off the sofa yeah. or something. Let's hope he lives in a bungalow. But do you know what? Do you know what? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because nobody can take anything away from Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Once every you cross single, that finish line. Every single medal today, Matt, is well earned. 
from the fastest runner to the to the last runner. Well done. Well done, gents. Just keep moving if you can. We've got our brilliant our brilliant reception team. I've got the uh, the iPad is back up and running, Andy. Um, so good. we've got people who've crossed the line recently. We've got George Samuel, James Gelsthorpe, Carl Ennis, uh, Benjamin Davidson, David, sorry, Phil Ralph, Jake Spencer, Hannah Lucas, Thomas Blaney, Gavin Foster, Mark Walker, Gemma Astin is about to cross the well, line as well. Man, just, just again, we talk about why this is the world's friendliest race. Look at this. We've got two spectators helping a competitor over the finish line that is i think absolutely could be absolutely sensational yeah. make some noise manchester wonderful wonderful scenes here on the finish line and i think this may well be uh i think it is actually Gemma astin as well who's well actually made it to the finish line make sure you stop your garmin make sure you stop <laughs> And of course, as ever, big thank you to the St. John team looking after people here on the finish line, doing a wonderful job, part of our team on this finish well, line Aston. here. Brilliant. Giving absolutely everything out there on the course today, well within three hours, comfortably within three hours, which is nothing short of a sensational run. Yeah, absolutely, Andy. And this is uh, now people starting to stream across the line. This is uh, getting on for it's certainly sub three hours. So all these runners are going to be uh, making hopefully target times, whether it's a PB or whether it's a course PB. And uh, whoop, there we go. Some uh, certainly people are. I tell you what, they've been emptying the tank out there today, Andy. They have a wonderful conversation there between our St. John's team and the athlete where... She had to remind him, what? She, he says, where am I? She says, no, just Andy, run that, was, that was the best thing I've heard all day, everybody. This guy just got taken over the line, and the guy from St. John said, when's your next one? <laughs> when's your next one? <laughs> and the guy kind of blankly looked um, at our St. John helper, as if to say, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. Well, and lots of runners there. We had Jamie Trainer, Charm Zucker, Joseph Tor, Simon Watts, Thomas Burgess, Greg Sims, all coming across the spot map. Yeah, brilliant work. Absolutely fantastic. Michael well O'Neill, Virgin Dominicus, Carmichael Coldwell, I Charlie like, Weston. That's a, that itching Spitfires. That is a proper name, isn't it? The Inching Spitfires. I like that. Well done. Great performance there. Matt Wildman, Matt Cox, Stuart Miller, Patrick Senior, Jed McGrath. All making some great. Now that name, that guy's got Coldwell the Third on his name. Is that because there's obviously two before him? That sounds like a very uh, aristocratic name. But well done to him, Coldwell the Third. I think it is. Congratulations, buddy! Uh, brilliant run here at it's a the great name, Carmichael Coldwell. Well done, absolutely. Isn't that a sensational name? Well done. We like it. It's got a very long business card. Well done, Daniel Thrift. Stephen Broadbent, Martin Reed, Hayden Wade, Sam Coxon, Henry Catling, Dominic Drew, Alistair Angus, all coming across the spot about now onto Talbot Road. A couple of Felix Stowe runners there, look, giving each other the hugs. Uh, obviously, been smashing it out together here in Manchester. Brilliant work. Well done to them both. Wow, it is. Be Well done, Pete. Crossing the line. We're going to call him Pasty Pete. Get a drink, get some nutrition inside you, buddy. We've got a brilliant reception team. The Erdinger team and the SIS team are there with lots of protein products and some... This guy's happy coming across the line, Andy. What a Brian. Absolutely. What a Nick. Revving up the crowd here. This is Ian from the PGC1 Coaching. Well done, Ian. Well done, my friend. Is that a target time? Yeah. He's happy. Got to, got to, got to whoop, whoop. Well done, Doug.
PB. That's like, what time did you run, PB? What yeah, time did you run, PB? 252 on his watch. Chester uh, Triathlon. Well done, Chris from Chester Try. Well done, buddy. Promise to, I'll give you a shout out. So you got one. Well done, Mark Devlin. Well done, Pete. Andrew Chan. Well done, buddy. Great performance. There we go. Another sensational female run performance there. Lisa Bailey. Well done, Lisa. Yeah, <laughs> loving it. Lisa's loving life here in Manchester, everybody. And why wouldn't she be? Two hours and... Yeah, Ian Allen, Rob Pierce, Adam Foster, Marcus Nicholson, Jonathan Breeze, Joel Smith, Danny Cottle, Oliver Lockyer, Scott McKelvey, John Mason. Well done to Just you. one minute, Andy. One minute. Lisa, come here. Come here. Lisa, tell us this little story you just told me now. So I started training in 2019, then COVID hit, then I got sick in 21, then I busted my knees in 22. So this is my fourth attempt, and I've gone, gone sub three. So. What a day. Thank you so much. Lisa, well done. Well done. fantastic. Go Manchester. That is what it's all about, Andy. Well Believing done, and realising your dreams here in Manchester. So once you cross the line, guys, just uh, keep moving. Keep those legs moving. And, uh, what up, Dickie? Pockets of runners there. What up, buddy? Oh, what up, Luke? More Vaseline on the left, right side next time. What up, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> really forgot one side. Lots of, lots of spectators give it the ooh as he came over the line there. Well done. Oh. One of the, so tri one of the tri central lot, one of Mr. Cullen's and Foggy's lot. Well done, Wardy. Well done, Wardy. One, one of my compatriots there, Andy. Well done to him. Now, I think, Andy, this uh, crowd here in Manchester is something really special here for the 2023 Absolutely. Adidas Manchester Marathon. So, after three, crowd, if you are in the house, let's hear one, two, three. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Great to see the support. And right the way down Talbot Road, Andy, you can Absolutely. see it's, it's numbers deep on the uh, sideline. So great to see. What well a what a performance there! What well a Kane! Brilliant, what well a buddy! I've, Andy, the, the shout outs are started. Do you remember the, the signs as well? We do some signs later on, don't we? We had a shout out. Please, can you wish Matt Haslam a happy birthday? He's hoping for sub three. And he's estimated at 257.16. So look out for Matthew Haslam. Because if he crosses the line, we'll give him a birthday uh, shout yeah, out big as well. Shout. Matthew well, Haslam. We will see. Anyway, well done to Chris Speed. Just crossing the line here. Well done, my friend. Well done to Glenn as well. And congratulations to Paul. Latest finisher here at the Manchester Marathon 2023. Great to see so much support. Great to see so much love from the audience and the crowd here assembled. Well, Brilliant um, job. Nicholas Robinson, Dan Berry, Josh Evans, Harvey Green, Benjamin Schultz, Mark Rose, Jamie Langley, Tom Hammonds, Henek, Asmalash, Danny Hatton, Wayne King, Luke Thompson, James Turner, Rod Smith, Phil Larratt. So many people coming down this finish line now, Matt. Yeah, wonderful to see. And it will get busier and busier and busier. You mark my words. We know because we saw all those 28,000 runners making their way out onto the race route uh, just over a few hours ago. And uh, it's been a long day already for all of the team here, but we will continue to bring the love and the enthusiasm and hopefully the entertainment. Myself, well done, Matt Luke. Ward and Feeding Andy Hamilton force. keeping you informed at the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. Well done, buddy. Well done, Peter. Well done, Jacob. Well done, Paul. Well done, Rich. I think well done, Peter Gaffey, Aaron Francis, Matthew Ward. Matthew Ward. There's not a Matthew Ward. There is, is there? a Matt Ward. Hands up, who's Matt Ward here? Coming across the line. They yeah, can't be right. Just over the spot of Matt, so he's... Well done to Peter as well. We'll look out for Matt Haslam, of course, as well. Is that Matt Haslam? Has he crossed the line? We'll see in a minute. Well done, James, A.D. Martin, Lorcan, and Charlie. Well, uh, Paul, 
Andy Fleet, Brian Corleys, Russell Ford, Tom Batterby, Matt Green, Daniel Lucas, Sam Larkham. Is that uh, two fifty-seven? So all Chris these runners McKenna, are going to be Vladimir heading. Kralik, Rojan Bismitz, Phil Sharp, Dan Coleman, Ben Lewis, Adam Flint. All under three hours, Andy, at the moment. Brilliant running. Well done, buddy. So, good running. Finally. Finally. Finally, well done, mate. Well done, buddy. So nice. Matt and I get to share the joy with so many amazing runners. We do. We do indeed. And they are just so happy. Here's Art. We see him year on year. He comes back. Well done, Husey. Well done, buddy. Well done, mate. Run it. Racing for cents as well. Another top performance. Well done, mate. Well done, Paul. So we're now getting to that elusive time for some people, Andy, and that golden time for some others, which is sub three. All these guys are going to be doing it. Everyone's going to be getting under three hours here. Absolutely brilliant from all of these runners. There we go. Look at that. This is what it means to people as they cross that finish line at the Manchester what Marathon. Whatever. Well, you're happy, Emma. There we go. Yes, yeah, sub three. 2.52. Yeah. There we go. So we're now starting to see some of our red waves who are a little bit further back. So they're all around. I, I spot a familiar face of Mr. Garbitz. Well done, Mr. Garbitz. Garbitz Senior. Hi, mate. So when you finish, guys, just keep those legs moving if you can. Keep walking down. It's going to get very busy on this finish line. Look at this guy. Absolutely raving yeah, well it up. Buddy. Great running as always. Sub pal. three hours for many, many, many of these 250, runners here. 253 on Mr. Garbitz watch. So, yeah. So these are, uh, we are seeing around, this is around the 254, 255 mark for some of those red waves. So they will all be targeting sub three. So we'll probably see one of our sub three paces coming across the finish line in the next four or five minutes. And that just shows how fast. And as Matt and I have said, Matt and I have stood on, on marathon finish lines year on year to see this many runners running sub three do you know what andy is an absolute testament i was just about to say exactly the same thing i've stood on this finish line for many years as i say i don't think we've seen this many people smashing sub three hours no i really don't this absolutely, is incredible absolutely brilliant and to, to give you an idea sub three hour marathon running is around six it's around 6 30 pace so 6 30 for 26 miles is sensational uh, for those of you that work in kilometres, that's around 350 per kilometre, four, four minute per kilometres. Yep. So, very, very <laughs> good running. Good. It is very, very, very good. Congratulations to every single one of them, these runners. They are realising their dreams, breaking PBs, smashing three hours, whatever they're doing. The mo most important thing, Andy, is they're finishing. They're getting across the finish line here in Manchester with a smile on their face, which is what it's all about. Well done, John Hatchett, Rory Graham. Jac Jacobo Lembo, Tom Stark, Harry Kirkham, Robin Horner, Danny Hickson, Rory Elliott, Philip Dealey, David Gattenby. Well done. Another strong performance there from one of our females. Alexandra Stainthorpe, that was. Well done, Alex. Look at these runners streaming across. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Keep moving, everybody, as you finish. Just well, keep, keep walking, running, guys. Towards keep walking, the... ladies and gentlemen, all the way through. There she is. Look at that. How happy she is, Alex. Well done, Alex. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah. What a Rory. What a Rachel. Hi, I'm Harriers. She looks happy. <laughs> yeah, she looks at me then and goes, I don't look happy. And then smiles. Well done. Yeah, PB. Well done to Michael as well. P and judging P by the smiles, Matt, I think everybody's PB in. All over the place. What a Ryan. Fantastic. So good to see people realising the dreams and achieving their targets, whatever it is today.
Wow, so we've got runners coming across the line around about 2.55 Amazing. on well lots done. of watches like right that. now. Well done, Matt. Just talking to the lovely Hudson just there. She's just ran 2.54. Said she's only been back running 12 weeks. She's as had a year off. As you do. As you do. As you do, mate. Hey, well done. Well done, Dave. What well done, Matt. What well done, Lewis. Inspirational stuff here in Manchester. Well done. So just keep good moving to see. Through. Just keep moving through the finish now. All the way through. Well done, keep moving. Well done, gentlemen and ladies. Fantastic running. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done, Ollie. Well done, Joe. Well done, gents. Just keep moving all the way through now. It's going to get exceptionally... It's, it's, again, Matt, it's so weird to say. It's getting busy and we're only at three hours. Uh, so as Matt said, the rush hour would actually appear to have started a little bit early. But anyway, we are here for every single one of them. Our welcoming team down there, reception committee of medal givers, of t-shirt givers, all these runners that can then head into the race village, into the athlete village to pick up their SIS goodies and uh, maybe talk to our charity partners as well. Loads to see and do as well. And if you are following along and if you are following one of your loved ones or your friends or family and you're taking a video, you're doing a story or whatever you're doing, make sure you hashtag Manchester Marathon and we'll be able to pick up all the good stuff throughout the day via the social media. You can follow us on Facebook, of course, on our live stream. You can also then... Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, on our Instagram, and also via TikTok. All happening here at the Manchester Marathon. It is a gala of running, Andy. It really is. It's incredible. Yeah, amazing. Some sensational performances. To be honest, my screen is just... It, it's, so, it's going so fast, I can't even read the Light names it of it. So we will do our best to give you a shout-out, gentlemen and ladies, as much as we can here on Tolbert Live. But what... A way to start the day. So many sub three hours runner. It is an absolute sea of happiness across this finish line, Matt. <laughs> tell it you is what, just, Andy, isn't it? It's infectious. It really it is down is. here. We're on the uh, not too far from the finish line. We've got to keep moving, guys and yeah, girls, as you finish it all the way through. It's another two fifty five. So these are mid two fifty runners at red runners. You absolute legends. Well done, Alex. Well done. She's happy. Gents, keep keep moving. Everybody just keep moving over this finish line. This and is I, the three-hour bus do what I here, Andy, do. The three-hour bus. Keep moving, guys. Keep moving across the line. Thank you very much. It's very, very, very busy now here. There we go, Matt. In Two, Manchester. Our three-hour pacer. A long 258, 258.50. Value for money, they call that. Yes. Brilliant. Value yeah. for money. Brilliant. Well done. So that was our three hour pacer there who went 258. Again. Yeah. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Just be really careful. We've got runners on the floor. So just be really careful. So if you finish, guys, if you just keep those legs moving, if you can, yeah, please, because moving. it's really busy here on the finish line. But congratulations to you all. Just keep the limbs moving as much as you can and keep heading down to that yeah, finish absolutely. line and towards just the... Just really, uh, really good to see so many of our runners giving absolutely everything out there onto the road. Yeah, keep moving, well keep, keep going. Congratulations to all of you finishers. Just keep the legs moving. You well will done. be... Just keep Fine. moving all the way through the finish line, please. Just keep running through the finish line for now so that we can get you under the reception of our brilliant welcome team. We've got medals, drinks, water. Well done, Nick. Wow, Andy, this is incredible scenes down yeah, in the finish amazing. line. Amazing. Obviously, there's a lot of tired people and people who are uh, struggling across the line, but there's also a lot of elation, a lot of love here in Manchester. I'm feeling the love.
Yeah, so Matt and I were just saying how when we were on the start line and we were getting all of the start waves, we saw the first three-hour pacer go past and he was surrounded by probably 100 runners, easy around 100 runners. And that's the pacer we've just seen come in, which is why we just saw so many athletes there with that three-hour runner. So it's just simply sensational running by so many of our competitors today, male and female, all going. Well done, Gemma. What's on the clock? Always charge your Garmin or your Polar. So, uh, as they're coming across the line here, congratulations to everyone. Brilliant job from our uh, emergency teams and all of our volunteers here on the finish line, just keeping the runners moving there. But it was super busy there for around well about five minutes. Simply sensational performances from every single one of our runners. Well done to all of our supporters as well. Big shout to our supporters. Come on, supporters, make some noise. That's it. We're definitely louder this end, aren't we, than the other end of the It's probably because they can hear us, Andy. Yeah, I know, yeah. Never mind. Well, there's some uh, people who have what I'd call empty the tank here today. They really, really have. And uh, they've just literally well, keep going, just keep going. made it to the finish line. All the way through, ladies and gents. Keep moving all the way through this finish line. Beautiful work. And well done to that team. Well done, Charlie. After. Charlie running for cancer research there. Well done, John. How are the legs feeling? No words. No words uh, for that. No words required. What well a Rich running for sense. One of our cancer part. Uh, one of our uh, charity partners there. Well done to you. What well an Ian. What a great number, Ian. One, two, three, four. That's the best number, isn't it? Just like clockwork. Well, well done, done. Gareth and Derek, and also Andy from the Hereford Couriers and Brendan as well. All finishers, all coming into this finish line here on Talbot Road for the Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. It's been a wonderful day up to now, and it continues to be with an amazing crowd and even more amazing runners making dreams, creating history, crossing that line, and taking that medal. What a day! Just over the three hour mark, but still well within PV territory for so many of these runners. Got a Luke there running for Aldridge. Alzheimer's Society, you're another one of our charity partners here at Manchester. Congratulations to him. And of course, we should mention the British Heart Foundation, of course, Cancer Research. For that, for a finish. Look at that for a finish. And Just looking, looking fresh. fresh. What would you say, genuinely? What would you say that is? It's probably they've got through that wall. They've probably got through the wall at around 23, 24 miles, and just were like, I've got this, and just pick the pace up, pick the pace up. I'm just going to say a quick hello to someone. Fantastic! So many people achieving the goals here today. It's inspirational here in Manchester. Congratulations to Ollie and to Dave as well and Dyson crossing the line. Super running guys. And the runners will be crossing the line in their hundreds per minute. See? Re Reuniting families to... since 2015, mate. Oh. <laughs> we provide a full service here, Matt. Reuniting runners with their families. There's one of my Welsh compatriots, Aled Dion Khibui. Aled from my rest with her. He's uh, Probably, yeah. yeah, slightly out of it, slightly but uh, well done to him. Well done, buddy. For Luke running for fit numbers there. Well done, buddy. Here comes the uh, three. Is that a three fifteen? Three fifteen plus, probably. Yeah. I think that. Well, I think it's a little oh, bit ahead of time. But brilliant running from our pacer there. 
It is, it's our legendary pacer. Jace, what well on Jace? It's our second three hour, that's what it is, Andy. Well done to him. Well done to Dougie and Adam and Barney all crossing the line. And uh, Chris two from Kenny Striders. 2.59.21. Yeah. Uh, Let's try, money. Let's try harder, Value Jason. for money, Jason. That's who you are. There we go. Oh, dear. It Once is. you finish, guys, just try and keep those legs moving. Thanks very much, Mark. If you could just keep walking, and uh, you can then, when you get down to the bottom of the uh, finish funnel here, you can then take your time to relax, but just keep the legs moving if you can. Congratulations to you all. Well done. So Jeez. these are our... Yeah, so this is our, I think, uh, B. This will be our blue Bs, our uh, red Bs. So oh, red, I can still see red A's at the moment. I haven't yeah. seen any red B's yet, but there will be, Andy, especially if they, that will be the three hour yeah, pace up for the red B's. Hour, yeah, yeah, red. Yeah. Sorry. Well done, Chris. Well done, Alex. Chris well running for headway. Another well great Sam. Uh, well done, Hannah. Hannah's looking, looking elated. Well done, keep, keep moving. Yeah, it'd be well interesting to see, Andy. It'd be interesting to see some red bees if they've cracked that, if yeah. they've got close to that three hours. Yeah, hour close to well. three hours, yeah. Yeah, well done, Connor. Keep moving. Well done, Perkins. Good on you, buddy. Well done. And well, okay, Royal well done, Force. Michael. Well done for the Royal Air Force there. Well done. Great performances. Well done, Gabriel. Keep moving all the way through. Keep moving through the finish line. Well done, Emma. You've done sensationally well. Just a few more yards. Get your medal and a drink. All will be good. Well done, Ali. Keep moving. And remember, just uh, I should mention, Andy, about the results. People who are wondering about results and their times, all you have to do is check your phone. If you're registered with a phone number, with a mobile phone number, when you entered the race, we will text you and your friends and family, of course, if they've also registered theirs, the results of each and every single runner. And, of course, all of the results will be live and online as these runners cross the finish line via the Manchester Marathon website. Well done to Dave, one of our Le Croupier's runners down there in Cardiff. People travelling far and wide. Harmony AC, well done Joe, good running. Stephen from the Penny Lane Striders, well done my friend. Eduardo as well, well done Eric. And uh, for the St. John's, well done to Ruth from Winchester, looking good, big smile on the face there. Well done. And if you are feeling inspired or you're motivated by any of our runners today, don't forget that we have some limited entries available for the 2024 Manchester Marathon going on sale on Tuesday. That is. That goes out to our spectators and our athletes as well. But of course, if the marathon might be a little bit too far, don't forget we have the MCR, the Manchester Half Marathon, on Sunday, the 15th of October. Entries are already open for that, so do make sure you get online and sign up for the Half Marathon in October later this year. But what a brilliant day so far here at the Manchester Marathon. It's been absolutely sensational. Matt and I have been absolutely blown away by simply the amount of exceptionally fast running by all of our athletes to go under three hours. We, we were expecting it to get busy around 3.10, 3.15, and it has been as busy as, it, as, as we would expect it to be around four hours. So an absolute reflection on the hard work and dedication from a lot of these athletes. Yeah, 100%, Andy. And I think also that from what I'm seeing from people as well, they are finishing some people are finishing obviously in better states than others but what is inspirational to me is that people are finishing really really spent and it's as though they've given every single ounce of energy and that's what it takes to run a marathon it doesn't come easy it really doesn't I, I, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pour out as well I'll just say well done mr garnet as always i see you on this finish line year on year well done buddy Great stuff. Well done, Martin. Well done to Duggan from the Porth Call Runners as well. Congratulations, my friend, all the way down from South Wales. And Lauren, well, Lauren in AKA that, Batman. Hey, that's seen a bit of action, that T-shirt, hasn't yeah, it? Yes, is it. That really has. Well done, Ben. And Nicola as well from well done, the Nicola. performance team. 
So Andy, we're now coming up to half past 12 on a Sunday afternoon here on Talbot Road for the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. Well done. What a name, in. What a buddy. What a miles. Miles and miles. 26.2 miles and one more for you. <laughs> Brilliant. What a badges. Sound from the badges. What up, guys? Keep walking, please. Just keep walking. I know the legs are tired and the lungs are burning, but just a few more yards to get you through. Matt's going to some shout out. Yeah, why don't we give some shout outs to people who've just crossed the line. We've got Sam Beatty and Freyson Maritz, Jake Ford, Faraz Milan and Andrew Jacobs, Sol Meller, James Hodge, Thomas Williams, Richard Trillis, Oliver Jones, Andrew Gibson, just some well done, of the finishers well done, here in the Manchester Marathon. And a massive, massive shout out to every single one of you coming down here and making the trip down to support your friends well and family and loved ones and making sure that they get the just well desserts done, of the wonderful Manchester Marathon medal and t-shirt designed by Pete Obsolete. What up, Gary? Well done, buddy. A day to remember for every single one of them. Yeah. So we've had a few tears of joys, Matt, as well. Always good. Always puts a bit of a lump in our throat, doesn't it, when athletes are just... It's just one of those things. This is... You are joining, as we said at the start, you're joining some of the one percenters. You know, there are less than 1% of the world's population that have completed a marathon. So for so many of these athletes, it is a lifelong dream to complete a marathon in whatever time. And just to be part of their finish line celebrations is, is always rather special. It's humbling, isn't it, Andy? It really is. Yeah, it is humbling. Um, Andy and I love coming here every single year and seeing this scene because it really does inspire you. Uh, oh. We get something from it as well. And, uh, oh, and Liam's got uh, there's a bit of a bit of a twinge there, Liam. But he'll live to fight another day, I think. He will. Live, live. I'm not sure the hamstrings will, but he will. <laughs> but don't, we've oh, got a brilliant dear. physio team as well. We've got some, we've got some teams that are going to look after our athletes as well. Andy's Man Club there, Rich T. Well done. Like the biscuits. He's good. A little dunk. A little dunk. There for that man. Well done, Gareth. Well done, from Gareth Bale Royal. Royal. Local to me in Cheshire. There, well done. Well done, Tom. And when you've crossed the line, everybody, just keep those legs moving. Just keep walking through. Look at uh, this guy here. He's absolutely keep smashed walking. it. What well on, Haley. Mark. Well Mark Woo! from the AHRC well Mark. Club. He's happy, isn't he? Yes. I'll tell you what's good, Andy, is that when these runners come into the finish line, they're absolutely what an raving Errol. away. Uh, it, the crowd feed off it, which is yeah. really nice to see. It's fantastic. Keep making noise, Manchester. What a brilliant... Coliseum of noise that we create here on Talbot Road. It's truly sensational. Every year we get to be part of this special day for so many athletes. And the race is getting bigger and bigger. As you all know, we've moved now to the second largest marathon in the UK. 28,000 registered runners. We'll see about 24,000 completers today. What a day. And it's Brilliant. just an absolute sea of finishes Matt well and Spud great move and once you finish guys just keep the legs moving you'll move down to our reception team you'll be able to get your prized Manchester Marathon medal and your finishers t-shirt as well and you'll be able to then hopefully just uh, take the weight off your feet as you get into the athlete village but uh, just try and keep moving it really helps with our organisation here on the finish line we realise you've just done it you've finished 26.2 miles you want to just stop but it does help if it also helps the legs because uh, your legs have been running for 26.2 miles. Keeping them moving is going to do them a favour as well.
Well done, so many of you runners there. Well done, Paige, Ian, well done, Lewis. Well done, somebody running for breast cancer there. Don't forget, we've got some brilliant charity partners for 2023. We've got Cancer Research UK, we've got Alzheimer's. Well done, buddy. Well done, Sam. Keep moving, pal, if you can, mate. Well done there, Russell. Well done, buddy. Well done. So many brilliant smiley faces. Elation, I think, is the word of the day today. So many happy runners. Yes. <laughs> need to sometimes make sure that my microphone isn't too close to some of these as they uh, express their happiness in colourful ways so I keep my microphone away. <laughs> well done. Well done, Dom. Running for pancreatic cancer, mate. Well done, buddy. Thank you for your contribution. Thanks to all of our charity runners today. They raise hundreds of thousands of pounds for so many worthy charities and they do truly make a difference of the lives of so many people. So if you're running for a charity today, on behalf of myself, Matt, the whole of the race team, thank you. And you did something really, really special. Well done, Rory. Well done. There we go, a couple of the famous Chulton runners. There we go, look. Chris the juggler, juggled all the way round and still ran about three hours 20. Here's our visually impaired runner as well. Well done, Charlotte, you can stop now. Well done, Charlotte. What well a guide, well done, sensational running, brilliant. There we go, Manchester, our visually impaired runner that's run with their guide all the way through. And in fact, she was, uh, I know that she was trying to qualify for the Olympics, for the Paralympics, so um, we'll see if that happens. Fantastic running, absolutely brilliant. So massive thanks, of course, we were talking about our charity partners, but also we could not have done this without Adidas, our headline partner here today. We are very grateful to Adidas for the sponsorship, but also the help and the wonderful, wonderful support that they're offering us here at the Manchester so around, Marathon. Yeah, so, so thank you very much. Around 3.12 there, Matt, for the Red Bees. So we're on just over 3.10 or so probably for the, the Red Bees. Well done, Shannon. Hello. Get it stopped. Get it stopped. Get it on Strava, quick. If it's not on Strava, it never happened. I was just talking about our uh, partners as well, Andy, and just uh, mentioning the support from Adidas, but also, of course, from Erdinger Alcohol Fry as well, our uh, hydration partner, shall we say, at the finish line there. Thanks very much to them. And, of course, to SIS Science in Sport uh, for the help out on the feed stations and the support, and, of course, in the finish area there for the Athlete Village. Get yourself a protein bar courtesy of the SIS team and finally to the AWOL media team to the AWOL adventure photographers for all well done, of the Angie. photos I tell you what that's a performance well done Angie team twinkle team junkie well done Ben well done ladies and gentlemen all of you crossing Duffy from Ford Runs So when well you finished, everyone, if you could just keep those legs moving. Well done, Sarah. Well done to Alex, and well done to. Uh, there you go, the fastest, the fastest punk rocker in Manchester. Well done there. That's that hairspray's worked well, hasn't it?
Well done, Cathy. Well done, Paul. Well done, Alexa. Well done, Kevin. Well done, tops are off already. That's it. The gloves tops are off. The tops off. are off. Well done. Watch out, ladies. The tops are off. Well done, Dave. Well done, Annie. Well done, Annie. Go work. Keep moving. Keep moving all the way through. Here's our pace up. Matt, this will be the 315 pacer. I, I think it will be 315. Absolutely brilliant job once again. These paces are absolutely bang on today. Let's try and have a look at the uh, watch of this runner here. I'm sure it's absolutely bang on. And look, he's waving. He's urging all of his 315 well done, runners yeah. in. Well done, Tom. Well done, Phil. Fantastic. Well done to our pacer. As always, look at that. He's supporting all of the people that have ran with him for the last three and a quarter hours. Well done, Ben. Well done, Mark. It's Sushi, isn't it? Sushi from the 315 gang. Look at that. He's uh, absolutely willing him onto that finish line to get under 315 to do it. And there you go. Girl from Blackburn there who uh, looks like Sushi has been helping around the whole route to get her 315. Ooh. That's what it's all about, Andy. That well, is what it's all about. Well done to Neil running for the Alzheimer's Society. Congratulations, my friend. Well done, guys. A little bit of pain there. Well done. Make some noise, Manchester. One of our weary competitors. Do you know what, Andy? It doesn't matter how you, how you get to the finish line. It's just, oh, he's exactly. just... He wants to crawl up. He wants to crawl. Oh, man. <laughs> Crawling <laughs> over the front. Well done. Well done, Faye. Literally crawling Noah. across the well line. Done, wow. He well actually, done, he was determined to get across that line. Wow. I tell you, there's some scenes here. And well done to every single one of you coming across that finish line. This is what it's all about, guys. Well, well done, done to guys. Chris and his supporters, his friends, his family. Well done, Chris. Good on you, buddy. Well done, Dan. And Dan well and done, Daniel Matt. and Matt. Matt's, Matt. look. Matt's, look, we're on. Are we on? Hey, there you well go. Well done, Matt. Well done, buddy. Good race today. Well done. See you later. Great running. Well done, Luke there from North Hearts Roadrunners. Well done. Look at that yet again. The nice spirit, work, Johnny. The camaraderie between runners. Look at oh, this. Legs of lead. Legs of lead. Well he's done it. Well he's done it. He's done it. There we go. Congratulate. And thanks to those. Give a round of applause to those runners as well. Who are helping people out as they're crossing the line. Yeah, just keep walking, ladies and gentlemen, please. All the way through the finish line. Exceptional performances for all of you today. Well done. But we need to keep you moving. Well done, Johnny. What a Maz. She's absolutely ecstatic. Well done. Tears of joy. Never a dull moment. There really isn't a dull moment here on the finish line of the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton hopefully keeping you informed as much as we can with all of these runners coming across the line. It's sensational. It really is inspirational. And hopefully you are feeling the love from all of these runners. You've been a great audience and hopefully you're having a good day out here in the fair city of Manchester. Well done, Les. Well done, Sarah, from PH Racing Club there. Big smiles there, Sarah. Happy? There we go. That's what we want. And my iPad is uh, kicked off again, Andy, so I could just give a few names as they're coming down the finish line. We've got Mark Furlong, Mark Tracy, Michael Hodgkins, Alec Church about to finish here in Manchester. Dean Maguire, Douglas Mason, Simon Maggot, Daniel Garthwhite, Helen Standing as well, not too far from the finish line. Congratulations to you all. Latest finishers in the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Yeah, well done to all of our runners now. What a Michael, brilliant performance. Robbo. Well done, buddy. Home Firth Harriers, Lifeboats Association. Yeah, Marvin and I, well done. All sorts of charities and clubs being represented. Fantastic work, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Well done there. Bellevue Racer coming across the finish line. City of Souls, we are Well done. Keep moving, ladies and gentlemen, please. All the way through. Well done. Well done, Kinlock. Well done to Glenn as well. He's made it through. Great performance. Whoa, well those legs are stiff, but it doesn't matter because you're on the finish line. You've done it. You Keep smashed moving, it. Gents. Well done. Keep moving. Well done. Jake Murray has just finished. A few more names, Andy, maybe. Henry Entwistle, Ryan Perkin, Luke Carter about to hit the finish line. Thomas Stewart literally almost there on the finish line here. And Drew Royal also with Karen well McNulty well Keep just about to finish. Winchester and District, well done to Jules. 
congratulations yeah, well to done. you. Well done, Jules. Keep moving. Amazing performance. Great job. Well done. Somebody running there for Motor Neuro. Great charity. Well done, Tom. Well done, Ben, from the Royal Canoe Club. Awesome running. And well done to Karen there. And Pete. Looking good, Pete. You've done well it. You've smashed it. Well done, Jess. Running for the Ron Pickering yeah. uh, Memorial Fund. Great charity. The Ron well Pickering Memorial get Fund. It the, get it on the social. It's all about the social. Well done, keep going. So many runners giving absolutely everything. There's Wilco. I saw that beard earlier on. It was impressive then. It's an impressive now. Well done, Wilco. Great performance. Well done there, Hinkley. From the, my home, home county of Leicestershire. Well done. Brilliant performance. Ghoul, ghoul Viking there from the heart of Lincolnshire. Well done. Here's our... Another, our, yeah, another this 315, is our, our 315 pace up, which I always do. Have a quick look. It was. It's a tad faster. Three eleven. Oh, just call value for money. Don't you worry, have a value lot of for people money. thanking you and hating you, probably, but I'm sure more, more thanks than, than anything else. Look at this. Here it is. The one and only Mr. Andy Maltz coming across this finish line. Well done, Mark. Congratulations, my friend. Total tri train. We've got Andy coming across the line here well to done, talk Andy. to Andy. Well done, buddy. Cleath Ups. Well done, Neil. Congratulations. And Nick and Michael coming across the line. Kevin from the Stragglers Club doing a great job here in Manchester. Every single one of them around about three hours and 15 minutes on the clock, give or take a minute or two. Some of these runners will be running quicker than that because their waves were in different starting uh, situations to some other runners so therefore some people may well be finishing with a blue wave or a pink wave and they're obviously a few minutes ahead of those red wave runners and the way it works in terms of the timing is that every runner will get a time from when they cross the start line and cross the finish line so it all depends on when that happened but fantastic running well done to Frankie just crossing a line and from Chorley, Dullant, well done to you, from Chorley Harriers, one of the uh, famous local clubs here from the Northwest. Well done to Ross, looking extremely pleased, and so is Sean, having crossed the line. We got uh, Alan from the Kesgo Cruisers, well done to you. And congratulations to Simon and to Taylor, and also Ryan and uh, from the Home Pyramid. Keep moving, guys, as you cross that line. Just keep those legs moving on to get your medal and to reunite yourself with your friends and family. And, of course, get your finisher's T-shirt and the accolade of a finisher in the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. Well, it's a mark just crossing that line. What well up, Fiona? What well up, Mary? What well up? Looking very, very good. Lots of these runners. Well done to Rob Kenny as well. So well done, Duncan. Well done, Mike. Well done, Scotty. Well done, Aaron. Congratulations, fellas and girls and every well single done, one of you. Keep moving, buddy. Keep moving all the way through the finish line. Best moustache I've seen all day from that man. Very, very well trimmed. Well done to Anita Byrne and to CLC Striders. Well done to Jamie and Neil and James from the Royston Runners down there in the south of England. Well done to Mason and Joel from the Lee Harriers. Congratulations, my friend. You've done it. You've completed it. You've smashed it here in Manchester. Valentine, congratulations to you. And John from the South Cheshire Harriers. Brilliant work. Keep moving, guys, as you cross that line. Just keep those legs moving so that you will enable our, our team here on the finish line to uh, keep things flowing. Everyone doing a great job, including you, of course, the runners. Well done. Well done, Jonathan. Well done, Charlie, Mr. Stirrup. You might need a couple of stirrups. Those legs. Well done, buddy. Good to see you, pal. Well done, Steve-O. Well done, Jonathan. Well done.
Well done, Matt. Well done, everybody. Well done to from the Brian from the Ronzi Valley, Ronde Valley Runners. Well done, Brian. Congratulations. Keep moving, everybody, as you cross that well line. Done. Jamie running for the Forever Manchester. Well done, well done my friend. Looking really happy there, Melon. Well done. And well done to Gaz as well. Congratulations, buddy. Great running. Josh and Chris. Oh. What well on those hamstrings are tighter. Peter well from the Hatch Warren Kelvin Runners. Well done, Peter. Alzheimer's. Well done, Kelvin. That's the way to do it. Andy, look, just... <laughs> I don't think his legs will ever bend ever again. That man. Wow. Well done, Shano. Well done, Harry. Well done, keep moving. Well done, Jord. Well done. Redemption. Here, Andy, this is uh, Declan here. Do you remember at the start line? What a... What a that man yeah. looking good. Look at he was. He was... He had a brilliant... So here we go. Here's Andy. Oh. He's done it. There we go. So j just just a quick chat with uh, Andy here. So I'm just going to move you a little bit back this way. So Andy's just ran as Olaf. Uh, he was going out to set a Guinness World Record of 3.45, 3.46. And he's just ran, what do you want? 3.32. So that is a, that will be officially a Guinness World Record. You've just the witnessed the fastest it. snowman ever. <laughs> Well done, yes, buddy. absolutely brilliant. There you go, Andy, a Guinness World Record holder. Guinness World yeah. Record, yeah. Super Official. job. Official that. Well into Gavin from the Aruri Harriers. Congratulations, mate. Oh, look, a little <laughs> newborn baby as well. There you go, free of charge. That is free of charge. I'm presuming it's just sweat or something. Ah, oh, look at that beautiful. There you go, with his newborn. Well into Kev. Congratulations, Kev. You've just done it. Salt Dog 2.0. Yeah, well done. Man. Keep making some noise, Manchester Talbot Road. Cheer all of these competitors in. Super, super performance. Well done, Josh. Jem, well done. You're an absolute star. Well done. Are you happy, Jem? Very happy. That's what we want. Brilliant. There we go. Who we got there running for MNDA, promoting your own charity? That is Burns. Burns. Well done, Marcin. Burn, baby, burn. Absolutely brilliant. Well brilliant done, Dimitri. Jack Callow running for the uh, Boise's Bridge. Well done, mate. Congratulations. So much money being raised today, no doubt, for so many charities up and down the country, all over the world. Well it's done, brilliant Jack. to see. Well Not done. only our charity partners here of Cancer Research, Alzheimer's, British Heart Foundation, and, of course, Sense, but also loads of other charities here in Manchester and around yeah. the country. Absolutely. And we're so, so lucky to have the support of some amazing charities from Alzheimer's to Cancer Research, uh, Sense as well, and the British Heart Foundation. But we've got so many local charities in Manchester that so many people run for, uh, from the Christie to uh, the Manchester Children's Hospital, so many charities that will benefit in Manchester as well. And as you mentioned there, There's Andy, Ju There is Julian, Julian from Chester Try, well done. Mark from the uh, MNDA, Motor Neuron Disease, well incredible charity. Oh, here's David Hasselhoff. On, this, Mr. Welch, yeah. Nicholas Welch from TTC. Well done, Nick. Well done, buddy. Keep moving, pal. Well done, Tom. Looking good in his Baywatch kit. Beautiful man, beautiful man. Well done, baby Dave. Good on you, buddy. Congratulations. Latest finisher in the Manchester Marathon here on Talbot Road. Wonderful work. Once you finish, guys, just keep the legs moving. Just keep walking through the finish line. We really appreciate it. We yeah, appreciate well done, and, and all you want to do is Ross. sit down and do nothing. Was but this, actually, number, this number six, Ross? Just keep moving. Seven. Well done, Catherine. One of our legends. So uh, you'll see various runners today running in Manchester Legends T-shirts. That means they've completed three or more Manchester marathons. And we've got some that have run five. Just saw Ross there. This is his seventh. Manchester Marathon, really? seventh Manchester nice. Marathon, yeah. That's a nice work. One lap or two, exactly. Hopefully one, and uh, I think the second lap might be uh, a bit later on. Well done, Dougie. Yeah, yeah we, we used work, to say mate. that a lot, didn't we? Well done, congratulations. Just the second lap to go. Well done, Ian. Well done, buddy. Well done, Alex Dalton. 
nice tash. Tommy there from the Rahini Club over there in Ireland. Good, good to see you over here. Alex Dalton as well. Excellent work. Well done, my friend. And well done. Carl. Well done, Running for Children with Cancer. Brilliant charity. Yeah, Some brilliant charity. charity. As well. Here we got Run Ermston Hockey. There's a cold pint waiting for you. Look at that. We need more signs, Matt. We need more signs. Yeah, we need to get sign. up. In, the thing is, Andy, we need to get up high to see the signs. So we'll uh, maybe we'll do that in a few minutes. We might retire to our little shed for a minute and then come back down maybe in a while. Eh? I'm sure you could do with a little drink. Well yeah, done to well Becca done. from Bianca from the Try Hard Harriers. Well done, Bianca, and well done to Ben. Just stopping his watch there. Well done, well done, Hannah. Keep moving, Hannah, please. All the way through. Yeah, once you've crossed the line, if you could just keep those legs moving, it does help our organisation team. And of course, it's a good idea just to keep your legs moving if you can. Well done, just keep moving all the way stopping. through. Well done, Rufus. Well done, keep moving all the way through. Well done, Hannah and Andy from the Kipax Harry as well done, my friend. Congratulations. Well done, well done Pickles. Well done, Pickles. Pickles. It, wasn't it Pickles that found the FA Cup? Or was that the World Cup? World Cup, wasn't it? World Cup. Yeah. Probably wasn't this Pickles. There's Yul Verne. Doesn't look old enough. Iron Brew. Somebody running for Iron Brew there. What well a Peter. Keep Some, moving, everybody. Did you say, Andy, somebody running for Iron Brew? <laughs> Made wow. in Scotland by Gerdes. Hey. Congratulations. Tom from East Cheshire. Well done, my friend. Yeah, well done, buddy. Well done, Hazy. Well done, Ben. What well a Karen. Sensational today. Well done. And Paula running for the North Arts Road as well done to you, Paula. Hello, and, Gary. Uh, Steve running for the Dub Runners in Belfast. Good to see you here, Steve. David from the Clayton Lamores Club, of course. We mentioned uh, the late great Ron Hill, of course, a club very close to his heart, the Clayton Lamores Club, just outside of Manchester. Well yeah. done to Andy Macmillan. Well done, buddy. Congratulations, Jack KP. Well done, my friend. And Daniel running for the Kenilworth Runners. All finishers here in Manchester 2023. Addy, that's Manchester Marathon. Great day out. Well done, one of the Tri Central lads, Dan Kent. Well done, buddy. He, I tell you what, just in the shades, Andy. Just in the shades. Just in the shades. It's all about the photos. It's all about the photos. Well done, Sam. Well done, Silas. Well done, Patrick. Yeah, keep moving. Keep moving. Don't turn around. Keep moving. Come on, Catherine. Dan. Save the love Dan, for the medals. What are they, they Dan? You can stop running now, Dean, unless you want to do a second lap. Well done to Nick running for the soldiers, uh, for the a uh, ABF, of course. Well done, Dan. Congratulations what to Neil. Tibby. It's all about the naked running. Apparently. Joe Fishwick, well done to you. Congratulations. Sorry, Latest finisher, well done to Pony. You're not a one-trick pony. You're a many well, trick pony, well done, my friend. Well done, gents. Keep moving, keep moving all the way through. I know your fans are waiting, but they'll just have to wait a little bit longer. There's a lot of love on the finish line here, Andy. There really is lots of people achieving their goals and their dreams. Congratulations, Dave. Well done to Michael and to Raymond Chan as well. Keep moving if you can, guys. Just keep those legs. Yeah, well done, gents. Well done, Jacob Reese. That guy's just going around. Is, is he, are you trying to get the Strava up to 42.2? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, he's got to make 26.2 miles, otherwise it doesn't count, apparently, on Strava. Yeah, it doesn't. It won't, it won't yeah. yeah. He, clearly off... went, he clearly went a different way, because everybody else I've seen was spot on. <laughs> 26.224 was what I saw a minute ago. He's off for the chippy, anyway. Well, the well Neil done. from the Oswald Street Olympians. Well, well done, done, my friend. What does the sign say? I've never seen Leakin run a marathon. We well, have now. Oh. Did you get that, Andy? No. Running for the Chicken Cottage. There you go. LSE Varsity 2023. Brilliant well done, work. Guys. Well done, Gavin. And Kat and uh, Alex. What well a Dad. What well a Ian. What well a Cheeky. What well a Molly. Cheeky How are those feeling? Well, uh, look at how happy these runners are, Matt. Yeah. There you go. Somebody lovely. from Hastings from the South Coast. What well a joke. He's happy. David's happy. Ailing's happy. What a Mills. David's, David's, I better not get in the way of that man. He was over the moon, to say the least. Beautiful to see. Just keep moving, guys, uh, once you've come across the line. If you can, just uh, 
keep those legs moving. You'll be thanking me later on. Well done, Tom. Well done, Mark. Believe me. Well done, Joe Duffy. Well done, Jay. Keep moving, buddy. And Jay from Liverpool. Well done, my friend. The Noble Run Club. Well done. You're one of the relays. Yeah. So we've got 1,300 map relay runners today. So that's teams that have teams that have split the distance either between two or four runners. What a yep. great way to be able to compete in this race. As we've said, don't forget on Tuesday we do open entry, a limited amount of entries for the 2024 Manchester Marathon. Well done, Hayley. Yeah, looking forward to that, of course. And later on this year, you can also get involved if you're inspired and want to run a marathon and you can't think you can do it in all one go. Why don't you start off with the half? We've got the Manchester half here in pretty much well, the same Seb. area uh, in October. October the 15th, entries are open for the MCR half right now. What a now. Norbert, what a JP. Congratulations, well done to you, my friend, and well done to yeah JP there running for the Make a Wish charity. Very, very big charity, and congratulations to you. Hopefully, raising valuable funds. Well done to Dave. Well done. Just keep moving through the start line. And Finchy from well the done. Cheltenham Club. Well done, Finchy. Well done, Martin. Well done, Cap. And Ash Reese running for the Great Ormond Street charity. Another brilliant charity. Well done, Edna. Well done. I can see Doug from the Headington Road Runners. And from the Stowe Market Striders, we've got Ollie there, just finished. Well done. Keep moving. Well done, Josh. I could give a little shout out some names, Andy. I'll just reel them yeah. off here on the iPad. We've got Molly Dealey is just finishing with Scott Maul and Simon Cheek, Dan Reeve and Ian Bailey with Michael Burns not too far behind and Ed Dyer. Mark Andrew, Simon O'Leary, Cameron Scott, Joanna Adamson, Craig Livermore and Catherine Derbyshire. All finishers here at the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Keep moving if you can, well guys, well done, as you cross that line. Complete with a broken hand by the looks of it as well. So well done to you. Well done, Rose Morgie. Well done, Trevor. Great performances. Well done. Another sea of people coming across the line, Harry. Uh, Andy, this looks like a little bit well of a... Looks like the start of another wave coming in here. Well so. done, well done, Chris, from the new mask carriers. Well done, somebody there running for the Alzheimer's Society. Just missed your name there. Well done, buddy. Well done, Scott. Well done, Bethan. Well done, Beth. You've done it. You've done a marathon. Woo! Well done, Pete and Emma. Well done. Make some noise, Manchester. Keep making the noise. What well on Solomon? What well on buddy? What well on Jack? What well on Mike? Running in the Wales vest there. Cheshire Dragons. So Cheshire Dragons. They are a great club of Cheshire Dragons. And of course, Chorlton Runners there. Another one. That's Katie. Well done to you. Fantastic. Well, and Tim, thanks for looking after your fellow runner there. It's good to see you on the finish line. These people who possibly don't even know each other just looking after each other as they cross that line. Well done to Wright and to Joe. He's happy. Well. Neil's very happy. Well done, Neil. Well done, Jack. Well done, Mimi. Well, I clearly still got the playlists playing. That's what it is. Can't hear us. Well, Jenny. Well done, Richard. Well done, Chris. Well done. Sensational performances here now as we get into the kind of 345 this, mark map, about 345. I think now, Andy, as well, this is really getting very yeah, this busy. Is, this is rush hour, as we call it, but to be fair, it's been rush hour for an hour. <laughs> incredible. It really is incredible. There Leon running is, for the Mari. cancer research, uh, the Macmillan cancer support. That's it, PB. Whoop, whoop. Well done, Bari. Well done, Ian. Well done, Ryan. And here comes one of those one of our paces, not coaching, too far. Melissa, I think this well could be uh, this one of the 330 paces, Andy, maybe looking at it. I'm it is indeed 330 paces. So there you go. That's That would explain, Andy, as well, one of the uh, the reason for the big gluts of runners as well. What do you reckon on his watch? Should we have a look at the 330 paces watch? I'm sure he'll come and talk to you when he gets a second. 
Well done to well Gabby we and to Louis in memory of... 329. Yeah, well done to you, my friend. There we go. That's what you want. 329. Matt. Valley for money again. Well done. Good on you. Our 3, 330 pacer, 329. And every single one of the people who will be hanging with these pacers will be yeah. really grateful, no doubt. Absolutely fantastic performances from all these runners. Keep moving when you cross so the finish many, line. So many sensational stories and performances today, Matt, from every single one of these runners, whether they've ran 2.30 or they're going to run 5.30. They've all done it for a reason, a cause, something that got them out of bed every morning over the last three or four or six months. And they've got to share the joy with 28,000 other runners. What a day. What a way to come to Manchester with that famous backdrop. Yeah. Absolutely loving it here today, Andy. As ever, we're having such a good day. And you just feed, don't you? As a, the job that me and Andy do, you know, you feed off that enthusiasm and that love from the runners and from the people supporting. It's been a cracking day. It really has. And long, long hours are still to come. We'll be here for every single one of the runners over the next few hours, all the way through to probably something approaching seven hours for our last finisher today. But well, we will be too. here. Happy? Happy it's over. Don't need, don't need a microphone, you lot, do you? I tell you. Great to hear such great support for our runners. Well, Andy, Steve Andy, just one minute here. I've got a chat with me. And this man today has just completed his... 100 marathon. Round of applause, 100 marathons. 100 marathons. 100 marathons. How did it go? It was hard. 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 But you're pleased to create that, complete that 100. Must mean a lot. Yeah, exactly. Well done. Brilliant performance. I'm sure there are some well people. Well done, Darren. Absolutely brilliant. Congratulations. We saw him at the start line. We seen him at the finish line. Yeah. 100, 100 marathons. marathons. I'm sure there'll be some people today, Matt, that will suggest one is enough. <laughs> and maybe yeah. never any more no, to come. Yeah. Well, but you know, that's, that's quite typical, Andy, isn't it? You know, you, what you do is you get people crossing the line saying, oh, never again. And within 24 hours, they've entered. They're signing up for next You never year. know. They start to do that post-race analysis. They look at their watch, the Strava, the training peaks, and they go, oh, maybe, maybe I could have just picked it up. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're back on a start line in a, in a year's time, which, again, if they want to, Tuesday morning, we will open yep. some limited entries for the 2024 Adidas Manchester Marathon. Fantastic. What well up, Beth? What well up, Tom? Congratulations to all of these runners. We've got Ollie GFD from the Lonely Goat Running Club. We've got Matt here as well. Well done, my friend. Stu from the Red Rose Club. Brilliant running. Leeds City, Bettington. Well done, my friend. And Mark from the Ward Park Runners. Finley's running for Maggie's. Well done, Finley. Can't believe it. Can't quite believe it. He's over the moon, and so he should be. He's just smashed it here in Manchester at the Adidas Manchester Marathon. And Adam from the Valley Striders. Yes, Andy. So we just, as always, you and I like a sign, don't we? They're my favourite sign I've seen so far. Hurry up, Steve. The Kenyans have drank all the beer. <laughs> that, that is... <laughs> maybe it's true. It is true. Maybe it's true. Aid running for the Sense charity. Well done, Aid. Go Tom T, we've got Go Tom T there. Go Hot Tom T. Lots of phones recording the special moment as their loved ones or friends or colleagues or family members cross this finish line here on Tolbert Road. Well done, Toby. Toby's glad it's all over. He'll be back. I sense he'll be back. Well done, Andy. I've just checked out, checked out a couple of watch there, Andy. 3.33 on the clock. 3.33 for some of these runners. What's that say? What's that sign say? Manchester Marathon 2023. 77196. Seven, oh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. Yof. Yof. Aoife. 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 Well done. Keep up the pace. That's what you can get horribly wrong, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Keep going. All the way through well, the finish line. Well done, Volshi. Oh, so we saw Bikilo uh, earlier on. I think he's took a bit of a tumble, but he's done well. He's still finished. Always impressive, isn't it, Matt, where we see someone who's took a bit of a tumble out there on the course and still manages to pick themselves up and carry on. And talking about people coming across the line, Andy, Michael Sowcroft, Luke Mason, 
Jamie Gilman, James Bell, Tony Walsh, Mike Billsborough, Philip Booth well, and uh, Richard Varley are about to come across the finish line here in Manchester to realise their dream and to complete the challenge of 26.2 miles in the city of Manchester. It's been a great day. Bex is over the moon. She's in tears. She's absolutely over the moon. Three minute PB. Brilliant. Well done, Bex. That's what it's all about. So many stories, so many dreams being realised and people from all walks of life coming here into the arena of the Manchester Marathon to complete well the challenge. Really That's great to see. Inspirational stuff. It really, really is. What well a Shane. What well a Dan. What well a Jake. And Naomi well done, as well. Kim. What well a Kim for the new Forest Runners. She happy? Are we happy, Kim? She can't hear me. It playlists on too loud. What well done. Congratulations to Noel and to CP and to John. Well done, guys. And Here's Nigel. Superman, Matt. Here's Superman crossing the finish line. Da, 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 da. Oh, is that, do you know what? Not a bead of sweat, are they? No. What well a Jack. What well a Jess. Keep moving, buddy. What well done. And to Rick. All the way through the finish line, ladies and gentlemen, please. Keep walking. I know the legs feel like they can't continue, but trust me, they can. They'll thank you for just keeping those legs moving a few more yards. Well done, Nicole. Thank you for your support, Rosie. I love you. That's what it's all about, buddy. Well done, Dan. Dan running for cancer Happy research. Happy anniversary. He'll get a shout out. Yuxel, well done, my friend. And to Max from the uh, Wigson. Is it Wigson Roadrunners? Well done, friend. Good on you. Poplar Running Club, Amy FH. And Tom from the Bramall Runners and Wills and James. All the latest finishes. Great finishing. Well done, Nelson. Well done, Pete on, from the Shrewsbury Club. making some noise for all of these runners as they come across the finish line here on Talbot Road. Brian O.C. and John looking at the watches, raising the arms, taking the glory of the Manchester Marathon. Just keep moving if you can, guys. Just keep those legs moving and down to get your medal and into your athlete village area. Thank you very much. Thanks to David for supporting the Alzheimer's Society. Great work, well done, Connor. Keep moving, buddy, please. Keep moving down to the finish where the team will get you a medal and, and to, something uh, to eat and drink. Well done, James. Well done, Lord Chill Roadrunners. Well done, Sophie. Well done, Lee. And Adam from the KTC from Nuts for Try. Well done, Adam. Well done to Macca and to well James from Lords Hill Roadrunners. Well Runners. done, Massey. Well done, Banks. And Sophie from Yeovil is absolutely overcome with elation and joy and tears well done to her well fantastic done. well done running for Camden Lacrosse keep moving guys please all the way through the finish line Chris you okay buddy well done Mick well done David just keep moving down the finish line, please. Don't stop as you finish. Well done, Mitch Just from the Hills. Keep moving. Harriers. Keep moving all the way through. Gareth, well done, James. Excellent. Well done, Pip. Well done, Emma. Those legs will work again one day. <laughs> well done. Well done, oh, James. We well done, Claire. Well done, Jack. Jack running for the Alzheimer's there. Well done, buddy. Great another, course. Another one here, well Andy, as well. Michael running for the Alzheimer's Society as well. Well done, guys. Well done to Rach as well. Congratulations. And to young fella here, James, and to Roops and Matt and Richard. And for Ricardo, who's running for the cancer, the Cavendish Cancer Care. Well done, Ricardo. And Brain Tumor Charity. Lauren's just finished well along with Joe. And Tom from the Preston Riversway Roadrunners. And Nadia from Altrincham. And Alan from the Nosley Harriers as well. Just crossing that finish line. Congratulations to you well all. Let's finish us. Well done, Stephen, there. Well done, John. Running for the... Oh. Well done, Omar. Great running. So many really, really happy and elated people. 
as you start creeping towards that kind of 345 mark, four hour mark, it's going to start to get exceptionally busy. Lots of people targeting the sub four time on the watch. Yeah, absolutely. Angela Here's Neil. From... We, saw, we saw Neil this morning, Matt, Matt, do you remember? He was taking pictures at about seven o'clock this morning. Ah, oh, yes. Looked, well done. Here he is. Well done, well buddy. From Perfect the CDF runners, wasn't he? Good on him, and good on you, Jamie, running for Parkinson's, changing attitudes, find a cure. That's what it's all about. Yeah, well Lots of people today, Andy, will what be running is? in the memory of others and raising money for various charities, which is inspirational yeah, in absolutely. itself. Yeah, it doesn't matter why you do it, it's the fact that you get it done. Lots of reasons why people are running from, obviously, in recent times, the loss of loved ones during the COVID pandemic, uh, loss through cancers or other horrible diseases, and every single person that's running for a yeah. charity today will make somebody's life a little bit better as a result of and all that. And that is that what money. it's all about, isn't yeah. it, Andy? It's just basically small steps. Every tiny step makes a difference. Every penny makes a difference to a lot of these charities in tough times as it can be out there at the moment. And charities benefiting from amazing work from all of these runners. We are so, so grateful. It really is inspirational yeah. stuff. And just keep moving well, as you finish there. Keep moving. Yeah. Well done. Stay up, yeah. Keep moving. Keep walking. The legs might not say no, but you can keep going. What well a Laura. Oh, my God, was that? <laughs> Absolutely. What well a Laura. Well done, keep moving, keep moving before you get trampled. Keep, well done, keep going. Well done, everybody. Well done, Sam. We got the fist pump. Just keep moving through this finish line if you can. Well done to Anthony and to Stu as well from the Whitchurch Whippets. Yeah, right, well done, Higgs. Still Mania. smiling, buddy. Still keep smiling, moving, buddy, if you can, mate. Keep moving. Well done. <coughs> and we got Rachel and John from the Fit Mums and Friends. Well done, Rachel well and John. Done. Good on you both. Cop Commentary and crowd herding uh, but two skills that we've got today. Matt, is it? Lost so many people, so many people coming across this finish line now. What well on Michael, what well on Blair, what well on Ed. Sarah, sensational, well done. Rocking a Snow only a marathon t shirt there, Matt. Yeah, I tell you what, there's, it's unbelievable. I'm just around the here corner, on the corner, Andy. And Sarah and Michael, people coming past, absolutely in tears, seriously, literally in tears about uh, obviously completing a marathon. Some of them might be tears of joy, some yeah, of them might be absolutely. pain, some might be of memories, but they're all, all emotional. And it's wonderful to see here at the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Congratulations to Dominic, who's just crossed the line, and Caroline just stopping her watch. And from, uh, we've got the lodger from the Alzheimer's Society. Well done to him. Well done, Mary. Well done, Daddy. Well done, Zach. Harry, well done, buddy. Just keep moving all the way through this finish line now. Ian, keep moving, buddy. Yeah, keep those legs moving. Keep the blood flowing, the blood pumping. It's just a few more yards. Well, and to Faye from the uh, Limb Runners, Ian, uh, struggling a bit, but you've made it, mate. You've got there. Well done, Daddy. Well done, Scott. Well done, Tom. Well done, Matthew. Keep moving. Well done. Just be careful of the runners around you, please. Well done. Well done, Christian. Gethuma. Well done, buddy. Aoife. Well done. Keep moving. You had a great sign. We gave you a shout out earlier on. You've done it. Just keep those legs moving for a few more yards. Well done, Dan Ellis. Keep those hamstrings moving. Super job from Ellie and from Nikki B. Latest finishers here. And Ed from the Litchfield Running Club. Andy Matt waving, waving to the camera, waving to the crowd. Over the moon, stops his watch. Brilliant job. Runners from the Maldwin Harry is just coming across the line as well. Well done, guys. Congratulations. George there. And well done, guys. And heavy salad, Andy. Fiona, well done, Fiona. Let's keep moving through. Our team will look after you. They will indeed. You're absolutely right, Andy. Well done. Well done, everyone. Well done. Looking good. Looking strong. Well done to Steve and to Fiona and Dan Ellis. 
just coming into the finish area here. If you can just meet the, keep those legs moving, go and collect your medal, repatriate yourself well, with your John. friends and family, and of course make it to the Athlete Village. Fantastic work. I think we're getting to around about that 3.45 time now, Andy, something like that. So yeah, 3.34 for the pink waves. Right, okay. Yeah. So, obviously, some... the, yeah, obviously the waves are going to make a difference, aren't yeah, they, on some absolutely. of these times? Absolutely. So, although obviously some of the waves now are around the 3.45, four hour mark, for some of these later waves, they're probably around the 3.30 to 3.40 mark. So, yep. yeah, still some very, very fast runners. And, and they're almost catching the back of maybe some of those slower runners from the, pre, from the, the other waves as well. So, hence why they're coming through this finish line quite quickly. <laughs> Yeah, a few facts as well today. Well done, my friend, from the Troon Tortoises. Just so uh, we can uh, keep the flow of information as well, Andy. Apart from these runners, obviously there's so much going on around the route. Hopefully everyone would have uh, got involved in the sing-along over there in the city centre. There was uh, all sorts of fun and games going on with uh, karaoke and a big screen and uh, Manchester tunes being banged out there as well. Hopefully all of the uh, bands and the villages, shall we say, around the areas of Altrincham, Chorncombe, Hardy. I know there was a, a few bands playing there as well. And of course, things like one pound from every paid entry today goes to the Active Traffic Fund. Uh, this money goes back into the community events and projects focused in the health and activity in the local area. Two and a half thousand people of our runners today became green runners, foregoing their t-shirt and medal. That money will go into the ocean cleanup, helping reduce plastic in our waters. So. It's not just, Andy, about the running, it's also about the community effect and also about how wonderful some of these uh, some of these achievements of the, whether it's the local communities getting involved or the volunteers, just the great, great work that goes into this sort of event as well. A it's absolutely, Matt. And as, as you said, we've got a thousand volunteers. And again, just think about that, 1,000 volunteers out there on the course, on the finish line, at turn points, marshalling points, feed stations, start area. And, we, know, and we saw, what was it, Toby, was it? Toby, if Toby. you read my mind, Andy, you read my mind. The youngest, thanks very much, guys. The you read my mind, the youngest marshal here today, I think he was eight, and he was up there marshalling away with the third uh, Hazel Grove and the third Ashton, Ashton Scout Group. Ashton Scout Groups, yeah. Brilliant. And he was so excited <laughs> and he was like i'm gonna run this one day i know somebody that's running it eight years old and he stood there and he marshaled all of our runners to the start line today so sensational to see that one yeah. of the, a thousand volunteers that we've got out there on the course but there we go somebody running on memory of don middlemass well done buddy well done john joe jonathan enrique well done buddy and joe from the kai Philly runners down there in south wales glossopdale rob well done my friend Bramo well, runners Aaron we got we, James. Aaron we. well done danny and the panthers tri club well done to catherine well done to maria from the heathfield club as well congratulations to you excellent running well done simon more vast needed Running club there, Taunton, well done. So everybody, as you're crossing that line, congratulations on your achievement today here in Manchester. If you could just keep those legs moving, it will help with our well, organisation well on well the done, finish buddy. line here. Just keep walking through. Well done to Nick and Peter T. Yeah. Well done, Joseph. Well done, Michael. Well done, Matt. From the okay. Sale Harriers. We are we are proud. We love you, our champion. Well done. Oh, well done, that Dad. is what it's all well about. Done, buddy. Fantastic. Sale Harriers, not too far away. Just down well the road. We saw, well done, Rambo. Oh, yes, Rambo. Saw him at the start. Well done, Rambo. Do you know what, Andy? He's a bit less Rambo. He's a bit more like Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> now he's crossed that line. Never mind. Well done, Phil G. Well done, Marshall. This race can bring you down a rung or two, can't it, Andy? It can, absolutely, yeah. Yes. The tarmac was asking questions your body can't cash, as they say. 
What was it earlier on? The hallowed, the hallowed tarmac. Hallowed tarmac. In Manchester. The hallowed tarmac. Well, then John uh, running for the Jolton Sands. Jolton Kamardi. Jolton Kamardi. John well, running for the Sands charity. Well done, my friend. Well done. What well a Matt Ellis for the Schultz running well of Blakely. What well a Piet. All Al Scott. Well done, Al. Get it on the social. Come on, don't forget. Hashtag Manchester Marathon. If you are on social media today, do make sure you're putting the hashtag Manchester Marathon. Let's get trending. Whether you're posting pictures of your loved ones, whether they're, you're uploading as an athlete. Get some video stuff on there. Well done, Nick. Stealing a quick hug there, wasn't he? Nick. Woo! Good job. Well done, Pete, just running for the cancer research back. charity. Well done, Neil. Well done, Jen. Well done, Dits. I think there'll be a few very happy but slightly sore people tomorrow. But if you are venturing into, the, into Manchester City to, uh, today, do make sure you wear your medal. Various pubs and restaurants and clubs will give you some sort of either discount or free stuff if you've got your medal on. The city absolutely embraces this race year on year and they allow for us to create a little bit of chaos when we shut the roads for most of the day today. So thank you to the city and to Trafford as well that host us here year on year. Trafford Council as well. We saw the Lord Mayor of Trafford presenting our awards earlier on to our winners of the wheelchair and the running race as well, the male and females. So big thanks to them. Big thanks to the council, to the police as well. They support us year on year. Of course, St John Ambulance, our thousands of volunteers, our supporters. Just an announcement as well. See some people there on the railings on the side there. Can you just be careful if you're standing? Uh, we'd prefer you to get down because um, if anything happens, those railings, we've got spikes. Um, please, please be careful on there. It's just a public announcement there. We don't want any... We don't need uh, any kebabs. No, we don't want anything nasty happening. No of kebabs. course, we understand you want to try and get a good view, but please just be careful on that railing over there and that fence. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, well said, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. Safety first. I see a familiar face of Claire there. Claire Burtz, well done, Claire. So why don't we do a little recap, Andy? It's 20 past one on a Sunday afternoon here in Manchester in mid-April. You are here at the Manchester Marathon, sponsored by Adidas, our partner here for the next three years. We're so grateful to them. Wonderful, wonderful day out for 28,000 runners. What a, Claire, what a, a Becky. sea of humanity making their way around this 26.2 mile course. What an inspirational day it's been. And we've got hours to come. Myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton will yeah. be hopefully keeping you entertained and enthused over the next few hours before every single one of these runners crosses a line up to seven hours we're expecting our runners to take yeah. today matt and i are here for many more hours we take we're willing willing recipients of coffee and cake at any point so we, i think we might have to pop in and get a little yeah, refreshment yeah, in, yeah, in a short while uh, but we say that time and time at matt don't we they say should we just take 15 minutes and just quickly go and get something and we don't we just get swept up in the crowd and the people and then and we pay for it just, later yeah and you just don't want yeah five hours later and you've not had a drink or anything so well done to you Cal Cal Calai well done Benson and Joshua from the vegan run as well done my friend congratulations well done well, Cheeto no, no Cheeto today you're finished mate it's all good well done Chop well done, done Max buddy. running for the Dursley running club well done Max So, so nice to see so many happy runners. Regardless of what it says on the watch, it's how they feel in their heart. Derek, another Chester try runner. What well up, buddy? Gabby's just deciding if she's got any hamstrings left. What well up, Gabby, for the morning to chases? What well up, Paula? Well done, Taylor. Well done, Gabby. You're right. Keep walking. Well done, Ben. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. You're an absolute inspiration. You continue to amaze and inspire not only me, but the whole of our race teams, the supporters, your colleagues, your families, your friends. What a way to start a Sunday. 26.2 miles, 42.2 kilometers under your own steam to join the very, very elite endurance athletes in the world. Less than 1% of the population have completed a marathon. 
And if you're going to do one, Manchester's the place to do it. The world's friendliest, man, friendliest marathon. And judging by the amount of happy runners, they're one of the fastest as well. So well done. Well done. As I said, 1,000 marshals out there on the course today. Do make sure you just say thank you to a marshal. If you haven't already done so, just pat one on the back and say thank you, marshal. Well done, Laura. Well done, Michael. Well done, Sam. Well done, Ahern. Supporting the what hospice? Very hospice. Well done, buddy. Keep walking, mate. There we go. He's worn that shirt all the way round. No issues. Well done, Jerry. Well done, Lewis. Well done, buddy. Katie, sensational day for you. Lots of very different feels and smiles going on. Some elated, some slightly deflated. Didn't get what they wanted, but they still finished to live to fight another day. Well done, Laurie Doe's. I think we're in another little rush out here as well, Andy. Yeah. This is really busy. A big ton of people coming in. Another wave or two. Well done to them all. Super to see. So you are witnessing the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. All the finishers coming across the line, streaming here into the finish area on Talbot Road. It's been an incredible day. Myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton, my co-commentator here today. We've had a wonderful day over at the Start Access, of course, earlier on. Seeing all these runners off and now we're welcoming them back in. Every single one of them. We'll be here for hours and hours every single one of them.
earning that medal, earning the right to call themselves a finisher of this great marathon here in Manchester. And of course, results will be up and live and on view as they finish. And if they've uh, registered a phone number, they'll also receive a text with their race results today. And of course, you can follow your runner via the tracker. If you're just wondering where they are, I'm sure lots of you are doing it anyway. Follow them on the tracker, put in their number. The link's via the Facebook page and the website, manchestermarathon.co.uk. And you'll be able to follow your runner all the way here into the finish line, hopefully. And as they go down to the event village, you'll be able to then repatriate yourself with them later on. Who knows? Enjoy a drink or two to celebrate tonight. And hopefully share in the glory of their day here in Manchester for this incredible marathon. So a massive shout out to Ashton Clements, to Fiona Henderson. These people are about to cross a line in the next few seconds to Craig Swift, to Victoria Galbraith. Hayley Duckworth, Mark Maitland and Daniel Brown and Matt Brown. The Browns are about to come across the line as well. Congratulations to you. And our pacer of three hours and 45 comes across the line as well no doubt been done very accurately super job once you cross the line ladies and gentlemen just keep the legs moving it really does help with our organization and also it helps with the uh, recovery of your legs as well no doubt and within 100 yards or so you'll be able to get your finishers medal and your commemorative finishers t-shirt and then head down to our race village our athlete village Go and say hello to some of our sponsors. Get yourself a protein bar from SIS. The whole team are down there. A little glass of uh, 
Erdinger Alcohol Fry as well. Our alcohol free beer. Just notice they've got a nice new grapefruit flavour as well down there. Lovely and refreshing, nice and rehydrating. And of course, you can see our charity partners down there the Alzheimer's Society, Cancer Research UK, the British Heart Foundation, and our team from Sense as well. Brilliant charities benefiting from all of your hard work today, all of your valuable monies as well. And we are so, so grateful to every single one of you making it here to the finish line on Talbot Road for the Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. We're just up here in the commentary box now, just getting a little bit of refreshment to keep our voices ready for the next few hours because, as I mentioned earlier on, myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton will be here for every single one of them. All the runners that are going to be coming across the line in the next three hours or so, weaving their way through the districts of Manchester here, obviously the city centre, out through Sale, up to Altrincham, coming back through Chorlton Hardy, and back of Bury and into the Trafford and the Stretford area here for this finish line. Fantastic work by all of the team, of course, the thousands of volunteers. Every single one of them out there on the route looking after everybody on the finish line and beyond. All of the team at the St. John Medical doing a wonderful, wonderful job on the finish line and beyond. And of course, all of you supporters here, it's so, so good to see this sea of supporters here, they are 10 or 15 deep on the finish line, lining Talbot Road, seeing every single one of these runners coming across the line. Superb to see. And hopefully, if you've got any social media, make sure you share it with the hashtag Manchester Marathon. We'll pick it up and all the goodies later on. And of course, all the photos via our AWOL Adventure Photography team snapping away across the whole of the 26.2 miles, and especially here on the finish line. You'll be able to bag yourself a memento in the next day or two via our race galleries. And obviously share all of your post-race social media yourself as well. Whether it's your uh, screenshots of Strava or whatever it is. And a picture of your medal, which no one can take away from you as being a finisher of the Adidas Manchester Marathon here. Another memorable event. Well done to a big shout out now, Harriet Johnson, Martin Gill. Mark Burberry, Chris Diamond, Remy Casper, Stephen Craig, Sandy Page, Tom Birkin, well done to you, Matthew Teese. Wesley Whedon, Ryan Lomax, The Weeks, Chloe and Steve both crossing the finish line together there. Well, um, Connor Devlin, Mark Whitmore, Harriet Makara, Trevor Nemoyal, James Woodford. Well done. Thick and fast now, as Matt said, we're getting to around the 3.45 to 4 hour mark for some of these waves. Maybe a little bit over. A little bit over for... The one and only Mr. Jeff Nagel, the legend. Hi, mate. Well done, buddy. Happy? You look happy. So good to see you, pal. Running for the RNLI as well. What a great day. Well done, Jeff. Great athlete. Always works hard. Really nice to see him happy. Had a tough time to get here. So, again, similar journey to a lot of athletes. Overcome various things, various little hurdles in their way to get to the finish line here on Tongbrook Road. For the 2024, 2024, 2023 Manchester Marathon, a year ahead of myself. So nice, Matt, to see the crowds, as you said, eight to ten deep on both sides of the road. Lots of signs cheering our athletes on, celebrating their loved ones' performances. Whether it's colleagues, friends, whatever it is, a massive thank you to all of our supporters that are cheering all of our athletes on, keeping them motivated, encouraged and infused 
every step of the way to get around this 26.2 mile course. Such an iconic backdrop this now with the Manchester scale like skyline in the distance and all of these crowds being almost perfectly surgically sliced down the middle with all of these runners who are going to be crossing that finish line absolutely ecstatic. So well done, there we have Ricky Agarwal, Gemma Barlow, Colin Sutton, Kieran Worthington, Hannah Holden, Rupert Needham, Ben Bishop, Matt Booth, Michael Woodward, Leon Witherman, Gary Dowling, Oliver Harding, Dean Harding, Oliver Farr. Keep moving through the finish though, ladies and gentlemen, please. You can do your social media updates a little bit later on. Do if you can, stand up and start to head towards the medal team where our brilliant reception team will look after you, as Matt's already said. The brilliant medal, it's a fantastic medal, designed year on year. Our finisher t-shirt, hoodies, and of course your finisher medal, which you'll get from the team. And then you can go and see our partner, brands in the athlete village that will look after you from a recovery perspective we've also got some of the physio tents and some post-race massage available massage available in the athletes village well done Keep making some noise, Manchester, for all of our runners. What a brilliant day. It feels a little bit like that sun is trying to break through those clouds, but it is so, so warm now. Perfect conditions for some of these runners. Even managing to take their tops off, it's so warm. But keep going, keep stopping that watch. And pat yourselves on the back for what has been a sensational day here in Manchester from that very first wave that went off at nine o'clock to our last wave, which was around quarter to 11. We've seen tw nearly 25,000 runners take to the streets. And we're probably about halfway through in terms of our finishing today. Yeah, I'd say so, Andy. And it does seem such a long time now. It isn't that long ago, but it was around about two hours and 16 minutes on the clock when Ignis Brasovicius of Lithuania crossed that finish line. He was elated. He was absolutely over the moon, and so he should be. He's uh, 38 years old now, but running better than ever. Having run a 64-minute half marathon uh, in Barcelona just a few weeks ago, he came to Manchester. He came, he saw, he conquered, and he also takes away the prize. And the title of the victor of 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon, nobody will ever take that away from him. And in the women's race, of course, she was second in 2022 and decided to come back and give it another crack. And not only did she do that, she absolutely crushed the opposition for a, dim, a real, a big win in her career, actually. She's been running so well this year as well. It's great to see the winner of the women's race. Of course, Naomi Mitchell taking the title and two really worthy champions here in Manchester for this year's race. But it's not just about champions, it's also about finishers. And in our eyes, every single one of these runners are winners because just coming across the line at 26.2 miles, not only is this race one of the toughest, one of the, well, also one of the biggest, but also one of the friendliest. And hopefully that has shone through today for all these runners as they run round this route. And uh, yeah, I guess we're coming up to around about four hours now, Andy. So again, yeah, I think still so. steady stream of runners coming across the line. Absolutely, thick and fast. There are almost as many deep runners as there are spectators here on Tolbert Road. Lots of hands in the air, lots of smiles, lots of cheers of joy 
and relief that all those hours of sacrifice of training, early mornings, late nights, lots of kind of recovery shakes and products, massages to get your body just being able to get to the start line today. And you put it all together and hopefully made your dreams come true. So well done to all of our finishers today. There's Mr. Invincible, Matt, that we saw on the start line. Mr. Incredible. That's it, that's Mr. it. Mr. Incredible. Look, he's got, not got hair out of place, Andy. No, he hasn't. Beautiful. What yeah. a man, what a, what a beautiful man. It is. Brill cream lips. Well done to Mr. Incredible. Hopefully achieved his uh, incredible dreams today. Let's give a shout out to some of our finishers coming into this finish line. We've got Nathan Moncaster in the senior men's event. We've got Sophie Meller, Adil Ladha, uh, Iona Charlton just coming across the line. Marie Sophie Roberts about to finish. Adam Lindsay, David Lord, Samuel Snaith, Emma Vivaldi, and uh, Sean Gill with Fiona Cook not too far behind. Latest finishers here in Manchester. Yeah, we got the horns inside. NRC, go SG9S, whatever that means. Loving the signs here, people making an effort. Well done, all of our finishes. Congratulations. Hands in the air. Don't forget as well, our brilliant finisher line photo team are there as well. So do make sure you smile across the finish line. I see a familiar face of the one and only Mr. Paul Plested. I'm not going to miss him this year. Well done, Paul. Well done, buddy. Running for the Ellesmere Port Running Club there, just down the road, down the 56 in Ellesmere Port. Well done, Paul. He, he complained I missed him last time, so I make sure I give him a big shout out. What well on, Paul? Well, there's some brilliant charities as well. I can see so many people running for charities today. Well done to you. I saw somebody, a couple of people running for the local charity, the Christie's. Brilliant Cancer, Cancer Trust in Manchester. We've got Manchester Children's Hospital as well. A few people running for that. But don't forget, we have some sensational charity partners. We've got the British Heart Foundation. We've got Cancer Research UK. We've got Alzheimer's and we've also got sent to our big four. We see thousands of runners across our races running for those charities. So it makes a massive difference to every single one of their patients or people that they look after. So every single penny that is raised here today makes a big difference to the quality and lives of not only the people receiving the care, but also their loved ones around them. So well done to you if you're running for a charity today. You are absolutely a hero. You have made somebody's life that little bit better by choosing to run today and raise money for charity. But even if you haven't, if you're doing it for an inspirational cause or you're just decided to do it to help inspire the next generation of runners, well done. You got up this morning, you put the trainers on, you laced them up, you crossed that start line and 26.2 miles later you have arrived a hero, a marathoner. 
an elite level endurance athlete. So coming in across the line in the next few seconds, we have Wu Hoi Chan and Caroline Levy, Nicholas Hicketts, not too far from the finish line here at Manchester, Zachary Aylward, uh, Philip Kyle, Harry Bayfield about to cross the line, Barbara Holmes, Tom Wilmington, Kane Robinson, Keith Doyle, Phil Livingston and Matilda King with Paula Wil sorry, Paul Wilcox, David McNee, Gil Glover, Helen Fletcher, uh, David Lafferty, all about to finish here. Latest finishers coming into the finish straight here on Talbot Road for the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. What a day it's been. And they are still coming. The streams of runners are just incredible. And you get like a glut of runners. There seems to be a real bunch coming in just at the top of the road right at this moment. The way this works sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, is that we'll get a wave start of runners and uh, they'll obviously run around in a big bunch together and then all of a sudden we get a big bunch of finish finishers. Also, it can sometimes relate to time if somebody's uh, trying to achieve a time, whether they've been following a pacer or not. So uh, you tend to get that with, the, uh, with marathons like this. But every single one of them are coming across the line still looking really good. And to be honest, Andy, very fresh looking for you know four hours of running. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. However, as soon as you said that, I noticed a few people's eyebrows go up on the finish line. <laughs> Did you? Right, and okay. If you're talking to me, I look awful. But <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You've given absolutely everything out there on the course today. It's been, as Matt said, a brilliant, brilliant morning so far. But we've got more to come. And um, as Matt said, normally we're used to probably seeing a few runners around the 2.30 mark, 2.45, and then threes a little bit busier. It's almost like someone turned the taps on full and it hasn't run out of water yet. It just keeps coming. It's keep... The marathon it keeps giving. Yeah, it just... The flooding of people across this finish line. As soon as you come across that finish line, ladies and gentlemen, just keep walking. Just keep moving through the finish line straight to the medals. There's another Christie Foundation runner. Well done to you. Just yeah. keep moving. And a very apt time there, Andy, just to mention the charity partners. We're so grateful to every single one of our partners here at the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Of course, Adidas, our headline partner here with SIS, <clears throat> providing the fuel and nutrition and uh, gels and obviously protein bars at the finish line. Thanks to Erdinger Alcohol Fry for the uh, refreshing hydration there on the finish line. Thanks very much, of course, to our charity partners, Alzheimer's Society, Cancer Research, British Heart Foundation and Sense, and also Just Giving and the AWOL team snapping away, taking the photos. And of course, the logistics side of things are so important at events like this. Thanks very much to Trafford Council and all their team, the Manchester City Council for things like road closures. And of course, as I look across this finish line here and see a little gaggle of police, thank you very much to the Greater Manchester Police team uh, looking after things and making people feel safe and secure, which obviously is really, really important that such a big, major sporting event like this here in Manchester, the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Great work, everybody. It all comes together with good organisation, good partners, good agencies and volunteers, and it makes, hopefully, an unforgettable day for all you runners out there on the route. And, of course, 
all of those still out there being looked after by our teams at feed stations eight of them around the route of this 26.2 miles and of course all of the entertainment that's been happening all day for all the runners hopefully a day to remember and if you're sharing away on social media hashtag it with Manchester Marathon And I know we've been talking about this year's marathon, but if you're inspired, if you stood on the sidelines there and you're thinking, oh, I'd love to have a crack at this next year, well, you too can get involved because a limited number of entries for the 2024 Adidas Manchester Marathon are available this Tuesday at 10 a.m. So the best chance of getting one is by registering on our website, manchestermarathon.co.uk, for an exclusive priority invite. So get online. Put your name down, and as soon as entries are live, you'll get an invite via email, and hopefully you too will be on the start line here of the 2024 Adidas Manchester Marathon. And of course, if you also maybe just want to take it one step at a time, the uh, half marathon is also available to everybody out there. Not only people taking part in this race, but of course all you uh, marathon wannabes and when is out that, there Matt? when is and the... that race is on the sunday the 15th of april of october this year so if you fancy a 13.1 mile challenge to rival this one in terms of atmosphere and organization then just head on to mcrhalf.co.uk get yourself registered sign up and who knows it could be the journey to the big one to the manchester marathon in 2024 Some cracking banners out there as well. I can see a flag of that lady. What, let's, let's see what it says. It says, Paul Brittle is... I can't see it. Turn towards... The, there we go. Paul Brittle is running in the memory of Ted Lowe. Ah, brilliant. British Heart Foundation, of course. BHF. Well done to you. Brilliant see Paul Brittle. Has he finished yet? He has finished. He's done it. Run, Ringo, run. Yeah, and the two Robbies. Go, go, go. Excellent. See? It, it pays off, you see. It pays off if you make yourself a little banner. Some of them are better than others, but these are all good this year. Yeah. Come on, Owen. Is that Owen? Owen. Over there. Go Come on, on Owen. Go, G, boy. You also saw one for an air fryer, but I think that might have been... Go, that might Cam. Have been the back of, that go, might have Fionn. Been the back go, of Nile. <laughs> it was the air fryer one, you see. They knew exactly who go they were. Amy, go, Andrew. Star. Go, Andrew. Not go, 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 T-Fal air fryer. Keep going, Matt Cook. I can see that one. Keep going, Matt Cook. They're all coming up now, Andy. They're all been popping up. Who's that? Go, keep going. Is that Laurie? Is that Laurie? Keep going, Laurie. Run, run, run. Go, go, go. Awesome. Great work, everybody. We like your art. We like your efforts. And here come a couple of paces, Andy, as well, just crossing the line. This is the four hour paces have just crossed the line. So well done to them. Run Wild Hong Kong as well. I could just see that coming across the line. Run Wild Hong Kong as well. Well done, my friend. You have done it. You've finished the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. Tap here to power up. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Is that a dog as well? Is it a little dog or something? Is it a tap here to power up? It's great. It's a little head, uh, little headband on that person there. I think all runners need to uh, a little bit of powering up as they come into the last mile or so, just to help them across that finish line. 
some finishing stronger than others. Talking about finishing strongly. Person here absolutely tanking it to the finish line. Well done to him. And finishes, hopefully, to just get under that four hour marker. As I say, those four hour paces coming into the finish line area here. Congratulations if you are one of those finishers. And congratulations to you if you've just completed and you're not really bothered about the time. It's all about getting a medal, it's all about getting across that finish line, it's all about doing it and taking the accolade of 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon finisher. Congratulations to every single one of you. Doing a great job. Myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton, hopefully keeping you informed, entertained. A few little uh, cheeky observations here and there. We like to keep it clean, but we do like a bit of fun as we're doing it. So congratulations. See a Welsh vest just coming across the line there. That lady looking good. Good, strong finish. And I know that Andy's making his way onto the finish straight again, again so he can mix it in with the uh, the finishers. And Perfectly spread tight. the love and Perfectly feel the love. for some vomit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you all right? Have you made it yet, Andy? I have just. That was... Oh. Oh, that was that was, that was so a mission. nice. Do you know what? So nice, though. So nice to see the crowd go. No, after you, you go through, you go through. So nice to be back down here on the finish line here at Talbot Lane. Matt and I have just took a quick break up into the commentary booth to be able to get some food so that we can keep going for the next few hours. But Matt and I were both saying, we've just got up to the commentary booth, just grabbed a drink, and we were both saying, we're going back down. It's just such a good atmosphere down in here. The crowd's been amazing. How are we doing, Manchester? Oh, is that it? I think, is that it? Come Andy, on. Okay. Andy, oh, I, think we need, I think we need a bit more than that, yeah, Andy. Yeah, we need more than that. So we're going to go on three, okay? So a big cheer. Let's make some noise, Manchester. One, two, three. There we go. That's a little That's a little bit better, Matt. I reckon in about an hour it will be peak. Yeah, peak it'll performance. Be peak around about the four, four and a half hour mark for the I runners. I agree, Andy, I agree. But yeah, Matt, loads of finishes here. we got Phil. we got... Somebody running for the NSPCC, one of our amazing charity runners. Graham there from the Finch Coasters. Well done, Thornton. Keep moving, buddy, if you can, mate. Who else? We've got Jamie Miller. We've got Emma. Well done. Who else have we got? We've got Timebridge Harriers. Well done to you. You said rum. That's quite funny. Is that one of the relay, one of the relay squads? We've got 1,300 runners today taking part in the relay. That's where they split the distance between two and four people. So again, if you want to do the half marathon, 15th of October, do make sure you get onto mcrhalf.co.uk where you can do the half marathon entry. But if you fancy doing this with some of your friends and maybe splitting the distance, you could do four 10Ks. Okay, and it'll be amazing. Here we go. Look at this, absolutely on point. Freya, well done Freya. Like Freya Ridings, that's what it is. Look at it, She's absolutely on point. The best shades I've seen so far, Matt. Go daddy, go daddy. Oh, George is just deciding how bad her hamstrings are. Well done Georgia, keep going. Keep moving and our medal team will look after you. Return to owner, we saw you on the saw you on the start line. Well done running for Deschen UK. Jesse does a, a Pokemon Pikachu, I think it was. Well done to you. So amazing to see so many people running in fancy dress today. I mean some people are literally running in fancy dress and other people look like they are in fancy dress. There's a big difference. But well done Joseph, well done Lee. Well done, Joe. Martha. Donkey there from the Royton Roadrunners. Keep moving, ladies and gentlemen, please. You can stop it when you get to the medals if you need to. Just keep moving. Don't stop as soon as you come across the finish line. Well done, Chloe. From Pediston, well done. Emma, well done, Emma. You've run a marathon. Make some. It's a very military command, that. There's nothing wrong with having emotion. <laughs> Is it? Brilliant. 
Well done, keep her going. Well done, Manchester. Our reception team will no doubt get her over the line. Well done. Stop the watch, stop the watch. That's like that great t-shirt that says, if you find me on the roadside, make sure you stop my Garmin. Well done, sensational, inspirational, wondrous performances today. Georgina, you can stop running now unless you want to your second lap. Well done. Well done, Demi. Well done. Oh, look at that. Matt finishes running for cancer research and just grabs one of the marshals and gives them a hug. That's what it's about. As Matt and I have said many, many times already today, We've got a thousand volunteers out there on the course. What a map. Thousand volunteers out there on the course. And honestly, you will despite you they making your day, you will make their day by just saying thank you. So well done to all of our runners. Well done, Christoph. Well done, Dave. Mark. Keish. Well done, Keish. Alzheimer's Society. Keish. He's got a sister called Lorraine. Well done, Sail Sirens, another one of our relay squads. Well done. Well done, Matthew. Well done, Pom. Well done, I'm told I've got to give you a shout out for Kirsty and Kit. Well done, buddy. See you, mate. Well done, one of the total run training team. We've got, I think, eight or nine of them running today. Well done, there's the gob tri one of the gob triathletes there. Yeah, well done, Lisa. The rocks, but the rocks for crew, as I call them. Well done, Ian. Well done, Lana. Big cheer, Manchester. Look at this. This is it's a family affair. Crossing the finish line with his with his son or daughter. Well done. Just keep moving through if you can. Running as well. That's Matt running for when you wish upon a star charity as well. Well done, buddy. Well done, mate. See, so it's getting to that time of day where I get I can feel myself getting emotional. I have to be really careful. Matt and I always talk about it. Well done, Andrew. Well done, Marcus. Well done, Ewan. Just see if you can carry that leg. Cramp. Well done. Just keep moving all the way through. Well done, Karen. Hi, how are you? Well done. Just keep going. Well done, Mark. Well done, buddy. Well done. Just keep moving all the way through. Lara, Laura, Katie, John. Just keep moving. Well done, Leah. Leah from the Chilton Runners there. Looking a little bit weary, but we'll look after her and get her across that to the medals. Well done, Paul. You can stop running now. All the way from Torbay. Well done. Well done, Emily. Well done, Neve. Neve. Yeah. Yeah, how are you? All right. Enjoy that. Uh -huh. You should say hello to your mum and dad. There we go, you see. Live on the Facebook feeds. You can watch that back and they'll get a personal shout out. Well done, Rebecca. Well done, Chris. Well done, guys and girls. Awesome performance. You are inspiring. Just keep moving whilst you're starting and stopping those watches. You're not allowed to do an extra lap, even if you want to. Here's our four-hour pacer. Might as have a quick look at his watch, just to see how we got on. 3.58.23, that'll do, won't it? So we're still in the sub-four-hour club. Tears of joy there. Well done, just keep moving. See, Matt, we were saying, look at the amount of people with this four-hour runner. Four-hour pacer. Yeah. Absolutely loads of them. And he was just slightly under, for about 90 seconds under. So probably for the next 60 seconds or so, we're going to see a massive amount of runners who are all hoping to go under four hours. Did yeah, we go under four hours? 3.58.59 here as well. Well done. 
brilliant pacing by our, another. Here's our other four-hour pacer. Yeah, I can look. If I look down Talbot Road, well, Andy, I can see right the way down. There's big, the there's big bunches what? of runners coming into Three. the uh, finish line. Matt, 3.59.27, four-hour pacer. That's wow. A, it doesn't get much better than that. Well Fantastic. Done. So as you're crossing the finish line, ladies and gentlemen, just keep moving those legs. It's, uh, it's good for the body, but it's also good for our organisation down here as we uh, get ready to uh, hand you out your medal and your finisher's goodies down there in the Athletic Village. Congratulations. Well done, you are a finisher of the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. What a day it's been. It's been a glorious, glorious day of running and achievement for well done, every Summer. single one of you. Well done. Well done to all of our runners. Well done, Minky Moo. Well done, Joe Fidley. My name's Joe Fidley. Well done. Look at that. One of our runners running in the sari there. Well done. Brilliant performance. And again, around the four-hour mark. Well done, Ruby. Well done. Well done, buddy. Well done, mate. Sensational performances. Fist pumps of delight. I like it. High fives, hugs. Well done. Keep going, Claire. Just keep walking. Smashed it. Well done, Steve. Get that Garmin stopped. Get it on the Strava. Don't forget, as Matt's already said, tag us in. Hashtag Manchester Marathon. Be amongst your other fellow 30,000 or so runners that have ran today. You'll go on Strava and it'll be one of those times where it says, you ran with 16,000 other people. Well done, Jamie. Well done, Tom. Well done, Matt. Captain Beaky. Well done, pal. Well done, Sam. Stroke Association there. Brilliant charity, that. Well done, Wiz. Wiz Air. Well done, Phil. <laughs> well done, Laura. Oh, she's happy to finish. Woo! Well done, another one of our relay clubs, the Mile Shylock. Keep moving. Keep moving, pal. So a little shout out, Andy, well done, some Phil. names as I come well across done, the line for you. If that's all right, I will dip in and say that Peter Ryan is about to finish here in Manchester. Jeanette Stevens, Mark Healy, Kelly Garner, not too far from that finish line, Ali Moran and Adam thing. Moran. James Hovey and Drew Barrow are about to finish here in Manchester. Tim McCraw and Margaret Connolly with Ryan Lukes and Sophie Bell also well done, about well to cross the finish line. Well done, Well done, buddy. Well done, Roops. Just keep moving, Jonathan. Kate, Steel City Striders. Great. Great part of the world, that. Uh, go, Johnny. Go, go, go. Johnny, be good. Well done, pal. Well done, mate. Another cancer research. Great charity runners. Well done, Jolton runners for Sophie. Well done, Sophie. Well done, Rob. Thank you. Very polite. We're so English, aren't we? Hey, thank you. Thank you. Stroke Association. Well done. Well done, Dan. Keep moving all the way through. Again, lots of people around the four hour mark here, Matt. So, getting very, very busy. It's all about the selfie stick. Well done. Nobody touched me. Nobody touched me. Nobody touched me. You're a star. You look amazing. Well done. 26.2 miles. You look like you popped out for milk. It's amazing. Well done, Ben, running for the Alzheimer's. Well done, Amy Hart. Well done, Sean. How's that hammy feeling? Oh, so. Feels like I haven't got one. Well done, Olivia. Well done, was. That was the day there was. That's what this would say. Oh, Joanna's like, woo! There's a lot of colourful exuberation, exuberations going on today. Well done, Stuart there, running for Motor Neuro, and another one of fantastic charities. Tracy, pleasure. As I said, Matt and I absolutely love doing this. Get to share in some brilliant feelings. We get to help people across that finish line, get them to the start line and help them across the finish line. But Manchester, you are one of the reasons why people keep coming back to this race. It is one of the world's, if not the world's, friendliest marathon, and that is to do with the people in and around the city, the people that come to race this race. You are the people that make a difference. So a big thank you to all our supporters. And when tomorrow you're sitting at work and you're a little bit tired, 
you can say, what did you do yesterday? I went to support a marathon. And everyone will go, well, you didn't run it. It's nearly as hard to know where to be. So you can see them at various points on the course. So well done to all of our families and friends and colleagues and loved ones that have supported anybody running today. Well done, Lucy. Keep walking, keep walking. Let's keep going, folks. Amazing. Well done, Penny. Well done, Angela. The art in minority. Well done. Finishing hand in hand. I hope you ran the whole way hand in hand. Did you? Of course we did. Of course we did. We didn't, we didn't stop holding hands all the way around. Oh, there is someone there with a go, Johnny, go, go, go. Johnny, be good sign. That's what we want. Oh, they're, they're holding it the wrong way around. There we go. Thank you. Go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Johnny, be good. How well done, mate. James, well done, buddy. Stefan, well done. Colour coordinated, of course. Lawley Running Club. Jacob and Poppy, well done, buddy. What well a Martin Muller. Don't you get cold. Well done, Steve Curran. Sophie and Francesca, well done to you. Come on, Manchester, keep making some noise for all of our runners. Well done, Finn. Tony Smith. Yes, that is me, of course. Well done, John. Well done, Gigi. You can stop running now, Gigi. Running for the camp, running for the Christie as well. Well done, do you enjoy that? Brilliant, she says. She was shaking her head the other way and still saying brilliant. Sub four. Sub four, Matt. Sub four. Lots of very happy people, either just inside or just outside of the four hour mark. What do we go? What do we go? 4.15. What were you? Red. Blue wave. Perfect, that. Solid. What was your, what was your target? You got a bit of a dodgy thing, yeah, but you live to fight another day. We'll see you here next year. Entries open on Tuesday, just to let you know. Yeah, as we said before, for some priorities entries, get online, go to manchestermarathon.co.uk, stick your email address in, you'll get sent a priority link where you can enter on Tuesday morning for the 2024 uh, Adidas Manchester Marathon. What well an Andy, great name Andy, what well a mate, what well a Rebecca. Another one of the glorified United, what well on pal. And hung over, that's what we want. <laughs> what a Susie. Woo. What a Steve, what a Phil, what a Mark. Well done, Emma. Emma, you can stop running now. Emma, you can stop running. I'm going to die if I don't stop running. What, forever? If I ever stop running, I'll die. Well done, Deb. Russell, Burgess, well done. It wasn't that hard. You'll enter again for next year. Yeah, exactly. Well done, Katie. Lots of meditatory breathing. Well done, Karen. You've done it. Well done. Smashed it. Well done. Well done, Fry. Get it. Get it stuck. Keep walking. Relay team. Getting through the finish there. Well done, Alex. Well done, Stan with Hong Kong there. Well done. Stan with Hong Kong. Well done. Mandy and boy, ferryman looks tired. Well done, Clemency. Well done, Eloise. We saw him at the start. Actually, well done, Neil. Ready for Julie Hos Hodgkiss. Well done there. Another great charity. 
Go, Daddy. What well a pal. What well a mate. Keep moving if you can all the way through. Go and get your medal. What well a Mike. That's a great Yarmouth. Great town. Mike Great Yarmouth. What well a Brandon running for Alzheimer's. So much going on now on this finish line here on Talbot, Talbot Road. As we said, absolutely iconic finish line. Look at that backdrop. You literally cannot see any road behind the runners and the spectators. Truly sensational. Stop your watch, don't forget to stop your watch. She's bossy. Stop your watch, naughty boy. What a Zeus. I'm sure the other gods had a day off, but you didn't today. What well a Hassan. Roland Remy. What well a Co. Dino. Get those watches stopped. What well a Felicity. Tears of joy, I hope. Tears of joy. Well done. Well done. Well done, Emily. You've done it. You've absolutely smashed it. 26.2 miles under your own steam. See you, see you here next year, Emily. Like, no, no, no. Not doing that. Well done, Sarita. No, Sarita, keep moving, love, if you can. Keep moving. Well done. Well done. Well done, Joe. You got the flow. A brace of Jonathan's. Look at that. Esther. Well done, Callum. Well done, Jack and Chloe. Uh, if you really loved you, proposed to you on the finish line. I'm joking. Well done, Darren. Well done, Michelle. Well done, Mark. Well done, buddy, running for Alzheimer's. Congratulations. I vegan. Is that like I vegan or high vegan or like a, a vegan but online? What a gas. Oh, keep moving, gas. Keep moving. Trust me, your legs will thank you. Baby steps. You okay? What well a Chris. What well a Neil. What well a Mel. Gemma. What well a Karen. Well done. Always gets a bad name, Karen. But you smashed it. And you've run for a charity, NSPCC. Well done. Well done, everybody. Keep going. Well done, Dennis. Well done, Debbie. Well done, Adam, Charlie, Tom, Paddy, Fabby. Keep him fab. Aye. Well done. What a leap. What an ash. Like a phoenix rose from the ashes. That's a good gag. What a jack. What a jar. What a look like you popped out. Hey, yeah, just. <laughs> well done. What a Gerard. What a buddy. What a Serena. Victoria. Well done. The tears are coming, I feel them, aren't they? They're about to come. It's all good. Based on the rest. Well done, Alex. Very colour coordinated, that. A nice colour palette going on there. Clearly well organised, that. It is, isn't it? It's like a piece of art. Beautiful. Well done, Alzheimer's. Amen, so. Well done. Well done, Mick Dunn. You are, you are literally Mick Dunn. Well done, Stefan Elton. Well done. You're still standing. It's a good, you missed that joke, didn't you, Elton? Well done, Chris. He's happy. Well, it's, the, it's the things that are underneath it that might be slightly worse than the top. Well done, Kieran Walsh. Well done, Gary. Oh, well, Katie Hopkins, well done. Well done, well done. All right, how are you? 
for the Lois. But I keep going. Deggy, well done, Neil C, Roxanne. August. Pete, well done, Blockley. Oh, someone's very happy to finish. Keep moving, keep moving. Like S Club 7 once said, don't stop moving. Will, what a will, keep moving, pal, if you can. All the way through. What a, our medal team will look after you. What a Drew. Joe Dewhurst, well done. Well done. Well done, everybody. Keep going. What well a Jay. You finished. I would, <laughs> I'd rather not, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> oh, what's them hamstrings? Well, let's keep moving through if you can. Well done, Laura. Right, down back here on the finish line. Runner steaming across and uh, Andy's back is, needs a bit of a rub. You'll be all right, mate. Don't worry about it. Well done to Emma. Congratulations to you. Just crossing the line with Josh not too far behind. Trotting in nicely and Hannah and Chris as well. This is the Adidas Vanston Marathon 2023. Bit of fist pumping going on as well. Well done, Ella. Well done, Ella. Look at that. She's so happy. Make sure you stop your watch quick. I'd, I'd say Andy, one of our younger com uh, and interestingly, today. no data. No, no data, no phone, no watch, no nothing. Just ran on field, boom. Four there's, something, there's something to be said for that. I must yeah. admit, mate. There Old really school. Is. Well done, Bourneville Harriers there. Well, representing KF. from the, uh, the West Midlands, and uh, Connor as well, running for the uh, Roy Castle Association charity. Heads up, Brain Trust. Well done to you, my friend. Congratulations, man. Head up. Good on you, mate. Jack Jarvis. Well done to him. Top man, latest finish, well done to Gaz, stopping that watch. What's on the watch, Gaz? Still saving. Still saving. <laughs> still Find, saving. Still finding GPS. Still buffering. <laughs> still buffering. Buffering, Doesn't buffering. Matter. We'll get there in the end. Lots of people well, Are you okay? Oh, Keep that's it what we like Keep to see in. you two. Well done. Elliot Amadi and, is it, what's his name? What's his brother's name? Bradley, with Cancer Research and joined the Christie well done, fight against cancer. Well, the Christie well, Hospital, well, not too far from here, down well, in well, Steve. Manchester, of course. Well, well done, done to you. Nice work from every single one of you. Thinning out a little bit, but they're still coming across this finish line here at the Talbot Road. Look at those shoulder muscles. Look at that. It's been a work, bit of work well going into well it. He doesn't skip leg day either, does he, ladies? Woo. Fits by name, fits by nature. It does. It's shirt. Well done fits, to Maddie. Congratulations. Well done, Leroy. Well done, Benny. Well done, Anna. Well done, mate. Well done, buddy. And well done Jocker to you, Matt. Delado. Good job from well uh, done, the Stourbridge Running Club. Lewis, well done, my friend. Shui Zhong, congratulations to you. Pistol P. Pistol P. Oh. Well, well done, Carmel. To you. Carmel. Got like Mount Carmel. What? <laughs> well done to Elaine from Fleet and Crookham, down there in the uh, south of England. Uh, Harry, so running Harry for the from Will and Hospice. Well done. Lisa, congratulations. You've done it. Sure, you sure are. Well done, Ian G. Ian G. Hobbling, but happy. I think the word is there. Well done, Lauren. And Kevin well and done, Matt. Kevin. Well done, Abigail. Boots of that. Oh. RC. Where's that? What part of the country is that? Is? How do you get up? What's the time? Just over four. When we say just over four, what do we, come on. Seven minutes. Oh, that's nothing. You smashed it. 
So runners coming across the line at the moment with 4.07 on the clock. I love it. Oh, John Boy and... John Boy and who? Henny. Oh, I love it. Congratulations, Catherine, running for GCR. And uh, Bright is Bright happy. Didn't see, look. Woo! Well, happy. Happy. Is happy as well. Congratulations. And Martine and Louise as well. Well done, girls. Yeah, well done, ladies. Slow and proud from the Central Park Athletics. Well done, Saffron. Saffron, Newton, Pedro, Daniel, Emily, Vicky. You all right, Vicky? Yeah, well done. Let's keep moving. Go get some fluids in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well done, Vic. Oh. You burnt it. From the Mesothum... Very well dressed there, Jen. Very well dressed. Mesothelium. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. What's that? Mesotheloma. Mesotheloma. It's uh, related to asbestos. Ah, and nice. uh, obviously yeah. Ill illness leading on from that, Andy. Oh, we so, saw uh, Bennett. Well done, Bennett. Running for Thebes. Well done, Gina. Saw them earlier. Well done. Top work from Gina. Oh, look at that, you see. Nice man hug on, nice man hug on the finish. Keep them tears in, pal. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Never, you know what they say, never regret the things you've done. And always ask for forgiveness, not permission. And, and Andrew, Andrew from Redhill is pointing to the skies. Congratulations, my friend. You've done it. Jojo running for the British Heart Foundation. Beautiful work. And from the NNDA, motor neuron disease, that is... Chan Chancy. Chance, what? Chance, 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 Cox. Hancock. Chancox. Like Charlie Hancock. Charlie Hancock. That is genius. Chancox, isn't there you it? Go. It's like Chillax. Chancox. Well to I this like man it. from Edinburgh. I like it. Well, ah! How are you? Harry Wills. Just a little wave from Harry Wills. A little wave it was. <laughs> Gent, gents, just be really careful on those fences, please. Don't hang on to my speakers. Holly's hearts there. Well done to that man. Finished in Alex as well. Look at this guy in the most beautiful yeah. leopard skin shorts I've yeah. ever seen. Ni nice to see Helen just then as well. I haven't seen Helen for a while. Well done, Hedges. Happy Hammer. Happy Hammer. There's, I'm always a happy Hammer. Linda, well done, Linda. Linda, Linda and Lynn and Linda. from the Warrington well done. Athletic Club. And uh, Jenny as well. Well done, Jenny. Looking good as she crosses the line. Loads of runners here running just over four hours at the Adidas Manchester Marathon. Well done, Paulina. Well done, Emmy. And go Joanne. on, Will. What well a Will. Where's Will? Running for the cancer. What well a Will. Research. Keep moving, though, pal. Say hello and then carry on. Well done, Paul. Paul, Vicky, and Paul. Two Pauls. A lot of these runners like are. I think, Andy, a lot of these what runners are running under four hours. Yeah, I think they're I think all that's about. What's going on. What have we got on the watches, boys? What's on the watches? Some of these watches. 422. 422. Yeah. Well done, Tiffany. Curtis and Mike. Curtis and Mike. Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation. Well done. Back girl. Well done, back girl. Looking good. Back girl. Deep Harbat. Well done. Well done, Ash from South Derbyshire there. Stephen and Mark. Great tune. You're not 19 forever. Pull yourself together. I like those sentiments, Andy. Yes. We've got Jamie running for the Tommy's charity as well. Another great char, cause. Char, well done it. You've done it. You've smashed it. Well done. Take a breath. Suck you in sit down. what you've just done. Absolutely amazing. 26.2 miles under your own steam. A few people may be considering their life choices right now, but it's better to regret the things you've done than the things you may never well do. Well done, Gareth. And who's this? Nick Halsall looking more high-vis than is possible in life, but he's enjoying it. He's he loving shades. life. He shades. Again, Andy, another big gang of runners coming in here. Getting, knocking on for the he's four and a half hours. He's got support crowd. <laughs> Brent a mob. Well done, Scott. Well done, Ali P. Well then Ollie and Joanna running for the Green Lights PT crew. And Dean Cornish running for Cancer Research. Well done, Dean. Congratulations, friend. Raising loads of money for hopefully for a great cause, great charity. Pete Jones just checking out the watch there. What have we got there, Pete? What's that? That is 
420. Well, uh, well done, my friend. Excellent. Don't forget, work. To 420. Don't forget to say hello to your family and loved ones just as you pass by. Lots of people signed up, signed up online, and they got a text to say that they're the person they were following was a mile away. So what a great way to be able to get down to the finish to guarantee you seeing them cross the finish line. What well on Tom? What well on Victor? What well on Gregson? Wonderful work. Here's our paces, Matt. So we are four four fifteen paces probably. Ah uh, yes. Yeah, four fifteen. Four uh, fifteen paces. Wicked. Great work. <laughs> 41428. Oh, I'll tell you what, it doesn't get better than that. Well, it doesn't get better. Oh, does 415 pace, so we always check the watch. What we got? 41429 as well. So mashed it. Well done. What. Make sure you give your pace for a thank you. No doubt for some of you who are targeting around 415. Kian running for the Derby Rim at MND Foundation with looking a little bit worse for wear, but happy that he's completed it. He's. Uh, so actually, done the trip. Done it. Done the trip. Manchester Alfred, completed it, mate. Completed it. In the bin. Well done, Joe. Joe. And well done to Pavel. Congratulations, my friend. Abby, just stop that watch. Quick, stop, stop that phone. Laz, well done, Laz for yeah. Cancer Research. And Johnny, Johnny Garton. Well done, Johnny Garton. Alzheimer's. Look at that. Smashed don't it. Skip, don't skip leg day. Smashed it. Well done to Julie. Just coming across the line. Yeah, you've done it. You can stop that watch, you can stop now. Well done, Scott. Loving the shorts, mate. They are beauties. And well done to Kirsty as well. A little bit of a raise of the eyebrows. And Sally, you've done it. Another Manchester Marathon in the back. Well done, Sue. Keep going, keep going, everybody. Big group of runners coming through. Well done, Boaz. Well done, well done, Boaz, mate. you've well done, done it buddy. five times. Well done, my friend. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. We need, the world needs characters, Andy. The world needs Full characters. characters. We like characters. Anushka running Bethany's for prostate like, cancer. Get off me, man. <laughs> well done, give me some Anushka. space. Give me some space. Well done, Ian. Ah, oh, Mr. Munro. How are we? Survived. Well done to Team DDB. Well done, Mersey Try. Well done, Sean. I always give the Mersey Try crew a shout. Andy, you absolute hero running for Macmillan. Well done, buddy. Well done, Richard. Well done, Tony. Oh, how's that, Tony? You know what I mean? It was awesome. I like the way you shook your head and went, awesome. <laughs> Tenth and last. Tenth and last until, Tenth. The, until the 11th. You know, yeah, until next year. See you next year, yeah. yeah. And Steph in a kilt looking fantastic. Well done, Steph. Well done, Justin. Jamie. <laughs> Doesn't feel it, though. Leonard's ladies. Well done. Really, one of our relay teams. Well done, Lynn. Look Victoria Lynn. Martin from Swale. It literally looks like she's just popped out to the shops. It's going to gonna pop out. Some people marathon. do. Some people, that's, that's some people, the way some people just roll honestly, it. Oh, look at that outfit. Woo! Totes in a probes. I know you. Well done, Simon. I well know done, you buddy. from Facebook. Who doesn't well know done. you? Well done. She's done it. She's completed the Manchester Marathon. Brilliant. Well done, Alan. Congratulations to Gus and to Paul as well. Good on you, Tino. Enjoy that. Top man. Well done. Loved it was the word from Tino. It's Josh. It. We saw Josh at the start. He did. He, look at that. Amazing work. Look at this. How do you get you on? Are you happy? Oh, go. What did you go? Four. 348.40. Although you didn't ask him. He was with Sarah at the start. What did you yeah, do? What Sarah? happened? <laughs> what, generally, or just during the marathon? <laughs> well done, Josh. Great to see you, Andy, running for a brilliant charity to venture. And he's yeah. gone sub four as well, so 348. Good lad, good lad. Even though he did leave Sarah behind. Yeah, he did. There'll be words later, Andy. There'll be all's, words. All's fair in love and running. Yeah, exactly. Scarlet, well done, Scarlet. Here comes Peter. Although, with his that? Is that a villa or Amers? I'm never quite sure. Amers, isn't it? No, it's not. It is it's West Ham. Yeah. 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 It is Amers, yeah. I'm forever blow with bubbles. Up the irons. Yeah. Up the irons. Well done, mate. Peter Mizzy, that is.
There we go. Well done, Al. What's that? Well done, Al. Oh, look, it's, it's so hot, he's taking his top off. Well done, Benny. Benny's like, woo! Well done, Vicky. You all right? Vicky and Ricky. That was almost perfectly timed. And well done to Holly Thomas. Great tricks. Andrew That's White as well. That, I went to school with a lad whose middle name was Great Tricks. It's a great, good name, isn't That's it? what they used to say to Tommy Cooper, you know. Great Tricks. <laughs> well done, Lynn. Oh, it's starting. Running for the Alzheimer's Society. And Manchester, we can only apologise for Matt and I's delirium over the next few yeah, hours. It's going to get worse, don't it? Will. Can... Hey, it's the man with the globe, Keep Andy. Moving. It's the man with the globe. Well done. It's the globe. Lisa Sansfield. Sebastian with the Sebastian. globe. Well done, my friend. And Philippa looking great as she crossed the line there. Well, well done, done to Sumas. Well done. And Amina, loving the specs. Beautiful. Fantastic. This is, I tell you what, Andy, this is when it lots gets so heart. much fun. Yeah, people are just. There's lots of smiles and high fives going on at this Most time. Most of these day. people are just happy to be here. Let's oh, be look honest at this. about it. Damien and Haley ran the whole thing hand in hand. Well done to you two. Perfect. Well done. Well done, Harriet. Fantastic. Oh, and here comes Batman. Hey, oh. usually some people got involved. Running, running for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Which I think, I think the thing is, Matt, it'll divide an audience because that is only for people of a certain age. What, Batman? No, the... Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I suppose it is, yeah, isn't it? Is. Oh, well. Apologies for that, then. Apologies for mine, Andy. Uh... Some people think Ben Affleck was the original Batman. <laughs> well done, Julie. Well done, Rachel. Holbrook, well done to you. Well done, Matt. Congratulations, well, James, Andy, over there. Whoop there. A little Sue, whoop. Pete. Pete and Sue. James <laughs> looking good, my friend. And Matt and Nathan. Good on you, buddy. You've done it. You've smashed it. Craig Pollitt, you've just done it for it. British Heart Foundation. Well done to you. Are you okay there, Craig? Yeah. Well done to Nick. Well done to Laura as well, and Louise with a big smile on her face, and John, congratulations, Rob. And Natalie, congratulations to you, and Jamie, and to Rachel and Rolo. Still flowing across the line here, four and a half hours almost into this Manchester marathon here in Trafford at the Talbot Road location. It's just inspiring stuff oh, well so done, many Ellie. people Ellie you've done it well done smashed it enjoy your moment Make, you made loads of people proud today and so well done. enjoy your moment as you you've done it you've line. done it you did quick Susie quick. said that she absolutely enjoyed it well done Andrew. keep moving if you can oh, wait, keep moving congratulations Mike quick, quick. Get and Karim as well congratulations to you and Nia and George hashtag Manchester Marathon don't forget Coming into the finish line, we've got Evie and Rob Restle with Ryan and Emma not too far behind. And Peter taking the earphones out, earbuds out with his mates there live on Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat. Well then, Simon running for the Alzheimer's Society and Kathy just stopping that watch, smile on the face. You've all done it. You've all crushed it. You've smashed it. The Manchester Marathon. Go and get your medal and your glory that awaits you in the Athlete Village and that feeling of achievement. Well done, every single one of you. Congratulations, Gabby. Great work. Look at this finish, Matt. Jess. Well done, Jess. Yeah. That was almost a sprint finish. So let's save something for the, for the end, didn't we, for the photographers. She said, of course, Andy. <coughs> of course. I've, I've run that fast all the way around. And we got Lane Chan. Well done, Michael. Michael's got his ear defenders on. <laughs> Drown out his own screams. <laughs> what a kettle. Kettle. What a kettle. Kettle well. How's that pot? Still black. Well done to Isabel. Fantastic work. What a Mike. What an Emma. Mike and Emma. Ah, oh, look. The, is that, does that say cheddar? What a Paul. What a. Uh, another one running for Alzheimer's. One of our charity partners what again. Say cheddar? Not easy being cheesy. Not easy being cheesy. Well and Chrissy, congratulations. How do the Welsh eat cheese? How do the Welsh eat cheese? Carefully. Uh, not bad that, Andy. That's Five right. out of ten. Awesome work. Well done. There you go. Well done to Gangster. See 
BD fits. Come on, Slav. He's getting the medal for he's he's gone he for it. He's game. owning it, isn't he? Come on. Well into Simone and well done to Katie Mack just coming well across James, the line. Nice shades. Rocking it. I love it. Good well on you, well done, Ellis. guys. Fantastic well work. Little fist pump. Well done, Helen. All about. Tears of joy. Tears they of joy. are tears of joy from Helen. That's what oh, we love to see. <laughs> Never quite sure. Joy's a relief. Oh, look at Sophie Case. She's on point, isn't she? Look at those shades. And Laura. There we go. One of our wheelchair finishers. Look at that. Smashed it. Fantastic. Well done, well done my friend. Well done, mate. Good work. That's what we like to see. Well Inspirational well stuff here. In well done, Oh, that look noddy. at that. Well done. Stay polite. Thank you. That was good. Thank you. Well, it's like... All right. Well done, well Dave. Done, good well on you, mate. Good man. What a great That's one, the, said Dave. The Muscum Ferry Movers. Yeah, Muscum Ferry Movers. Well done, Ollie and Louise. Just keep moving if you can, guys, as you cross that finish line. How heavy are the ferries? How what? How heavy are the ferries? Which ferries? The Muscum Ferry Movers. A couple of tons. A couple of tons. Well done, Sarah. Well done, Milsey. James has smashed it across that line as well. Well done to Anya and Oathweight crossing the line. Well done, Courtney. Loads of love from these people as they're finishing. Well done to Terry yeah, well and James. Done. Well, done, and James. Rita, well done, Rita. Well done, Rita. Loving your work. Well done, Chris. Well done, Olivia's, uh, Sarah there running for Olivia's journey. Oh Super my goodness. Job. Well done, Kaz. Well done. Here's Sharon and Adele. Yeah, memory of Julie Hockey. Saw you a lot earlier. Well done. Amazing. Well done to Kieran. Good we man. all, everybody does something for a reason. It's so inspiring and amazing. And Dawning motivational grid. to see so many people do this for so many brilliant causes, whether it's in loving memory of a, of a loved one or a friend or a colleague, and they've pulled a t shirt on or a, a charity top and they've got out today and done 26.2 miles on behalf of that cause. When you think about it, Andy, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? When you yeah. think about people do you know, it's yeah. like what goes through that process of people actually saying, I'm gonna run it for a in a court for yeah. a cause, yeah. I'm gonna raise money, I'm not gonna give up, and I'm gonna run twenty six point two miles. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And some people a lot of these people well never, done, run, Alice. never run before. Well done it. Let them out, let them out, it's all allowed. Super. You have finished it, twenty six point two miles. The ori the original marathon elite distance from Athens to Marathon in Greece. Mickey and Jasmine running for the vegan runners, looking good. <laughs> Gotta love the Scousers. I think he said, I've just run a marathon, don't you know? I think. Or some, something along those lines. Beep, beep, beep. What, what? I've just run a marathon. Tommy K running for the Dogs Trust. Well done, friend. Good yeah, on you, well mate. done. Well and done, Delph. The Running Man. We've got Rico Lung running for the Running Man Athletic Club. Freddie looking so cool. Not a hair out of place on that head of that man. Beautiful work. Whereas well done, Jay Neville, running for the LGBT Foundation. Well done. He's gone through. He's, he's been through the ringer, that man. I think he has been through the ringer. He's up, definitely. Well done, Poppy. That was uh, a big, big day out. And loving the outfit, Leah. Well done to you. Congratulations, you've done it. Brilliant job. Well done to you, Fletcher, as well, and to Kerry. Beautiful work, Andrea. Andrea. Oh, oh. Those legs have just about made it back to Trafford, uh, to uh, Talbot Road. Well done to you. On to the finish line. Well done, Zoe. Well done, Zoe. Well done, Super. Ali and Marcus. Well done. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Nice. Like a like thumbs up. It's an affirmative confirmation. A steady thumbs up, that was Andy. Isn't it? You don't need to say anything thumbs up. Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> well done, Are we good to go? Well done, hey. Colin. Well done. You're so fast, they named a caterpillar after you. Well done, Jerry. Good on well you, bud. Jerry. Nice work. And to well Alice done, Martin, well. and the case of the running club. 
And what does Shab tell? Furcanito and Ash. They're still, do you know, Andy? They are still flowing across this line. It's incredible. Absolutely amazing. 28,000 odd people made it around this wonderful course here. Here's a guy in the best shirt I've seen all day long. Aiden White, Arden White, looking good. Can't hear a word I'm saying. Well done, well done, well done as well to our continually amazing guys and girls of the St. John Ambulance, our medical response guys who are looking after all of our slightly weary finishers. Well done, Cager. Well done, Mike Jones. Thinking I'll have a few beers tonight with the boys. I reckon so. His mates were. Well done, Andy. Maybe a couple of roses. Over the moon. Maybe a couple of roses. They look like a, like a rose. Bit of prosecco. Yeah, go, oh, goes well with the curry. Well done, Simon. Well done, Liz. Simon just gathering his thoughts. What a Kiki <laughs> done. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, brilliant. I said, Simon was gathering his thoughts. He said, you don't want to know what they are. <laughs> you know what they were? I'm going to uh, get a priority entry slot for next year. That's what it was. Is it? Probably, well done, probably. Running for cancer research. Well done, buddy. And Ollie Giles. Oh, sorry, Ollie B. Yeah, well done. Good man. Running for the British Heart Foundation. One of our charity partners here at the Manchester Marathon. And to Joe, Joe Ferry Faraday, Day. Yeah. Running for the Al Society. Who's Fast that skipping? Fastest in the pink hair in Manchester today. Maca, Maca Plastering was Running skipping across the line. Running for as well for Alzheimer's. That's so, so good. So amazing. Another another couple of Parkinson's. Well done, Mel, there. Cancer research. Holly's, is that Holly's Hearts as well? Yes. Holly's well done, hearts. Tracy. Yeah, well, we're big in Holly's Hearts up. Look at that. And as I said, Sally. lots of very worthwhile charities. Obviously, there's some big charities and some little local charities and some charities that don't get a massive amount of support. So it's a worthwhile exercise if you're going to do it next year to find a charity and decide to do it. And it is tough out there, Andy, you know, for charities yeah. who are trying to... You obviously got the big charities who obviously yeah. get a lot of exposure. These smaller ones are equally as important, obviously, in people's lives. Um, well, uh, if you yeah. can raise the profile a little bit in an event like this, then it's all Absolutely. good. Absolutely. It's all good. Absolutely. Well done to G. Just G. Just G. That's all you need. All we need. Well done to Sean. Thanks. Well done, Lizzie. Well done, Kat and Mora, who runs for the uh, Stockport. Owen well Quirk. Owen Quirk. And Terry from Buxton. What we need to find out is, did your playlist last as long as your marathon? That's what you want. Or you want to repeat? I think a few people have gone repeat. Well done, Low. Emma and Beth woo! as well. Is that all you got? I've got a woo! And Jammo. <laughs> well done, Jammo. Well done, my friend. Well done, Dial I for ibuprofen. Well done. Statman Jam. Finished it, the it. This guy's looking a bit, little bit torn. Well, it's like his hamstrings. Just like his number. The Miles Shy Club. I like that. That's a good name. Yes, it's good, isn't it? We like that. The Miles Shy Club. Well done, girls. We're in the relay. Congratulations. Well done, buddy. Well done, Phil. 40 runs. Yeah, yeah, from the 40 runs. Lots of 40 runs here today. Lots and lots of them. Well done, Susie. That was a big smile, wasn't it? You see, that's what you want. Ralph Taylor. Nice smile. Well, well done, done to great you. Clap by the Cleft Palette Association. Well done, Nigel, buddy. Well done. Great charity, that, as well. And Kate from the British Heart Foundation and Blaze from the yeah. Alzheimer's Society. SUDC, you know, the Sudden Unexplained Death Charity. That's another great one that we see time and time again at our races as well. So well done to all of our runners. Beautiful work from uh, well done, from the Link Squad over there. Nice shades. Well done, Jess. Look at that. And Shoko, looking really. Look at that. Looks like you've just been out for a wee job. Here we go. Here we go, Matt. Fastest flat cap in Manchester. Who's that? Look at that. Look. Rock, oh, just oh, it's off though. It's off it though. Came straight off. off. Though. Well done to Alex Royal. The hamstrings are a little bit, little bit well tight. Done. Well done, Justin. Well done, Ruth. Both cancer research. Well done. Tuesday you've done it. be interesting. John Ashton and uh, Kendall running for the Papyrus Prevention of Young Suicides. Really, really important charity as well, that one. Well done to you. More 40 runners running there. And Hayley running for the Cerebral Palsy. Well done. Well done, Annette. Don't worry, we'll catch you. That's a good gag. These two guys here. Is that a jersey flag? 
Is that right? Is that Jersey? I think it is, isn't it? All the way from yeah, yeah. Uh, Jersey. Jersey. Bergerac. Bergerac country, yeah. It's home of John Nettles. Stingy. Well, that's a slammy. Or oh, slimmy. Slimmy. Well done, Chloe. Look at that. She's still got a bounce in a step over that finish line. Oh, she's just... Oh, oh he spoke a bit earlier there. Okay. Well done, Gray. Another one running for... Loads of those today, actually, Matt. Running for the R&R. The uh, lifeboats. Uh, they've suffered quite heavily, I think, during the COVID, the Lifeboats Association. So, well done, Laura. Well done. She's come back from all that one. She's already got a medal on. Bev. Bevan L. L. Just L. Taylor. I'm L. Taylor. Well done to Delis running for the Badass Club. Well done to you. For the relay. Kate running for one of the relay room. squads. Well done. And Boston. Oh, Boston. Oh, Boston. Boston. I love Brett. I do too. I love you, Brett. Yeah, well done, Brett. We all well love man. you. Glyn from the Swinton Row Club. Well, well done, Joe. Nonchalant little way. Glyn's yeah. done that before. He's been to a finish line well before. Well done, Sam. Sam's not stopping. Lucy and Kelly. Medal, I'm going home. Well done, Kelly. Jane from the Penny Lane Striders. Well done, Jane. Well done, Jane. Who's this man here? This is Nathan. Well done, Joe. Looking beautiful. Keep moving across the line, guys. Keep moving across that finish line. Well done, Joe. All the way. Congratulations. Well done to Jane from the Licky End Striders. Made it here in the end. I love that. I love the way Jane, you just said, I feel all right, other than if you let go here, I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> that? Other than that, I feel absolutely fine. <laughs> well, well done, Baston. <laughs> well done to Tony as well, St. Helens Trail and Ale Running Club. That's what I like to see, Tony. Well done, Gordon. Nice little sprint finish there. There's a little bit of a backward leaning Ooh. going on from Gordon there. Oh, well done, James, running for sense. Well done, buddy. James running for smile for the uh, sense. Tuesday will be interesting for James. Yeah. Well, any sets of stairs becomes Mount Everest. Well done to Penny. One of the Farsi Flyers. One of the CG runners. Penny running what for the Penny. Horsham yeah, Joggers. Penny. You sure? Keep moving. Look at those calf guards. Wow. Yes, they are. Well done, buddy. They are a thing of beauty. Well done, mate. Well done. Plenty of K-Tay going on there. Well done, Tasha. Well done. Laura, well done. you can stop. You're done. You smashed it. Manchester Marathon, hashtag completed it, mate. Well done to Neil Ledge, checking out his time. Little point from Neil, I have to say, I did it. Well done, my friend. Congratulations to Mike from the Delray Running Company. Okay, and Giuseppe, another one of the East Ellsworth Port lot. Sloppy Giuseppe. I love one of them. They are beautiful. You never heard of those? Available at Pizza Express and other outlets. Well, this is Stuart. And Rachel as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, done, well, done, as well. well done everybody work. well done Gary just some really really happy people well done Kirsty well done Carol Well done. Well done. Just keep moving all the way through the finish line. Well done to everybody. Sensational performances. Don't forget to say a big thank you to your support crews for all of the months of our draft day put in to support you to get you. Well done, Julia. Julia. Julia, well done. Grazie, grazie. Well done, Lee. Well done, Laura. Well done, Melissa. Yeah, I'm just, I just smashed it. I've got my shades on. Poker face, poker face. Well done to uh, Jojo running for the Lily, Lily Foundation. Vito, yeah, Vito. Nick Turner, how on, Nick? And JJ running for Cancer Research. Some more. Love it, love it. Look at these guys. He's on it. He's colour coordinated. He's still got his beats going. So yeah, just keep moving. He's, He's just called number 26. Cowboys. Just keep moving, mate. You can't bully. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> well done. I know. I don't want to ruin your photo, but. Well done. Well done all the way from the south coast. Brian and Hope from us. Well done, Terry. Well done, nice buddy. one, Terry.
Who does he follow, do you think? There you go. Seagulls. Leo. Definitely down in Brighton. Get down Brighton. Oh, look at that. Kilt. Oh, yes. I, said, I don't work out if that's a Royal Stewart's or a McDonald's. Is it? Sure. And I'll tell you. Oh, really? <laughs> Just look at the Actually, you do see a lot of Andy. There's a Anne there we just saw, has just finished, and she's uh, going to be heading off to London next week to do the London Marathon. A double header. Why not? Well done, Chris. Well done. Well done to Matthew, and to Tommy, and to Colin, and Harvey running for the uh, British Art Foundation. Well done to you, my friend. Still people absolutely flowing across this line. Andy's back is killing him, and he's keeping going, to be fair. What a warrior you are, Andy. Well done to Matt, running for the Alzheimer's Society. Well done, matey. Congratulations. And one of our 4.30 paces. I'm going to ask this pace, so 4.30 was on his watch as he's cheering the rest of his runners in. Well done, Natasha. waiting one minute 429 17 congratulations 429 17 and here's the second pacer awesome awesome another pacer on 430 i guess around about the same time four 429 17 and then it's only well sub 430 429 17 oh, awesome work well done to charlie just stopping a watch crossing the line little wave there happy days back in Manchester at the end of 26.2 miles. Congratulations. And we got uh, Catherine just taking out her earphones and uh, Joel Silver with a little bit of a quad problem there, but he's uh, happy. Looks like he's uh, visiting the tarmac there. You okay? Well done, Richard. Good man. Nice work, Richard. And Simon, Simon, live on Facebook. It's just, it's just it's a good game, it's only fans. Say, well done to Kate from Blackburn Roadrunners and to Lauren. Well, okay, Megan, you can stop running now, Megan. It's all done. It's all over. Thank you, Dad. See you next year. No, he's not. Well done, Amy. I left him at like mile 19. And Justina, well done to you. Congratulations, Michael there. Proper sweat on. Well done, my friend. You've earned it. You can go and get that medal. Tell me, stop Sorry, yeah, well done. Yeah, Chloe, running for cancer research. Well done. Thank you so much for supporting us. It's really, really cool. Thank you for watching the channel. Sarah Ferrari, Ferrari. Really. Oh, you might be able to find the replay on that. Sorry. Yeah, you can just rewind. Well done, Ian. Good on you, mate. And well done to Catherine as well. Looking good. Smile on the face. Well done, Sam. Well done, Sam. Absolutely no problem, Sam, man, who can. Well done to Josh, Josh as well. Rocket the Tash there. Oh, there's a few, I tell you, there's a few nicely sculpted Tashes this year, Andy. I've enjoyed them. I've enjoyed my moustaches at Manchester 2023. Well done, Loughran. And then look at this, Elephant. Got Elephant finishing. Do you know what? You can spot a good photographer, Andy, right? The photographer down there from AWOL. He saw the Elephant, got down. Crouched, got that shot, the money shot. That's what they call it, the trunk shot. Get all it is, it's true, he's nodding his head, that's what it's all about. It's about spotting that shot. And uh, well done to him. And well done to the elephant as well for cracking 26.2 miles. Well done to John from the Burst Row Running Club. Nice work, mate. Well done. Um, just keep moving through the finish line, but well done to you, ladies. Great performance. Well done, Paula. Paula P from the Red Rose Running Club. And another official legend over there, that's Simon. Well done, Simon. Your official legend, you. Another Manchester Marathon in the back. And James running for Cancer Research. Well done, buddy. Like to see it. Who else we got here? Chris. Oh, those legs are just about carrying you home, aren't they, mate? Just about. 
but the main thing is you've done it. That very ruler. That's a good, good word. Where the beers? Keep going, just keep going. You'll smell them. Well done, Tim. Some people looking better than others, as I would say well, across this line. Excellent. Well, 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 done, well, well done to you. Wow. Well done to Philip. You've done it, Philip. Well done, Mike Wood. Well done, buddy. Well done to Mike. Yeah, Mike Wood. What's on the playlist, Mike? What was on that? What was on the playlist? Barry Barry Neil Diamond. <laughs> he said the Spice Girls. I think the words are believing, but it could well be true. I do like the Spice Girls. Yeah. Well done to Seymour and Chris. I said getting their. Uh, what an Ashley. You're allowed to cry. Enjoy it. So good. So good. Yeah. Really Let it good. out. Let it flow. Look at that. You another, are another absolutely. money shot there with Seymour and Chris running for the Alzheimer's and the. Uh, is that the Christie's? No, it's not. That's one of those moments, isn't it? You look back going, see this guy. I've never met before. We ran together for 26 miles in Manchester. And we've now been fair friends and we've done 15 marathons together. Or, I was saying, the, the fleeting friendship is sometimes the greatest. Because yeah. you probably never seen my day in the yeah, exactly. But for those two, three hours, yeah. they were your best mates. Oh, yeah. And that's what it's all about. I've had many of them on like an Ironman course and I've run, ended up running at the same pace as someone in there with them for the three hours. And yeah, massive. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done, Eamon. Congratulations, mate. And well done, Natalie. 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 Power Brilliant. walking now. How old's your medal? Pete, good on you. You looking good, mate. Congratulations. Well done, McDonald. There, running for cancer research. Well done, Steph. Finished, mate. Yeah, she's finished. Yeah, so done. So done. Finished, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was so. <laughs> I was. <laughs> she's on the phone. She's already updating her fans. Fans and family. Brilliant. Yeah, I've just finished it. I'll be there in five minutes. Yeah. Get the I'll tell you what, Tony's happy, aren't you, Tony? You yeah, are over are. the moon to finish. Congratulations. That's what we like to see. A smile as wide as these. the street. Ah, we got the cardiac wrist, uh, yeah. the cardiac wrist at the young oh, team. Look at that. There you go. Team hug. Ian running for dad. What well a mate. What well a buddy. What well a mate. And Lucia as well running for the Indunstable Roadrunners. Carrie. Well done, Carrie. Congratulations. Well done, Darren. Well done, Darren, mate. And a big hug there for Ash and her friend. Well done to you two. Becky's very happy, I think. Becky can't believe it. She's it's genuine. She's like, I'm not sure what just happened, but I went out this morning at about eight o'clock. <laughs> and also, sudden... it was just all these people. I was just on a training run. What an L. You okay? Carly, you're looking good as well. Congratulations. Brilliant work. Reese, a little bit of a limp there, but he's done it. He's Caroline's looking elated and relieved. Hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. From Martha as well. Paul from the Alzheimer's. Well, well done, buddy. Good. Raising good funds Vicky, for good. Look at that wardrobe. Oh, absolutely on point. That has look. been. Do you know what? That has been planned, hasn't it? For, to the T. For months. It's been laid out on the. Imagine the flat lay this morning. Yeah. The flat lay this morning must have been amazing. Yeah. Well done to her. And well, well done to Fulton. Some people then, and then some people, Andy, they just rock up in whatever they can find in the uh, yeah, exactly. in the bottom of the drawer, which as is a, fine. As I said, some people are genuinely running in fancy dress, and others are just in fancy dress. <laughs> uh, talking about the, our friend here from Scotland, our man Look here. Oh, the man in the trues. Ah, exactly. Well done. Well done, Vicky. And Donna. Look at Donna clapping the heavens. She's done it. And so's John in his fantastic red outfit. Looking good, mate. And Karen from Mercer. Oh. Oh no, don't South do that. Wales. How are you doing, Karen? Yeah, Welcome back. Way. Just keep moving, pal. Just keep moving. It'll do, trust me, you'll feel better for it. What well up, Vicky? Let them out. Just let them out. It's all good. we got Shenla over there from South Africa. Good to see you back with your wonderful flag. I'm loving that. Congratulations. Here's a squid. Look, the squid. Who's this druid here? There's a little druid here. He's an orange druid. He's a squid. He's a squid, is he? Yeah. Oh, there we I go. I am a squid. Oh. What? Same squid hats. Team squid act. Team squid hats. There we go. There we go. We got there in the well done, pal. Good day, that mate. Well done. Well done, Grace. Well done, Grace. Amar. She's happy. Amar, well done. Good on you, buddy. Lots well of runners here. Well done, Matt. Keep those legs moving. Running for Running prostate for cancer. Great as well. charities. We got prostate cancer. We got Alzheimer's <laughs> Society, Manchester, Great Ormond Street Hospital, all coming across the line. Earning loads of money for great causes. 
Congratulations to you all. Well done, Rich. Well done, Ellie. Let him out. It's all good. Have a cry. It's totally fine. In about an hour, I'll probably start crying with you, so it's totally fine. Well done. Lots of runners now for charity. A couple of outsiders there. Carly and Mena as well. Well done, Louise. And I like that there. Kel, it says, don't be beep. Definitely what don't be What One of feet. Three triple seven feet. Well done. With a family there. Well done, Sharp. Andy. Over well there, look. Brazos and Holly. There we go. Brian running for prostate. Well done, well done Jay. Well done. Round of applause for the runners there. Well done, Claire. Well done, Wheelo. Well done, Cash. It's all good. It's oh, all it is. Because you know what? You just never know sometimes the story behind somebody's journey. And uh, it's beautiful. Is, it is good. Best thing is tomorrow. You go to work. Sit on a Zoom call or a Teams call or whatever. What did you, someone do, says, what did you do yesterday? And then some people will say, oh, cut, the, cut the grass. Sunday lunch. Cut the grass. Cut the grass. What did you do? Oh, I uh, ran a marathon. <laughs> so, sorry, say that again. I ran a marathon. <laughs> I know, it's great, isn't it? Put that medal round your neck for yeah, at least exactly. a day, people. No, I just wear it on all my Zoom calls. Oh, this thing. Oh, it's a funny story, that. Oh, funny, I should mention it's that. Funny, I, I don't know if you know, but I ran a marathon yesterday. Well then, Amon running for the MNDA, of course, Motor yeah, Neuron Disease Association. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. Another cancer research runner there, finishing across the line. Miguel from the Blue Light Tri. Well done, Miguel. Give it the horns. And Kate as well, and Amy. Kate and Amy. Amy and Kate. Well done, girls. Congratulations. Michael, looking good. Finishing nice and strong. George fist pumping it all the way across the line. Loving it. And Matilda running for British Heart Foundation. We got Ledge. He's the Hatch Warren runners, one of the Hatch Warren team. Well done, Ledge. Bit of a legend you are, too. Carol, how are you doing? Cheryl, you made it. Bit of puffing out the cheeks. And Ronnie and Alex, yeah, well, well done to you two, running for the Brain Tumor Charity. Well done, Blee. Well done, Sarah there. Well done. Joe. Well done, Jason. You can stop running now, mate. I'm just going to get a little time Unless check. Unless you fancy a second lap. It's going to be arranged. Just going to get a little time check, Andy. See where we're up to. What? From this North Wales road runner. That's Sam. Well done, Sam. What's the time on your watch there? Wow. Well done. Congratulations. So 4.32, Andy. So four and a half hours. Four, four and a half hours. Yeah, spot on. Yep. Coming up to uh, ten past three. Oh, just gone ten past three. And look at that. Becca. Becca Haddo is over the moon. Aren't you? Congratulations. Well, well done, done, Becca. Keep... Beautiful. That is great to see people realising their dreams. And when they cross that finish line, it means so much. The emotion just wells up in them. And before you know it, the floodgates are open. So congratulations. What well a Mads running for. The Sense charity. Brilliant. Beautiful. Who's this here? This man's happy. Is it Jigs? Has he got his family there and his friends? Look. There you go. Look. He's got his little girl. Ah, oh, congratulations. That's what it all means. Well done, buddy. Well done, Jigs. Good on you, Jigs. Congratulations, well done, mate. Fun to for coming down and supporting the Manchester Marathon. Hopefully, it's Shabim. well done, Katie. Well done, Shamim. Shab Shamim still. Oh, look, she's not. She can keep going. Whoa, she's here we go. go. Look at this. This is what it's all about. Twenty-six point two miles. No problem. Yeah. Wow. Well it's done, Tony. Well done to Cam, and well done to Jim. She's got to stretch it out. Oh, stretch it out. And Jody, who's run with your heart. Well done, Jody. Good on you. Oh. And Anya just had to stretch out the older. I thought she was trying to push the fence over for a minute. It's like. Well done to Toonie from the Vegan Runners. Congratulations. Well done, Scott G. And the General. Yes. Little, do you know what that, Andy? I said, well done to the General. What did I get from the General? Did you? I got yeah, a salute. salute. I got a salute. <laughs> Wasn't quite that official. It was a bit, Amer a bit more American. A bit more kind of American. Yeah. It was very nice indeed. That's it. Exactly. Well done to Susie running for the Dragons, running club in Sale. And Tim well done, running Dennis. for... Uh, brain cancer research. 
Brilliant. Well done, Leanne. Well done. Hey, well done, Nathan. Uh, Look at Nathan. Nathan's, oh. Nathan's got a little chest curl. I don't know, I don't know, but well. I reckon those two fellas are related. <laughs> It's got a little kiss curl as well, Nathan. What a man. Well done, my friend. Raise plenty of money. Three grand. There Nathan we go. has just raised £3,000 for Macmillan support. Give him a round of applause. Love it. You're one of today's heroes, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Brilliant well work. Done, well done to Nathan. Smashed it. Well done. Do you know what? He's hardly got a hair out of place as well. How does he do it? How has he done that? Unbelievable. I like the fact that his team have all dyed their hair to the same <laughs> colour. Brilliant <laughs> job. Oh, fantastic. That's what it's all about. Stories, it Andy. Is. It's about it stories. stories. And people's journeys through life. Yeah, well, Congratulations. Tell the, tell the grandkids a few years. I remember this time I popped to Manchester, ran a marathon. Race, race three, three grand. grand. Changed, changed a couple of people's lives. More than a couple, probably. Yeah, exactly. More than a couple. Well yeah. done. Well done, Ginny. As well, well done, Ginny. Run for MS Society. Brilliant work. Well done to you. Yeah, okay, Ginny. Congratulations. Tired. A little tired. Forlorn. And to Stuart Leak, just coming across the line. And to Julie and Ginny, is that? Just bending over. Just keep moving if you There's can, pennies. ladies and gentlemen. It's penny, I think. Penny, is it? Ah, Penny. There you go. Oh. And there's Jasvia. She's, she's scuffed her knee. You've been fighting on the way around. Just 40k, did you? There you go. Oh, are you okay? Oh, good. Well done, Stouty. Running for Parkinson's. Well done, buddy. Well done, Jasmine. Well done. Well done in, in memory of Sarah Moody there as well. Well done, Bob. Just talking to uh, Nathan there, Andy. Jasvia, our friend there uh, in Orange, just has done well over 100 marathons as well. Yeah. I think we've seen him here before. I think we have, actually. Yeah. Here's Ryan running for the Alzheimer's Society. Just Ryan. trying to find his legs. Oh, he's just wondering, if, just wondering if they're still there. Stretching <laughs> them out. They don't feel like yours at the end of a marathon. You're like, I don't know who these legs are, <laughs> but they're not why. Just let me get through this treacle and I'll be John, all right. Ben. Well done, mate. Congratulations, John and Ben. Look at that. That's brotherly love, that is, right there. Well done, Leanne and Charlie. Ooh. It's tomorrow, isn't it? You wake up with a false sense of security. You think, oh, these are all right. Tuesday, just... Tuesday morning, you wake up, you stand up, and you... <laughs> you're then staring at the ceiling. Well done. I or, sit or tomorrow, you try and get out of bed and you can't. You're happy there. Richmond and Zetland. There's Lawn. Well done, Lawn. Well Lorne. done, Lawn. Well done, Lawn. Congratulations. Oh, it's got to be a gag there, isn't it? Oh, look at that. There you go. Hi, buddy. I was just well, about I'm to not, say well, he's I'm loving not. life, but he's not right now. But he will be in a bit, I'm sure. She's like, shh, you don't <laughs> just run a marathon. Have you sat there and I've given you bottles all the way around? Airborne fit. Well done, Chris. Absolutely. Well done, Chris and Nick. Well done, buddy. Keep moving, buddy, if you can, all the way through. And Fee just checking out her well done, Instagram Kirsty. feed. Well done, Kirsty. Oof. Just having a moment. Just having a moment. Well done, one of the Namwich running club there. Oh, yeah. Pumping it out. i tell you what I'm going to do right now, Andy, is because I've been on this finish line for four hours with you, and I think that everybody here, that the St. John team deserve a massive round of applause, everyone. Yeah. Come on. Give it up for the St. John team who have been looking after everybody. Come you on, guys man. are amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, really well brilliant. Well done, team. I've just They've been looking after our been weary, noticing. weary runners. Just, they just get on with it. <laughs> yeah. They just get on with the work and they do a great job looking after our runners. And, I, it's and I've stopped, in the last few years, I've stopped making the polo mint gags as well. Polo mints. <laughs> Oh, it's a proposal. Oh, oh, hang on, oh hang on. it's oh, a proposal. Right, right, we're gonna we're gonna have to get this. Good spot from the security guard here. Well, oh, well, we'll get we'll get them, Matt. When yeah, they come down. hang on, hang on. Uh, wait, hang wait, on, wait, hang on. Right, come here. Right, come here, come here. Right, right, hang on. Let's oh, hang, hang on now, hang on. Right, okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen, we got a little bit of some news on the finish line. So. What, what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you say, what, ju what just happened? After nine years, finally. So, yeah, so, 
We had, we had our first our first marriage proposal of the day, but but let's be honest, everybody wants to know what did she say? Yes, yes, yes. Ray Manchester, well done, first proposal. Oh, there you go. Well done. I love. I love a proposal. I do love a proposal. When it's affirmative, Andy. Yeah. That's the only thing. You have to say. check first. You do, don't you? you have to oh, well done. Well well done. Did you want to say, say yes, no? You? To be yeah. fair, the, the rock that she had on her finger would suggest she was like, oh, really? I, is there, oh, there's a rock as well. Uh, you did it well. Well done, mate. Look at Nestor. He's what, off now. Is basically, it? what he did, he said, I'll wait till she's chronically exhausted. And then I'll ask her to marry me. And then she definitely goes. And he say, didn't mention that's the 18th time he's asked her, did he? <laughs> yeah, he says, yeah, nine years. We've had nine marathons. It's only just that she said yes. Finally browbeating well, her into it. We've no, got to London, Paris, Berlin. <laughs> oh, that man's got a parrot on his shoulder. Yeah. Been better than a chip. Been twittering away all day long in his ear. Well done, Steve, running for cancer research. Looking good, my friend. Congratulations, Dave, as well. And congratulations to Stacey. He's overcome with emotion. Well done, Stacey. Yeah, well done, everybody. And what a Lauren, Rachel. What a Lauren. Alzheimer's. Brilliant Lauren charity, Rick. of course. Have we drifted into a bit of m and m m Luke, uh, eight mile. This isn't eight mile. This is 26.2 miles. There's a tentative on it. A little bit of a... Tenuous link, I think. There, lose yourself. Well done, Ian and Jacqueline. I don't remember Eminem writing an album or film called 26.2 Miles. If it had been, if he'd have had a career long enough, he probably would. Probably would. Might have got there. Well done, Stuart. Well done, Mark H. Here's your fan. Here's, here's, here's your supporters. Here's the family. Brilliant job. Well, well done. Mark. Well done, Sandra. And Gervin raising money for Alzheimer's Society. Yeah, well and done, Chloe. Chloe. Congratulations. We even got her a little oolap on the top of her ear as well, didn't we? Look, it's special. Unflowered, yeah, well, it's cool. And Rachel. Valerie. Rachel, what well a Rachel. What well an Ellen. You okay, Ellen? She doesn't really know what's happened, does she? She's a bit like, I'm not sure what's just happened. And Paul run for the um, what a Marie. The NA, fantastic charity as well. What a Mark. Yeah, Living well done, Mark. Head, awesome, done awesome. Well done, Gert. Uh, well done, Dean. Amazing, well done. And King Andy. Herstaffus. That's a name, isn't it? Herstaffus. Wow. And he's got a beard. Woo! Absolutely, there's no stopping that lady. She's no, uh, she's carrying on. It. Well done, Liv. Looking well good, done, Liv. Tony. Congratulations, my friend. Good on you, buddy. Well done. Oh, that was a he had a Welsh. Oh, here we go. He's Easy now. To stretch it out. Oh, he's got yeah. Well done, buddy. Jason those, Walker. Though. Have a little seat there, Jason, if you need to. Maybe <laughs> he definitely is. Probably for the last few miles as well. Gibson. What well a Gibson. What well a Christie. What well an AD. What a Jenny. That's a nice woo. And Gemma as well has crossed the line. And who we got? Carl Rue. What a Kenny. Congratulations. Joss. Nice work, mate. Never again. Yeah. Somebody running week. for the Doddy Weir. My name's Doddy Foundation there. Beautiful pair of running oh, pants as well. Yeah. Yeah. The Doddy Weir Scottish Tartan. Well done. So that's a great new charity. Mark, well done, buddy. Keep moving, paint if you can. And Oliver W is just oh. about managing to make it across the uh, line there, running for British Heart Foundation. Well done, Oliver. Those legs are, I say, wooden. Well done, Julie. Here, and that's oh. being kind. Well done, Steve, running for the Wooten Roadrunners. Good on you, my friend. Well done, Crowder. And David. So many happy, Gleeful. happy people. I think the word is, Andy. Look at that. Chapel. Chapel. She's just... happy, isn't she? Smashing it on song. Updating there. the friends on the Instagram. Hashtag Manchester Marathon, remember? She's Get already it. snapped it. Get it trending. Already snapped Stu's it. Stu's doing the same. Stu. Stu's going to put it on. Well done, Stu. <coughs> and Judith running for the Alzheimer's charity. Alzheimer's Society, well done to you. Well done. Nice work from Alan. 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 Glad that's over. Here we are. Roger from... Uh, is Alan, it Alan Turing. Turing. Where's, 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 where's the code? Where's, where's the, the code? machine gone? <laughs> He's mislaid it. The Enigma code. It got lost. 
What's going to happen now? He can't, he can't save the world. No, he got stolen by the Germans. <laughs> got stolen back by the Germans. <laughs> well done, Paul. Well done, buddy. Oh. 4.45, Andy, are you going to check on that pace? Yeah, we, we always check on the pace as well. Of course we do. Of course we do. Let's have a look. They know the rules. Well done, Michael. Good Saving. on you, mate. And Saving. Natalie running for Maggie's. Awesome work. Well done, Neil. I love these garments. Smashing and chalky. Oh. Loving, your, loving your work. 4.44.41. Wow, you are the man. He's, that done, that, he's done that before, hasn't he? What a robo, Dad. And right I saw, up. just as he passed there, this, the uh, pacer just got a little hug, Andy. Hey, yeah. Uh, I think a couple of people were like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that time if it wasn't for you. Was that Robo Dad? <laughs> yeah. I think it was Robo Dad. What a Chloe. What a Chloe. Nice little sprint finish there as well. Loving the hat. Loving, Loving the, the get up. Good work. And Hoon has just finished. What well a Holly. You can officially stop now. You can officially stop now. You can officially stop running. Yeah, everything. Stop everything. You're done. She just wanted to carry on. Oh, brilliant. There you go. Lisa from Saltwell. Up there in the northeast. Congratulations to you. And Paul, well done, my friend. And Big Joe over there in the corner. Well done, my friend. Great running from all of you here in Manchester for the Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. Finishing on Talbot Road. Apostrophe well done, well done, Sunday Jake. afternoon. How's it? Good one, Jake. Good one, Who we got here? We've got Aoife. Courtney. And Courtney running for the Alzheimer's Society. Well done, Courtney. She's got her tunes on. She tunes. Tunes, mate. Mad for it. Mad for it, tunes. Mersey try. Well done, Mersey try. That means you tried. It means you tried that. Well done. Woo. That means that you've... Uh, I think they call it emptying the tank, but I mean, literally, it is yeah. really... This is, is what happens. This is what it takes sometimes to get across that finish line. Congratulations to Robbo. Looking good, Robbo. Along with Shane. Nice work, my friend. Well, she's just regretted the tikka masala she had halfway Another one of our official legends there. Yeah, well done, mate. Look at that. And Sam being amazing as well. Just looking after her co-runner. That's love, that, isn't it? That, that's friendship when you hold a sick bag. Do you want me to hold the sick bag for you? What an alley. Who's that? Alvin from Long Eaton. He's just got that, uh, that uh, swagger Gis about him. I think. Giuseppe, well done. Welcome to the finish line. Here we go, we've got another mum runner. Tutto Look, bene. Look, all the way. Tutto bene. Tutto bene. Grazie. There you go. Well done, Mick. Well done, Mick. Fundraising for the Derian House. And Kelly Jelly from North West Roadrunners Club. Well done, Kelly. Good on you. What Loving a mum. Well, what a mum. Ran it, ran it there with the, with the one in the... Erica from the 40 runs. Well done, Erica. Yeah, loads of, loads of 40 runners today. And still, they are flowing across the line here in Manchester. I cannot believe Andy, honestly. It's like they are still... Well every done, couple of seconds, we've got dozens of people finishing. Well done, Great Alice. Nice, Alice. Okay, they're making some noise. Oh, that's a sprint finish. Oh, oh. Mind out. Man coming through. Mind out. Full steam ahead for Woody. Well done, Woody. Woody. And uh, Woody and Siobhan. Nice work from you two. Awesome. You've done it. Dave Jones has done it as well. A little bit of a couple of blisters going on there or something. What a Rob. And Graham from Chepstow Harriers. It doesn't look like his first. And it won't be his last. Nah, I can tell back. you that. He'll be back. What well well a Well done. And to Bronwyn and Sam Hill and Will. Well done, Alice Hill. Cruising across the line. Yeah. Get some fluid in. Get some colour back in the jeeps. Ah, here we go. Now, I need to have a little... Here we go from the 76 boys. Yeah, let's... We'll grab these. We'll grab the 76 boys, I think. I'll have a word with Chris Taylor, because I know Chris. And, uh, yeah, he's coming... Uh, Right, okay. we need to get a word yeah. with these guys and as they come across the line. This is right, guys, here we go. The, these four, these guys with a balloon need a chat. Come on, let's bring it over. Oh, hey, guys, come on, let's have you over here. Chris Taylor, get you over here. We're here, look, yeah, Chris. Chris, Chris, turn Chris, around. Behind you, Chris, behind no, you. No. Behind you, come on over here. 
Right, there's a story, ladies and gentlemen, behind these balloons. Because, come over here, Josh, because this is something that means a lot to a lot of people. But you are doing something incredible today. Tell us exactly what you're up to right now here today. Obviously, we can see the balloons, but just talk us through it. To keep it simple, I'm trying to raise a million for Samaritans right now. Today was marathon number 49 of 76. We're trying to set a world record first. First person in history to run a marathon in all 76 cities of the UK. Every bit of support you guys have given us in every city has just meant the world. Today was special. And you're trying to raise one million pounds as well. Is that right, Josh? Yeah, a million pounds for Samaritans, which will fund 200,000 phone calls. There's no need to suffer alone, guys. There's a lot of people out there that love you. They want to support you. I'm here for you. I'm going to keep running till we make that money. Well, well, amazing. Mate, people, mate. give these people well, a round of applause, well, Josh. Guys. So, hey, nice to see you, Chris. Great to see you, buddy. And absolutely fantastic, guys. Well, this guys, is what it's all well, about. Well, well, this well, is mate. what it's well, all well, about. Well, Honestly, Andy, yeah, today, mate, you know amazing. what I mean? Seriously. I mean, and what a, gr what a great camaraderie amongst the, the guys as well. To and I'll tell you what I didn't know, Andy, today, I've learned something new. There's 76 cities in Great Britain. Ah, oh, there we go. Because that's what they're doing. They're trying to run a marathon in every city, city. of Great Britain. Over so the next that's logistically months. complicated as well as, <laughs> it's probably as, as, well as physically complicated. But hey, so. if they can do it, what yeah, a brilliant. Well, fantastic. They look, like they, they look like they know what they're doing, those guys, though, don't they? I think so. I think so. Well, as you may well know, Chris Taylor, one Chris, of them, uh, ran yeah. Dragon's Back last Dragon year. Back, yeah. Plenty of fitness in those legs. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. Well done. And well done to Morris as well, who's well just done, made it across the line. Congratulations. We're going to move out of your way, Morris, so you can uh, get yourself Have a, a sit down seat. there. Have a little seat. Well done. That's a story. That's the sort of thing that makes our day, isn't yeah, it, Andy? I it like really that. is. And again, like he said... You're not alone. You are not alone, yeah. You absolutely. are never alone. There's always uh, something to chat to. And the Samaritans do an amazing, amazing work. So, there we go. Well done to Steve, raising well done, money for the British Health Foundation. Like, I'm not sure I'm doing that and again. And Liv, congratulations yeah, you to you, like, Liv. I'm not sure I'm doing that again. Yeah, I agree. See you next year, yeah? Uh, well done, Charlie. What's up? Is it? There is a Hamlet going on. Definitely. Well, well done to uh, Kayla and Zoe. Well done to you two. Congratulations. You've made it to the finish line here in Manchester. Brilliant work. Well done, Harriet. Well done. Well done, Alex. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Alex can't believe it. Go, Lisa Bear. Go, Lisa Bear. Look at this. Somebody running for Cleethorpe's Tri Club there. Yes. Well All done, that my way friend. in a tri suit. And in a pair of vibrant five fingers. Know, yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Well done, mate. Great effort. Congratulations, mate. Well done. That was emotional for him. I could see that in his face. Daz Harris, well done to you. Running for the Alzheimer's charity. Look at this. Run, Daddy. You can do it. Running in with a force vest on as well. So faking fast. So faking fast. Oh, there you go. He is. I don't know. He's, he looks pretty quick to me. Well, well done, buddy. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well done, pal. Shoes are off. Medal in the bag. 26.2 miles. Nobody takes that away from you. Well done, well done Cookie. Well done, Cookie. That didn't break. You did it. Didn't crumble, did he? No, he didn't crumble. Well done, Annalise, running for the uh, Whitam Running Club. And Alex rocked it across the finish line nicely as well. And I, th I thought you were just... I thought you were, just, I th I thought you were bowing pa for a minute. Paper pizza. Yeah. Well done to Guy, well done to you, congratulations, you've finished, yes, that's what we like to say. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, well done to you. Well done Lee, congratulations mate. Well done buddy. Woo! Those legs are singing. Well done. Really oh, pleased. Little. And uh, well done, Giles Chris, running for the Christine trust together. Christine and Sasha there having a little smooch on the line, I like it, I like it, well done. Well so done. nice, lots of affection, lots of... Couples and partners running together, enjoying the moment, sharing it together, creating memories here in Manchester for the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. So well done to all of our runners. Well done, Hevs. I saw her there running for Alzheimer's Chat. So many great causes and Alzheimer's is amongst the best, of course. Well done, Alicia. Well done. Well done to Jam D. 
and to Staten and to Lou. And Lou. Well done, Lou. Yeah, look. Oh, a little swagger. Oh, a little from Lou. swagger. A little, whoop, little whoop, bit of a little yeah, bit of a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky little pop of the hip. What a Johnsy. Good on you, buddy. Pop of the hip. Whoop, nice work, mate. Whoop. Oh, I can't do that. Pop your hip. <laughs> pop your back. Sam McDonald. Well done. Just oh, looking around. He's just popped out, has he? What are you doing to run a marathon? There you go. There you go. Colin from the Mileshire Club. And uh, Mark from Trawden AC. Well done, Mark. Cass running for the Sense That's Charity. Yeah, well done. And Alan running for Alzheimer's Research as well. Well done, Hanley there. Well done. Jake running for the Matt Millen Cancer Support. Well done, my friend. And Amanda, nice big smile. Loving a t-shirt. Looking good. Looking good. And Paul looking a bit out of it. But uh, here we go. It. He's it, done it. He's done it. Here we go. We got... Shenke running for the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital. There's another great local charity as well. Lots of people running for them. And Emma and Becky and Kate. And Claire running for the Runner Bees. And for Alice. There you go, coming across the line. Well done, Mark. Mark's fan club over here. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. Kevin Deal has dealt with it. Well done, Julia. You have done it. You have done it. Well done. It's all right. And we got Claire running versus arthritis. Well done, Claire. We like, we love people like you. Well done. Claire. Oh, Over there. On. Another one. No, it's another one. one. Lots of Claire's. Oh, I'm all right. Well and done, Anna. Anna Faith. And Lewis and Breeder. Dave and Breeder. Ooh, well done. Yeah. Oh, Scott's got a walk with purpose, isn't he? Look at that. It's like, ooh, ooh. They didn't feel like that when he started, did they? Is it twinging, Scott? Is it twinging? <laughs> we won't mention that. No, we won't mention we got a young audience yeah. here. Yeah, it's something audience. about his calves being less than the ideal. Less, less <laughs> not as good as they used to be. Not as good as they used to be. Second hand. Stephen, well done, Freight. One careful good owner. On Never raced. <laughs> well done, James. Sold loving the, loving that well done, James. Loving well done, that yeah. There's a lot of work gone into that. Oster Road Runners. Oster Road Runners. A lot of runners. Anya, well done. Gary, running for the Momentum Children's Charity. Well done, buddy. We've got Dean and Dave. Dane and Dave running for the Moorside Racing Team. Well done, you two. And uh, running for breast cancer now well as done, well. What a pretty boy. Thank you. Look at this. John uh, Palomba. Arm in arm. Well done, buddy. Well done to Harry and to well Charlie. Well done, Kenny. Well done, Natalie. How are those legs feeling? Used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well done, Tim. Leah and Lusted. Leah Lusted. He's overcome with emotion. Well done. Let's give her a moment just to reflect on what happened there. And uh, last 26. Dan, Southwest Roadrunners. Whoa, grimace. There's a grimace there from Dan. Well um, done, Lisa. Oh, she's getting it on the socials already. Yeah, of course she is. Well done to Deb. She's live on the Insta. I saw it. I saw the feed coming in. Are you sure it was Insta? Run me out. Yeah, it was. It, it was could have been the top. No, it wasn't Insta. Was it? Look at uh, that. Dave R. Dave R. Run for Alzheimer's Society. Just checking out his uh, stats. Check out his stats. We love a stat. No, it's a, it's a very modern thing, that, runners. You know, we got to stick it on the Strava and instantly then look back at it as if we didn't run it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. We love that. We go, oh, look at my slits. Well, I know. I've just run them. Yeah. Loving that man over there. In a, I love a man in a mankini. Yes. Luckily, put the shorts underneath, I find. Luckily. Le that less chafage. And what a Captain B. Not quite as revealing. Captain Birdseye. What on Holmesy. What on Gaz. Well done to Wai Manho and Toko running together there. And Bannum and Sabs looking good. Oh, there we go. Well done, Tom well Collins. Well done, Tom Collins. I look like a good full name. Tail. He goes full name. It's a, great, it's a great cocktail. What is that a cocktail? Yeah, it's gin and gin and orange juice. Ah, there you go, Mr. Bear. Looking cuddly as he crossed the line, and these three girls here all running. There we go. The relay, the, team. relay team with a, with a broken arm. <laughs> well done, girls. Well done. The hard yards, hard yards runners, runners and cakes. There we go. Ooh. Well done, not somebody running for diabetes there. Will Rowley and Parr just finishing as well. And ha Hamish, well done, buddy. Congratulations. Well done, Emily. Well done. Well done, Helen. And Ben Louis and the Royal Free Charity there. Gareth taking Here part. Here we go. Here we go, Manchester. Make some noise. Ah, oh, look at this. For the Lily Grace, the Lily Grace Cunliffe Foundation. We see them 
at lots of races. Simply sensational. Well done, Paul and Michelle. Fantastic. We've seen them loads of times. Well done, Paul. Well done, buddy. Well done. Well done, Michelle. Yeah. Of course. Well done, buddy. High fives. Well yeah, done, buddy. Well that's what it's all about. Well done. Good, to well done. Good to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations, well guys. Doing brilliant work. The Lily Grace Cunley Foundation. Well done, Phil. Well done, mate. This is it. This is the part of our job, Andy, whereby the first bit is um, talking about elite runners and yeah. talking about accomplishment and achievement in terms of time and maybe people looking at the watches. This, there's a lot more going on here of completion yeah, and scoring. Exactly, exactly, Matt. And exactly. And we, we say this all the time is, you know, there, there's always, you know, of course, it is very, very difficult and very, very hard to train for and be capable to run two and a half hours for a And marathon. it's a race. And, and of it's course. a race. And it's a very different beat. So for these, they are out here for four to yeah. five hours. Absolutely. Just, just running. That doesn't include the getting to the start line, getting... So these, these, these guys and girls and everyone, people are on their feet for a long time yeah. and still smiling, still moving forward under their own steam and running. You know, that's the other thing we forget is everyone is still running. They're not walking. You know, this is running four to five hours is still nine, ten, ten and a half minute mile in, which yeah. is still running for most people. So it's superb, really, really superb and well done it's to all of our stuff. all of our competitors today. And to all of you crowd out there still around, sticking around, waiting for your loved ones, your friends, family. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much. Without a crowd, it would not be a marathon. Without volunteers, it wouldn't be a marathon. And everything goes in 365 de 360 degrees to make a wonderful day out here in Manchester at the well, Adidas just Manchester that. Marathon. Here he is. Yeah, well done. Well done, Tess. Well done. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's, at least he's honest. Well, at well done, least he's honest. Well done, man. We like it. Oh, that's good. We've got the fan club here. What well an Alex Tess and Alex and Lucy. Yeah, well done, Lucy. And one of the, the, uh, nine, the nines. The nines. <laughs> 99 problems and juice ain't one. Was juice it? ain't one. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Well done to Tracy running for a Queensbridge Running Club. Well done, Willie and to Tiran and to, and what's your name? Sorry, Willie. Willie. Well done. Well done, Tom. Well done, Shauna. Well done, Jen. We don't count. Good work from all of you guys here. Oh, look at that. That's going to sting a bit, Henry. That is going to sting a bit. <laughs> Smashed it. Thank you very much for pointing that out. That's what he was saying. <laughs> well done, Janice. No expletive, John. There weren't any. It wasn't. Not a single any. one. Oh, look at Benji in no shade. Rocking it with the biggest smile I've Alex seen with today. Beard. Rocking it, mate. Well Beautiful. done, pal. Well done. Badger, running for the National Autistic Society. Well done, mate. Top job. Well done to Fanula and to Emily Cook and to Robin and to Maz and to Linda. Loads of finishers coming across the line here. Awesome work. Well done to you all. Congratulations to Smiley and to Becky. Good work. Well done to Karen. Well done, Karen. Loving your work. And Emma as well, overcome with emotion. And Sarah. Well done, Tasha. Well done. And well done, yes, Emma. Yes, Lauren. Ra, ra. Well done, Ra, Ra. Well done, you can hurry. You can stop now. You're done. I was so caught up in my playlist. I didn't even see the finish line. In your mental playlist. Yeah, mental playlist. Just... Yeah. Well done, Neil. Good on your friend. Iron Man there. Smashed it. Well done to Rich and to Ian as well. Still rocking out the shades in these overcast conditions. Who cares? Well done, Matt. To be fair, I've had mine on my head all day in the veil, oh, yeah. in the veil no. hope. <laughs> in the veil hope that the sun was going to come out so I could put my shades on. It's not well going to happen, Emily. Andy. It's not going to happen. Never mind. It's been dry, pretty yeah, dry. Right. Let's let's we like this. This is Manchester weather. Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah, well done, Katie and Matthew as well. Well done, Dad as well. Great, Sander, all coming across. Look there at this state from Helsby runner, Karen, Karen, over the moon, over the moon is Karen, and Jen running for the Jen. Alzheimer's Society. Congratulations to you as you come across the finish line. What on Becky? What well on Amy Cotter? And Tina Ella, G. Ella and Pete, and and also Ella, well and done. Oh, there you go. Well, we're done. Absolutely, absolutely let it out. It's totally fine. It's all good. Here he is. 
Ah, four thirty, a four forty-five, Andy. Sorry, yeah. four forty-five. Well done it's, to you It's two. a legend, Gary. Well done, Gary. The famous pacer. Well done, buddy. Well done, mate. Well What's on the watch, that? Gary? How we got on the watch? What we got? Let's have a look. We, we always like a pace for the buffering. Buffering. There we go. Four forty-four thirty-one. Oh, oh come on. You what? <laughs> well done, buddy. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. <laughs> we like it. Great, great day. See Gary at lots of races pacing. Well, and to Mary running for breathing need, space. I think, I think, Matt, we need, we need more signs. We need more signs. Who's still got signs that need to go up? Yeah, there's one here, Andy. Signs. Come Andy on. there's one behind you right here. This is congratulations to Emma, Becky and Rachel. I mean, my daughter is running the Adidas Manchester Marathon. 37094, Emma. Well done. And we've got You've raised yes, over 4,000 and raised over 4,000 pounds, Matt. For wow. which charity? Yeah, which... which the mind. 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 Oh, brilliant. Great. Well done there. Again, another load of money going to a brilliant, brilliant supportive charity. Well done, Natasha. Natasha looks like she doesn't want to stop. It's just like, woo! I want it to be 36 miles, not 26. Well done. This woman is happy. Wow, this woman is happy. This is Rosie. No, Sophie. Woo, look at that. <laughs> She'll be having a, 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 a glass or two tonight. Glass or two thought. tonight. I would have thought so. And why not? You've yeah, all deserved it. Well done, Julia. Whatever your tipple well is. Well done, Emily. Well done, Lorna. Well done to Brad Benson. Lewis well as well. Well done, Benson. Nice work. Hey, look, it's another Zeus. We've had, yeah. two, we've had two Zeuses today. Team Gloucester. Well done, mate. Well done, Zeus. And uh, oh, where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Ah, there he is found him amongst the sea of runners well done to Karen is it congratulations brilliant work well done Melissa from Leicester real talk real men well done mate well done buddy Osaka marathon top there Vivian Vivian probably... traveled the world racing marathons being around the world told you Lisa Stansfield absolutely look at this man he's dressed our first finisher dressed as a Bitcoin it's a Bitcoin <laughs> he's on he's absolutely on point isn't he he started off, he was worth he picked, 20. He, the thing is, Andy, he was worth 28,000 when he set he off. Started, yes. It's only worth 15. It's only yeah. worth 15 pence. <laughs> well done, Andy. Another one, great charity, Samaritans. Well done, mate. Well done, buddy. Another Graham as well for the Samaritans. This guy's a weapon. No, we mean absolute, he is. Absolute, absolute weapon. Absolute. <laughs> <laughs> what, it's one of my favourite sayings ever, that. You absolute weapon. Well done, really? Alice. Well done, Age. Matteo, well done Matt as well, nice like work. you've always coordinated Matt and Matteo, well done Roy. And these two ladies here, we've got Vicky and Lorraine. I like Vicky the way, and Lorraine. I like Lorraine the way Vicky. as she was hugging, she kind of went to stop her watch and but, nearly well, suffocated her. It's way more important to stop that watch. Oh look. look. Here we go, Matt Mellon can support. Look at that, well done, well done Robbie. Oh, and well done to Julia, I bet it's not Julia's first marathon is it? How many is it for Julia? Eight. Number eight. Well done, Julia. Fantastic. Here we go. Keep going, pal. Here we go. Family affair. Get to run with their little one. That's what it's about. Well done, Daddy. Well done, Dad. Fantastic. Ilona is running for the Meningitis Research Foundation. Well done to you. Well done, Helen. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, David, and well done, Kim. Good work. Well done, Mike, running for the British Heart Foundation. Well, well done, buddy. Anna. How's nice work, mate. feeling? Yeah, just well keep done to Jim and, well and to Andy, Andy and to the my guy as well. Well done, Andy, running for the local men cap as well. Well done, well done, buddy. Good work today. Beautiful work. Well done, Donna. Donna. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. And Reynolds and Kaz running for the Probably Penny Lane well Striders. And Saeed as well, just about finished. But Keep... Massive. What a ah, massive. I'll tell you why there's a well lot of people Andy. here, Andy. We've got our five hours paces. There we go, our five hour paces. Helen, well done, Ron. Helen for the survivors of bereavement and suicide. Well done, Frankie. You smashed it. Well done. Let's see how the uh, the times uh, look yeah. on the hands of these two females here. Well Andy. then, let's have well a look. Lynn. Congratulations, have you've done it. You've finished. Say. 
Adidas, Ooh. Adidas 2023 Come on. Manchester Marathon. Been a Next great day. Week. Ryan Little, well done, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. a bit tight. We like that. What we is like, it, Andy? 459.15. Whoa. I, I tell, tell you. Beautiful work. Well done, girls. Congratulations. 11.15 11, 11, pace. That's what it was. Perfect. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Simon and Georgina. There you go. A little bit of tiredness kicking in for Hannah as well, but oh, you've done it, Hannah. Floor. Congratulations. It's all done, though, now. Well done to the, Beth the recovery as well. Start. Well done, Beth. And to Monica and to Jane. Congratulations. Yeah, well done, Monica. Well done. Good on you, Aaron. Don't and forget, Steve, get, not too far get behind. the recovery in first before you start the celebrations. Well done, Amy. Well done. Well done, Molly. Running for the Christie. Brilliant. Great art. One of our, our favourite local charities as well. Well done, Mike. And Viraj, he's yeah, happy. Deering House is Deering House. A lot of these people you see, Andy, will have done sub five. You see, a lot of these people would have done yeah. sub five because yeah, yeah, they were yeah. all, later. all under, just yep. under sub five. They were all on the yeah, purple more. wave. So yeah. exactly, yeah. Great work. Well done, Shona. Is this Andy? Is this yeah, Shona? Woo! Andy, I think we moved into a new playlist. We've edged into Bad boys, there, isn't it? No. Zaza, well done to you. Nice. And Aris, well done, my friend. Zaza, well done. How's the legs feeling? Dead. <laughs> Official legend, Graham, you are another Manchester Marathon in the bag. Well done, my friend. And well done, Yasmin. Yasmin running for Christie, another, another Christie runner. Well done, JB. Faye's very happy. Well done, Faye. And Rita, there's a happy person as well. Just glad to see the finish line, no doubt. I would have Fancy said so. Thank you. Well done. Well done, Graham. As I said, and Meg, Meg Jones as well. Congratulations. Latest finish at another Alzheimer's Society. Look at this smile, <laughs> Emma. Emma looks absolutely ecstatic. Running for cancer research as well. Well done, Emma. Can't believe it. Are you happy, Emma? And who's this? Let's see. Are you who's happy? This? Running for. <laughs> Red Anastasia, Rose. well done. They can't hear us, Matt. Francesca, Ooh, well done Natalie, to you. Well done, keep going. Well done to Hugh and to Adam. Running for the CDF. And yeah, cancer well research. done. Well done, everybody. You're officially through halfway. Well done. Well done, James. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Karen. And what a Sarah Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Well into Soul. Well done, Soul. Just call Soul. You know you got Soul. Win serve. Well done, win serve. Well done, Liam. There's a tennis link in that somewhere, Andy. Win serve. Yeah, I was gonna go antivirus. <laughs> but uh, that's a Hey, go on, Matt. That's a that's a real curveball. It is. Well done, Chris, you and aren't you glad you didn't get into London? This is a much better marathon. Well done, Jordan. Yeah, you well done, done. buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> And Ad Emma's already, uh, there we go, Adam and Rich, Emma and look, Rich. Emma and Rich, look, so we see a picture. Rich and Emma, Emma and Rich. There you hi, go. Hi, hi. There you go. Just doing your Facebook, Facebook Live. Live. Facebook Live. It's all right, don't worry. How many, how many views are you on there? 28,000. 28,000. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's. <laughs> it's all about the fans. <laughs> well done, you two. Brilliant. And to Victor, Vicky and Gota, well done to you as well. And well Bryony, done, Lauren. And Lauren. I think he just said, I'm really good, mate, didn't he? That's exactly what he said. <laughs> uh, we, we, we should tell them that we've got microphones on the finish line. I think it would be quite like referees' I mics. I don't think people would worry. I no, think they'd still I, I, just uh, crack on with the expletives. But there you go. They've, they've deserved it. They've run 26.2 well miles. Well done. well done to Whitby. Well done, Whitby. Well done, buddy. And Mark running for the Mind Charity. Well done, my friend. And Zolt. And stopping his watch. And so is Faye just behind as well. Well done to Catherine and to Kingsley and Eric running for the Edinburgh Running Network. Well done, Catherine. Well done, Neil. Oh, look at these. For oh, the case start, the case the running team. Look at that. How we got on, Beryl and Sue? Chester Road you runners. Like trouble, hey, well you, done, two, you, you look like absolute trouble. How'd you get on? What was the time? What have we got? 4.53. So we'll call it 4.50. Yeah, a bit of chatting. Yeah, a bit of Instagram posting, wasn't it? That's what it was. 
Well done. Well done. Great day. Well done. Congrats. I like, I like the way he said you two look at absolute trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't retort it, and they didn't retort. They were like, no, you're right there. Uh, we are. Good on them. Bless them. They were well done to Beryl and to Sue. Well done, Dan. Well done, Paddy. Well done, Ellie. I like the way Dan they coordinated the T-shirt with the glasses there. Looking well done, good. Thomas. Thomas from the Swift. You can stop now, Thomas. You've finished. Well, well done. done, my friend. Your 10th marathon. Well done. What, today? You look amazing. <laughs> well done. Welsh and pasty. Even better than a Cornish one. Always. The Welsh pasty is the best. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a Welsh pasty. Or an Oggy. Or an Oggy, yeah. yeah. Is that there what it's go. called? Well done to Alban and, uh, yeah, to Ronnie. Karen, from the Winkle Winkle Valley. Diabetes. Well done, Karen. What a more live social media being Get shared around the Ooh. world. Well done. Well done, Helen. You've done it. Congratulations. What a more act. Peter well Ho. Done. Congratulations, Peter Ho. I don't think he knew I was here, but never mind. I'm happy that I congratulated him. I know. Coming up to 4 p.m. then, ladies and gentlemen, on a Sunday afternoon here in Manchester for the Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. It's been a great day. People are making history here in Manchester. Some beautiful sights of people, all sorts of emotions. Really great to see myself, Matt Ward, and Andy Hamilton here on the finish line at Talbot Road, having a great day. Yeah, well done, well done Matt, and well done to all of our finish line crew. We're having a great day. We're still smiling, we're still cracking a few jokes. We're having some fun, everybody on Talbot Road making this a very, very special finish line. We are, we're stood here in our pristine trainers, aren't we, Andy? Yeah, well, uh, you got a coffee stain on I got a coffee thing. stain on mine, first thing this morning. Yeah, Literally good. got them out of the box, spilt coffee on them. I'm going down a tennis court tomorrow in these. Yeah, Roland Garros. I think so. It's Wimbledon soon. SW19. Looking forward to that. Well done, Rob. Well done, Rob. Just stopping at watch. And, uh, yeah, but a big, a big thank you as well to our, our, our new title sponsor, yes, Adidas. Absolutely, they've uh, decked us all out an amazing kit. They put help us put on a great race. They've been really good with our publicity and loads of promotional stuff around this race. As we've said, we're now grown to the second largest marathon in the UK. Twenty-eight thousand runners and about twenty-four thousand finishers or thereabouts. It's been sensational. It's a day we've still got lots of runners yet to finish. So do stick around, cheer them all on. But as I said, a big thanks to our title partner, Adidas. We've also got, of course, the brilliant SIS providing our nutrition and hydration. They'll be looking after our athletes in the Athlete Village and out there on the course today. Of course, Erdinger Alcohol Fried, they are always our events and they look after us. So a big thanks to those. And of course, our brilliant media team, AWOL media team, who get all us all... I mean, I dread to think how many tens of thousands of pictures they're taking today. Probably, it'll probably be half a million plus. I was going to say hundreds of thousands. Yeah, hundreds, hundreds of thousands, thousands of pictures today. Yeah. And yeah. They'll, but they'll be emailed to you within a few days. So a really, Great. really amazing work by all of and our also partners also, we should well. uh, give a shout out to the uh, Human Race social media team as well. The content, yeah, the content team here at uh, Human Race. And of course, all the Human Race staff, everyone on the finish line, all the volunteers, the medical teams, the, the PA unicorns. system, all of that, the timing team, yeah. everyone doing a great job, pulling together, making a great day for all Absolute. these runners. So, Teamwork uh, makes the dream work. Well done, Nicola. Sure does. Well done, Nicola. She's like, oh, what's going on here? Oh, you can stop now, Ren. Whoa. Oh. Blimey. Anyway, that was uh, that was dicey, but there we are. All's well at Elms. Well, Charlotte and Dawn, well done to you two, running for um, the Wesham Running Club. Well done to Sarah Jane, looking good. And these two people look full of life. Leanne and Becky, loving your work, girls. Fantastic running. Still thousands of runners out there on the streets of Manchester, cracking on on the 26.2 miles that journeys in some of their most wonderful parts of this fair city in the northwest of England the friendliest city in the UK it really is 
If anyone's come up here via the weekend and they want to spend a bit more time here, I can highly recommend it. It's such good fun in Manchester. Everyone's down to earth, totally friendly, and also welcoming to all these runners from all over the world who are here this weekend to take part in this fantastic marathon. Ah, oh, well done. Perfectly rescued. You got all that way and then literally two metres out. A little tumble. A little tumble. Pride well comes done, before Rona. the fall. Well done, Rona. Loving the old snakeskin shorts there. They're beauties. They well are very well done, nice Sarah, indeed. running for the outside, Miss Swallow. Well there you go. Oh, there you go. Bit of cramp. Bit of cramp. Hammies, hammies. You, know, you can't beat a bit of cramp on a finish line, can you, No. Yeah, I mean, you can. The crab but... sniper. The crab sniper literally crossed that finish line. He's in that tree he's up in, there. He, he's on top of the building. Oak Cliff House. <laughs> it's <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> 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 exactly. Anyway. But, anyway, I think he's the all right. The grassy knoll. I think he's all right. The grassy knoll of Tolbert Road. The crab sniper. He's stretching it out anyway. Well done to him. Well done to Paul Leaney as well. Well done, Paige. Well done, Paul Leaney. And tidal wave. There was a tidal wave when he crossed that finish line. A wave of emotion from uh, that young man. Well done, Jamie, as well. You've done it. You've smashed it. You can stop the watch. You can get your medal. Oh, there's a bit of a sprint finish here from these two. Well done to John and to um, Williamson. And to Erin with a beautiful hairdo. You're looking good. Looking good. You've earned that medal today. Every single one of you, head down towards the... Athlete Village, you'll get your medal and your t-shirt and nobody will be able to take that away from you ever. And here comes the guy, I can't remember what he's, is it Sam Sarasoma? No, it's not, it's um, when he gets closer to Saroma, Saroma, isn't it? No, it's James anyway. Sarcoma, Sarcoma. It is James. Give him a round of applause, James running, raising money for Sarcoma. When we saw him at the start line. Yeah, it's the brain and soft tissue cancer charity. We said, how do you have a drink? And he's got water bottles luckily inside there. Well done, James. Well done, James. Congratulations. There you go. That is what it's all about. Bringing awareness to something that means something to you. Well done, Hannah. Let it out. Totally fine. Much allowed. When you've done 26.2 miles under your own steam, you're allowed to be a little bit emotional. And it's totally and, fine. And what you have to remember as well, Andy, is that sometimes somebody... There will be people running today in the number of someone as we know yeah, who exactly. is unable to exactly. take part because they're no longer with us yeah. so that's why you know the emotion is just must be incredible in that situation there we go there's one of our police officers hey, hey. Hi, hi. let's be having it now then now then now then now then now then well done sir are you well really done. a policeman he probably is as well he's a we better be careful Andy what we say to that yeah. man I'm still on duty you know <laughs> <laughs> does your head go all well, the way to you know, the top of that policeman helmet. is never off to me they uh, yeah, they have the uh, they're Matt, able to yeah, well done Max well done Emma one of the relay teams well done Leslie and well done, Susan. Leslie, Susan and to Maya congratulations well done well done gents and Nikki, good work Andy Lee well done well done to D. Congratulations, D. You've done well it. Well done, Bruce. You're and okay, she's a Bruce. Wolverhampton Wanderers fan as well. There you go. Yeah, Auntie Lynn. Well done, Al Greg. Running for Cancer Research. Auntie Lynn. Well done, buddy. Well done. Yeah, you can have a sh anyone can have a shout out. Run for charity. Shout out to free, Matt as they say. Basically, me. say whatever. <laughs> shout out to free. Yeah, exactly. Just like hugs. Just like hugs. Come and see us. We'll give you a shout out. Whatever it is you want to say. Keep it clean. Keep no, it clean. Yeah. Well done to June in a salt air uh, vest there. Congratulations, June. That was Sarah. Number on the back, but we'll go with it. Luckily, we got you, Sarah. Don't worry. And Violetta, well done. Violetta can it's stop like, now. That's a very nice. Thank you. Thank you. And Richard's there, just getting his shot there. Yes, mate. You've done it. Well done, Richard. Congratulations. Well done, and Fran, well done, Fran. 
Excellent well done, work. Smile now, Fran. It's all good. <laughs> Greg and Natulu, well done to you. And Alex as well. And Alison, running for the Tottenham Running Club. Alison, stop that watch. Stop that watch. How many watches you got on there? Got two, just in case. Eight. I got two of my legs there. They're for the <laughs> leg speed. One of my arms, so that's for arm speed. <laughs> well done, Anne. Congratulations. Hi, how are you? I didn't know this, this was on your agenda. Is there anybody you don't know, Andy, in this uh, 28,000 people? Well done to Steve and to Ryan. And uh, Kerry just crossing the line. Congratulations, Kerry. And another one from the 40 Runs Running Club. Well done, Joe. Well done, my friend. Nice work. And Beth, you've done it now. You can stop. And well done to John and Mark Goles and Dawn from Sinfin. And Emily running for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Well done, Emily. Here we go, Andy. Here comes a bunch, another couple of. Uh, here we go. Another paces. couple. Look, they're encouraging the runners across the line to 5:15. There you go. Wow. This is what we want. This is what we want indeed. Congratulations to Nina and to Carly and to Joe and to Julie and to Ellis. Team Marikiri well as well. Come on, Pacers. Let's let's have a look at your watches. Let's see the evidence, you Pacers. Yeah. Let's see we the all, evidence. We always Come look on. at the watches. Come on. There we go. Oh, look. Ready, Matt. 5.14.58. Whoa. I think, he's, I think we've got a winner. That Two is, seconds uh, out. I think that's today's well winner up to now, of course. We've that got is five, the closest, yeah. There's 5.13.6 to come, remember, in that pacing. So there you go. Well done, David. Just crossing the line. Well done, Liz well done Lizzie. Well done, Lizzie. Have a good cry. Totally allowed. Let it out. Let it go, as the lovely yeah, answer exactly. from Frozen once Well, said. we've had Olaf, haven't we? Just we have had Olaf, line. yeah. So, uh, well done to these runners as well. James, congratulations to you. And to Ellen and to Gaz Phillips. Good on you, buddy. I won't step back. And well done to Nick. Looking good, coming across the line. And uh, is this D Shorty? D Shorty. It's like an MC name. D Shorty. Go Shorty. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. birthday. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Twenty. Run, Louise run. Banana. Go on, run, Louise Banana. Yeah, we go. Together, together for together. dementia support. Well done. Well done. Come on, Mum. We got some more uh, banners over here. Who we got? We've got. Here we go. Uh, who we got? Go Eggle. Eggle. We got here. Eggle. Mum. Mum. Come on. Come over here, Mum. Come well on. Well Jacks. Very, very. Susan. Fast don't finish. give him a hug. Go on. There you go. Look at that. There's your press shot right there. You see. Oh, Look there that. is your press shot. That's what it's all about. Yes. Well done, Richie. Well done, buddy. Fantastic. There we go, GDRF, you got, of diabetes. You got a double bubble there. here. A couple of runners. <laughs> oh, hello, tag team. He's got a double bubble there for a photographer. He didn't have to walk anywhere. He's just stay there. It's all good. Ah, oh, brilliant stuff. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Both of those two, just so you know, the son has just finished, and obviously mum has just finished running for Alzheimer's Society. So, oh, there we go. beautiful story. What a great day. Beautiful what a great story well, for that well, family. Well done, you Absolutely As brilliant. As he said, raising massive amounts of money for these brilliant charities and genuinely changing people's lives yep. uh, with every single penny. Lots of charities now, nearly all of the money goes straight to d delivering care or help or support to those that charities that are set up. So a massive thank you to everybody that's run for a charity today. Well, well done there, fellow Houston Roadrunners. There we go, Carol, running for Alzheimer's. And as you know, Andy, as well, the great thing is as well, with the... Uh, with the, um, it'll, it'll come to me in a minute, but with the uh, the tax that you get back from the government as well, I can't remember what it's called. It's not just giving, it's called, uh, but, no, it is gift day, thank you very much. It's like that, well done to that man, gift it's day. It's been a long day. It's with gift day, 15% yeah. extra goes out oh. to the charities as well, so amazing, well done. Nikki, you're loving the wings there. You've He's flown happy, your way right, you to can't Manchester, finish like well now. Done. come on. There you go. <laughs> Brilliant work. Well done. Well done, pal. Take that tattoo out, did it? Whoa. Who is it? It's Jax. Well done, Jax. Good on you, buddy. Sorry, well done. Mate, you enjoy it, mate. It's all yours, this video. Well done, buddy. 
Excellent. That's what I, I like Rebecca. to see. Stories. Stories on the finish line in Manchester. That's what me and Andy come down yeah. for. Well done, Steve. Well done, we Joanne. Love a, we love a good story. We love a good story. So, um, where are we at? We're coming up to ten past four on a Sunday afternoon here on Talbot Road. Runners still flowing across the finish line. Lots and lots of runners out there. Remember, 28,000 people. Second biggest marathon in the UK. Second only, of course, to... We do doff our cap to the Great London Marathon, of course. Uh, but it's not a bad title, is it? Second in the no, UK only not, to man. The, man, the London Marathon. So, well done to all the team at the Human Race and everybody, of course, involved in the Manchester Marathon organisation for making it a wonderful day. Well done. Well done to all of our supporters as well on Talbot Road. This has been... Matt and I were just saying about 10 minutes ago about how we've never seen so many people still here at at four o'clock, quarter past four for today's race. So a big thank you to everyone that's supporting. Well done, Tamara. Well done, well done. Platy. Well done, Platy. Good uh, on you, mate. Kirsten's been there uh, talking to everyone on Zoom all the way around. Talking to your mum, that's very good, isn't it? I thought it was customer service for It's customer service, I know customer service. How can I direct your call? <laughs> I, I would help you, but I'm just on the way through a marathon <laughs> at the moment. She's uh, working from home. <laughs> Just popped out. Well done, Tracy there, Tracy and Chris. It is quite incredible, isn't it? Somebody pulls down the microphone off the head. I'm just talking to my mum. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, Fiona, coming across the line. Alzheimer's Society, along with Alex. Alex is in absolute agony. Fiona looks. <laughs> Fiona looks fresh as a daisy, and Alex is like, and oh, Fiona's wow. just laughing. Oh, just, just laughing. Cruel, really. cruel. I don't know. That is cruel. Cold, even. Oh. Jenks, oh, Jenks has had, a, Jenks oh, has had Jenks. better days, isn't he? But he's, he's, he's done it. He's finished. You know, we always say uh, another great charity there, running for Older Hay Children's Hospital. Gerard, well done, Gerard. He's happy. And Ian there. Oh, a bit of a shake of the head from Ian. Oh, cap comes off. Oh, Run, runs his hair through his silver locks. Contemplates. Contemplates. Well done, Catherine. Congratulations. And then others just nonchalantly jogger the line like Very Chanel well. and just stops the watch and goes, there you go, show yeah, me the yeah. wine. Yeah, done it. Done it. Well done, Em. Well done. Running for and Jasmine there. Jasmine as well. E. Jasmine running for Alzheimer's Society as well. Lovely work. Well done to Kev. Do you know I like about Kev? Smashes it. Smashes it. Do it. Smashes it. Manchester Rapper and done it. Completely, mate. Well done, Lucy. Well done, Lucy. Well done, John. Well done, Lucy. Well done, Fiona. Well done, John. That's what it's all about. There you go. Here she, here she is. Come on, come and see. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's allowed. That's allowed. Go. Oh, well done. Well done, Lee. Hugs are allowed. Well done, Rich. Well done, Owen. Another official legend here, Andy C. Oh, yeah. How many is this? All of them? Yes. You've done every one? There we go, you see? How many's done? All of them. Is that six? That's six then, that I think it is. Yeah. Five, five for the legend and then today's six. Good man. Well done to Go Dorney. Go Dorney. Go Dorney. Well done, Abby. Abby's like, woo! Yeah. Let me check my phone. I love that. Yes. <laughs> Little kiss there. Was, was it? We've even got supporters in the, in the buildings. Don't say that. We just talked about the... We talk, we talk the, about the, the cramp the cramp the sniper. sniper. There he is, right up there. He just said hello. <laughs> the guy, he's like, no. Paul and Paul Paula and Lucy. Lucy. Lucy Paula. 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 Lucy. We couldn't quite see the app. Paula and Lucy, well done. Well done to Are you Lucy. related? Mother, daughter, sisters, sisters. Sisters. Of course. What an Abby. What a <laughs> Rach. Well done to Rach. They'll raise the eyebrows there from Rach to see if she was like, you know, just done it. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Again, again, Andy, it was, I'm surprised you want to wink in your way. It wasn't a wink. God of those days. You, well done, Joe. You hunk you. Here we go. Ned Spencer there running for Dementia UK, rocking the wig. Well done, buddy. Well done, mate. Good on you, Ned. Well done, Emily as well, and Kevin. Running for the list club. Well done, Holly. Holly, just wave it to her fans. 
Oh, she's got the she's got the rock star glasses on. Might as well just wave to the fans. Go Gabby, go go Gabby, you super, you super. Well done, Laura. Well done, Mark. Jack, Hannah. Well done. Lots of runners now coming around the five-hour mark, I think. What have we got on the clocks, people? Well done, Plymouth Harriers. Well done, Nathan. Well done, buddy. Well done, Chrissy from the Stephen and Striders. Well done, Ian as well, also from the Striders. Salvi Bridge, Snails. You're not a snail today, Charlotte. Absolutely smashed it. Well done, Jody. Look at this. Sue. You're an absolute running legend. You can stop now, though. Officially done. Yeah, we are, yeah. We're normally up there, but we're not. We come now. We're keeping it real amongst the people. Well done, Dawn. Dawn's like, wow, whoo! Amy T Tanton. How was that? Brilliant, brilliant. And awesome. Best thing you've ever done. Amazing. Best thing you've ever done. Yeah, thought, thought that's what you said. Well done, Pouchley. Poochley. Pouchley. Well done, James, running for cancer research. Go on, mate. Well done, buddy. Keep moving. Well done, Abby. Great, great running. Well done, Colin. Well done, Helen. Well done, Paul. Big ass. Well done, big ass. He has smashed it. <laughs> what are you going to put on your name badge? I'm going to put big ass. That's what I am. I'm a big ass. What a chisel. Look at him. Legends. He is. A name like Chisel. He makes his mark, Chisel, doesn't he? Big Piz. Big, big ass. Piz. Chisel. They're all coming out. You snizzle with Dizzle Chisel? The Chisel. Sam, well done, David. David. Keep moving, David. keep moving, buddy. Nikki. Who's this? This man's happy. He is, isn't he? He's Ollie. Happy. Well done, Ollie. Well done, mate. Well done, chap. Look at these lads here. Oh, wow, well I done. like the way he tried to do You see that? He tried to do you on the line, didn't he? He tried to put one in, man. I saw one it. Of, uh, one well of the, uh, the Raptors, well relay, the runners. relay team. Well done to those guys. Hollier. Well done, Hollier. Well done, buddy. Sam, you're done. Run together. Awesome. Well done to Gavin Joyce. Good That's on you, buddy. Nice writing, isn't it, Rain Crew? Nice work. That's nice writing. Beautiful. Isn't it? Can't beat well done, um, Q-Ball. <laughs> Get me a pint. There's a pint of wonderful uh, doing it alcohol-free. Yeah, but it's just as good for this. And then you can celebrate properly later. Absolutely, that's, what you that's want. the way you want to do it. Trust me. Head on down, get yourself a pint of Smash a, a pint of that uh, in. Followed by a protein. It'll protein a little, yeah, a little protein bar from the SIS team. And then and you can you can then enjoy Manchester's hospitality. What you do, and then put on your new pair of Adidas trainers. Adidas trainers. And what else you got then? Um, a oh, beanie, yeah. the nice beanie, beanie hats. And then buy an AWOL adventure for photo. Absolutely. It's Finish off your day. <laughs> that's back, the way to do it. And you're back. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Andy. Running for Fowler's Syndrome UK. Well, well done, Laura. mate. Well done, buddy. Congratulations, Well done, Laura. Laura. Well done. Brilliant work. Well done. VJ as well. well. Done, Matt. And Matt. Smashing work from these people. There you go. Lace up DCH coaxing. Turn lace up, up turn well done, up. Sharon and Jane and David. You need to come with your own little theme tune. We're going to lace up. Oh, we're going to tune up. But what you have to do is remember, you that's have to like that, you turn up. up. You can't do it without turning up. Turn that's up. the thing. Most important. Well done, Louise. Oh, look at Sarah. Sarah's just struggling across that line. Or Orozco. Well done. Oh, look at Tor Torbjorn. Torbjorn. E that's emotional. Well done. That's emotional. Well done, buddy. Ow. Ow. I think that sums it up for most people today. 
Ow. Here we go. There's a there's a flotilla, a flotilla of beauties coming in here. We got Matt Millen and we got a gang of women across the road. And a man, a couple of men. Sorry, I only just spotted you guys there. Well done. They are all running. They're the Southport Trollers. Or oh, is it the Trollers? Yeah, well done. Talking of boats, did you know that they've started putting barcodes on the Finnish Navy? It's so they can Scandinavian. <laughs> what a Laura. What a Laura. What a joke. <laughs> I'm having that one. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's, joke. That's, another that's good my joke. joke of the day, that one. What on Sam. What on Buddy. What on Mate. What on Happy 73. Is it just the finished ones? What on Cheryl? Any, Norwegian any, 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 as well. Yeah, a place to all. Yeah. Yes, well done, Rebecca. Well done, Rebecca. Congratulations. An exaltation of joy. Ooh, big word for this yeah. time of the day, Andy. Teens unite for Steve. Look at that, Steve. Oh, well look at Steve. that. Well done, buddy. That is a man who knows how to fist pump. I tell you now. Well done, Frosty. Go on, Frosty. Oh, he's, he's thawed he's out cool. a bit. He's he cool. thaw. He thawed out a little bit. <laughs> well done, Frosty. Holly. Well done, Holly. Well done, look at that. She's just like, yeah, smashed it, done it. Oh, well done, here. Nothing to see. We're still waiting for a few runners. Here's Mick Hall here. Well done, Teddy. Mick Hall's just done 26 miles as well. Well done, mate. Ailing. Well done, Ailing. All right, you. Um, 2023, we're still looking for Louise, aren't we? Louise for Nana. We're still waiting for Louise for Nana. Well done to Bruce. Have we got any other signs on Talbot Road that we've not seen today? Yeah, there's one over here, actually, Andy. It's been um, filled. It's been, that, it needs to be unfilled. Look at the signs. What's, what does this sign say? I want to know what this sign says. It says, you, this. This one, I want to see what's on. What does it say? It says, you're amazing. This is real. Girl boss um, stuff. It says... Girl boss stuff. Girl boss stuff. Girl boss stuff. Ah, oh, look at this little photo, everybody. This is going to look go. good on the gallery. Little and there, coming across the line. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, you always get that, don't you? The arm always just, it tends to go, doesn't it? There's a couple of tears. She'll be all right. She'll be fine. Well done, Lana, running for the Raw Medical little bit of a phone. Hug. Well done. She's off again. Those hook boats are known for marathon running, aren't they? Well done, Mum. Ideal, then. Yeah. Ideal. Well done, Kerry. Well Hang done on. to Vincent Hang Yo. On. She's Congratulations, got my fans. friend. She's and got to Claire as well. From quick, Bourne. quick, get on the Insta. Get on the Insta. Rob from, the, from running for the Alzheimer's Society. Here we go. We've got Ryan Hibbert, Neuroblastoma. Well done, buddy. Don't nice. forget, hashtag Manchester Marathon. All your social media posts today. Anything. If you're on social media... Just go, take a picture of the finish line, stick it on social media, hashtag Manchester Marathon, get it trending, show everybody what everybody's missing out on with this race. Let's see if we can get it up to 35,000 runners. Yeah, exactly. That would be great, well wouldn't done, it? Buddy. That would be great. Andy's just going to go for a stretch. I'll keep it rolling for us here on the finish line, Talbot Road. 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. What a day it's been. I have had so much fun. I hope you have too. Hope you've made history for yourself, whether you're running a PB or not, or whether you're just getting round the course and completing your goal of finishing the Manchester Marathon. It's been a day of history for everybody, I think. And myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton have been hopefully keeping the vocal coming all day long and just making sure that you're informed and trying to keep a little bit of humour coming here as well, because that's what we do. We keep it nice and fun. Well done to the 5.30 pacer. Brilliant work. Five and a half hour pacers just come in. And here we go. And well done to this chap as well. It's one of our visually impaired runners as well. Well done to Paul and to Dwara. Well done to you, Paul. Well done, Dwara. Congratulations, Paul. Brilliant work. Well done, my friend. He does so many marathons, that man, you would not believe it. I see him all over the country, Paul. He's done loads. What a really inspirational man he is. Well done to him. Around about, uh, I'm guessing around about five hours or so. Just around about that. Oh, look at this. We got, uh, who we got? We got RJ, we got John. Absolutely rocking it out. We're getting a bit of twerking going on the finish line. From a man, admittedly. But um, he was looking good, I must admit. Well done, Emily Hogg as well. And well done to... Got, an, got another sign here, Matt. Go. Got Go Maisie Moo. 
We've got gay Mosey, Maisie Moo down there, look. Oh, yeah. Maisie Boo. Oh, look at that big, strong finish from this woman here. There you go. Well done to Danielle. Well done. You've just finished. And the Washington Running Club. I'm guessing that's not in America, is it? That's in the North East. No, that's in Lincoln, that right? Lincolnshire. No, it's North East, no, isn't it? North East, Washington. North yeah, East. Yeah, of course it is. Well done to Lisa. Congratulations. Oh, look, here we go. These are tears. These are tears. Amazing. Congratulations. Well done, Ben. Congratulations. Well done. Stop quick, that watch. Quick adjustment. And Mel and Beth. Well done to Mel and Beth. Well done, girls. Congratulations. We've got Tor here as well. Is overcome with emotion. Well done, Joppy. Joppy. Well done, Good gold, Joppy. Look at that. Got time to pick his little one up as well at yeah. the end of it. There we go. Here Look we at go. this man. Hey, here we go. Here's a sight for you, Andy. Take us through it. It's a, it's, it's, yes. If you're going to do it, own it. He's, he's more than owned it. That guy's owned the roads today. Well done, Jordan. Nice work, mate. Little uh, wave. And Eva, congratulations to you. And a big gang of people there coming in, running for the uh, Mind. Mind in Harrogate. Good old Harrogate. Brilliant work. Well done to you. Well done, Vinny. Hey, Vinny. Good on you, mate. Congratulations. Max as well, Maximilian, and Stephanie, latest finisher with Palm Gakal. Well done, Palm. Lovely work. And Agumbola, well done, my friend. <laughs> nice work, mate. Well done to Julie and to Nicola and Jerry Carey. Well done, Jerry. And Amy, not too far behind. Run for Peter's Hospice, run for St. Peter's Hospice. We've got Larissa and we've got Welshie, as well as Reese, Carr and Helen as well. Well done, guys. Look Going at this, matching, extra mile. matching running kits. Twinning it. <coughs> twinning it, look at it. Twinning it, those girls are twinning it. Actually, are well, they? I think they are twinning. They are twins, aren't they? They are twins. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Well, well done, of course. Leanne. Leanne hang on, oh, hang on though. Look hang on, well they've got one's gone white shoes, well, one's gone dark, uh, black shoes. They've got the phone on the same arm. <clears throat> apart from, look, the one's gone white, one's gone black trainers. Said that. That's how we tell them apart. Exactly. That by, the, depth. by the footwear. The like one's always on the left. Here we go. Ooh. Well done. Well done, Graham. And these three running in as well. We've got Gemma and Sam and Leah. Congratulations. Bit of Bruce Springsteen bringing us bang up to date. About 1982, I think. So. Baby, baby, I was born to run, though. Oh, it's a great Andy, too. You probably were born to run. You've got that look about you. You've got that look in your right. eye. Of the two of us, Matt, we know you're the runner. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a lover, not a runner. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Uh, well done, to Sharp. <coughs> What's on the flag there? On the flag there from Jezza. Yeah, what's Jezza? Oh, come on, what, what, what have you got? Any, what, what's, what's on, on the, the flag, Jezza? What's it say? It just says Jezza. Run, Je run, Jezza, run. Do you know, there's nothing like a bit of self-promotion. Self-promotion. As my son says to me all the time, back yourself, Dad. you just got to back yourself. <laughs> and the best Jezza way. definitely backed herself today, so there you go. Oh, 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 there we go. Well done to Sarah. Here we go, and here's one of our outriders just coming through. Well done to that man. Nonchalantly coming across the finish line. And there's a man there with many a gel, many a gel left. left. He didn't need them. I don't need them today. Overgelled it, overgelled it. We went saddle with runners. Now there's, there's, I love a man in a boiler suit. I do love a man in a boiler suit. I do. There it's, we like go. A, it's like an engine. Isn't it? He's got that. He's got that Fred Dibner look about him. I don't know if anyone remembers yeah, Fred, Fred Dibner. Yeah, I do. The steeple jack. He's steamrolling it. He is. He looks like train driver type. I think we're going with. I like it. Why not? Well done, Stotty. What well a mate. And to Rachel as well, running for the uh, <coughs> Cancer Research UK charity. 
Well done to Bev. I Bev. think I just spotted some stomp the pedal. Stomp the pedal kit there. Ruth Hassel stomp the pedal. Seen that. Tarsh will be happy. Keeping the brand on point. <coughs> well done the Rocky Run finisher there. And well done to Graham. Nice work. Oh, that chap oh. ready for the Barch charity. Ooh. So close, Jackie. So oh. close. Oh, the sniper had him. Sniper had him. That lad in the window. He had him. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there <laughs> pretending to be clapping. <laughs> Cramp the sniper up in the window. Who's this? Oh, look at that chap there. This, he's loving life, that man there. You are loving life. Oh, no, he is loving life, and he's happy. Definite basketball player, I reckon. He is. Got to be. There you go, Jamie. Jamie's a happy hammer. Well, he was until he uh, got round marathon. But well, well done, done Jamie. Congratulations. Joy. Well done. Is that Julie? How do we know it's Julie? Because everybody knows Julie. She's a legend. <laughs> absolute legend. She is an absolute legend. She's well finished done, the Marathon. Marathon. Well, well done, done Richard. Richard. And Chloe Baker and Carrie Ann. And you're running for? Chloe. Oh, that's your home club, which is Huntington. What, Chloe is? Cambridgeshire. Chloe. You live in? Okay. Oh, that's all right, then. You're allowed to. You can love it. Well done. Congratulations. I love that, that little bit of sass as well, that. Yeah. Woo! Do you know, I almost didn't know what to say to that, club, you know, but I live in Manchester, but I'm still a Cambridge girl at heart. You know, we almost don't know what to say. No, no, I was Ooh. caught. I was Pure sass. Caught. Pure sass. Well done, Eve. It's all about Eve today. So well done, in Manchester. Did you like that one? Just about got in there. Well done, yeah, Denise. Well done. Stop that watch. And to Rosie, here's a man with a top off as well. Do you know what? Do you know, ladies and gentlemen, something for everyone. Well done, Julian. And if I'd if I'd have worked if I'd been working out that well, I'd yeah, have exactly. my top off as well, Andy. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Looking good. Well done to Kareen as well. No, I'll never. You're right there. I'll never get that good, Mick. Unfortunately, those days are gone. Those days. Those days are gone. So it is coming up to half past four on a Sunday afternoon here in Manchester. At the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon. It's been a wonderful day's sport of running and achievement and accomplishment on the streets of Manchester. Hope you've enjoyed it too. Stood there on the sidelines watching. Well done, Dabrowski. Well done. Well done, Matt. Well done, Louise. Well done, Ari. Ari. Oh, look, here we go. Olivia says go, Sarah. Olivia says go, Sarah. Olivia says go, Sarah. Go, Sam. Well done to KP and to Jude. Well done to uh, Dale and to Sam. Well done, girls. Congratulations. Excellent work. And uh, Kirsty as well, and Joe. What a Kirsty, Joe. Sam and just, just mind out for the, uh, to the chair. Dale. There we just And Lynn running for Papyrus. Well done, Lynn. Congratulations. Lynn's in her own world, and why not? She She's just uh well done, Patrick. Well done, Joe. And Schaefer. Well done to you. And Donna as well. Hands up, hands in the air. Like you just don't care, Rebecca. Running for Parkinson's. Yeah, well done, Rebecca. Well done, Art. Loving your work. Loving your work. I think we should get a couple of uh, checks on, on watches, Andy, just to see what we're up to on some of these finishing times as well. See where yeah. where we are. Danny Smith. Congratulations, Danny. You've made it all the way into the finish line. And Purin as well. Oh, that's been a long day for Anna. And also another Parkinson's runner as well just try and get a time just to see how we're getting on yeah 541 for the five pardon. hours 41 for a lot of these runners here and some people are running quicker of course if they're in a, an earlier wave uh, sorry a later wave but um around about five and a half hours plus for lots of these runners here well done to lord dunn he's a lord are you, are lord you really lord? No, he... no he's just lord now he's lord dunn because he's finished yeah <laughs> you are a real lord are oh, you yeah. Lord really? Dunn. From Blackpool. Oh, wow. Well, 
<laughs> he knows how to save money. There you off, go. I got it off Etsy. He's a, there's a real lord. Knows I got how it to off save wish. money. I got it off Wish.com. He bought it on Woucher. This man here, he's loving life as he comes across the line. Look at that. Well done, mate. Well, the Lion good. Bolt. Yes. That's a great name, isn't it? Lion is. Bolt. National Autistic Society. Well done. Well done to Jade and Nick running for Cancer Research UK. Super work. And to Nicola as well and Stephanie. Nice one. Well done to those. Well done, Stephanie. There. Well done. Do you see what he said, that guy? He said he bought his Lord title off Woucher for 25 quid. Yeah, 25 quid, boom. Apparently it's real. So we got. Apparently it's real. Jim. Jim, over here. Jim, come and say hello to your friend. Over this way. It's look. life, Jim, but not as there you go. it. There you go. There's a song reference. I know. <laughs> Star Trek. It's like Star Trekking. There's Klingons the on the universe. starboard bow. There we go. I like a, there we go. I like a lady in a Welsh running top there. Rian. 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 Bolodar. Well done. Pnoundar, Andy. Pnoundar. What's it? What's up? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Pnoundar. Well done to Helen and Matthew and Elle as well. Well done, Elle. She's happy. Well done, Tony. Stopping that watch. Rock and roll, brother. Rock like and Steven, roll. He's like, yeah, I'm done now. Well, I'm, Stephen. I'm, yeah. not running a, I'm not running a single step more. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Well done, Pat. Pat's... Uh, well done, Pat. Scene stars. Well done, Mel. We can stop now, Mel. Scene stars, Pat was. Well done, Anna. Tears of joy. Whirling and Roadrunners. Well. And also for Nick... What on, what on dad? Oh, dad. Crusher. Crusher. We're, we're well not going to miss dad, are we? That's what we want. He's running for the Royal Trinity Hospice. Well done, Maisie mate. Moo. We've just seen a, a sign for you. Look, go Maisie Moo. Look at that. Your own cheer squad. Well done. I like I like a person who makes an effort with a banner. Oh, the Louise banner's gone. That means she must have finished, didn't she? Louise running for Nana. Yes, yeah, she just finished. Ah, oh, she did finish. Yeah, her. Her. Yeah. There you go. Congratulations to her. And to Donna as well. Looking good. Coming across that line. Well done to Danielle as well. Running for the Mind Charity. Beautiful work. Well done to you, Danielle. And to Dale. No, it's not. It's Alex. Do excuse me. Well done, Alex. Well done, Lucy. Well done, Alex. Oh, he's well had done, to Hannah. march it in. Andy's had to march it in with his little ones. Oh, well, well done, Andy. Andy. You okay? Alex's legs feeling, Andy. Crump. 100 that crump sniper, though. that crump sniper. We've seen him. Yeah, smiling. I love the way you just turned to your lad and said, well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'll... laughs> Reloading. <laughs> well done to Cheryl, running for the British Art Foundation. Marvellous work, absolutely brilliant. I think the police have just gone to investigate. I just think the police. So. I think so. Ah, oh, it's the woman. Ah, this is the knitter, crochet. The crochet, yeah. Crochet, excuse me, we are crochet. This is a crochet world record for the fastest ever Not marathon that stage. done whilst crocheting. Not that it finishes staged or anything, but. Yeah, yeah well done to her. Was it knit one pearl one? Knit one. one pearl, one crochet. So what is it we need to know about the crochet girl? We what we need, need to know to... is how long is the piece of crochet she's done. I think done. that's what she's trying to do. Well, everybody, everybody's on the finish line here. The Lou, who we can see here, is going for the world record of how long you could crochet a crochet chain, and she's going to measure it afterwards and see if she's done it or not. It's a I very think specific. It is a very it? specific um, record attempt. Because you could be fast, but not long. But what Lou deserves a lot of uh, achievement, a lot of uh, applause for, is the fact that she's actually run the marathon yeah. and also been crocheting, exactly. which, which is not an easy thing to do. No. Not an easy thing to do. That's a long. That's a lot of crochet going on right there. Wow, brilliant! Well done, Lou. Congratulations. What are you going to do tonight, Lou? A bit of crocheting, just to relax. 
<laughs> Just relax with a bit of crochet. What a Scott it. What a mate. What a clo clo. What well done. Who's ordered a delivery? Come on. Who's ordered? Who's ordered? Up, who's ordered delivery? I reckon, I reckon it's the cameraman. I think it's the cameraman. The cameraman's ordered the cameraman's delivery. Think he's, yeah, look, he's even stopped by him as well. <laughs> oh, it's the police. That was the police that ordered it. No. <laughs> uh, I think on a serious note, the police have asked him to depart the finish line. Minus the pizza. Minus the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> two snipers. <laughs> We've got two snipers. Oh my goodness me! There's no hope for the Krampus. No, no hope. For There's the... no hope for him, unfortunately. Oh dear. Very nice lampshade on there. Light shade. Look at it. It is. It's like um, a jelly. Um, like, like a blamange. A blamange. <laughs> like a blamange. Like Do you know what she's known as? She's got a the blamange. <laughs> she's known as the the blamange sniper. He's gone. He's anyway, going. Tracy, well done. Congratulations, you've got there. Well done, Tracy. Smashed Excellent it. Excellent work. Well, well done to Georgina as well. Oh, the tears are flowing, well done, Georgina. Yes. Well done. This is it. These are the moments. These are Some the moments. Some of these athletes have been out here for quite a while today. But undeterred, they're still smiling. They've kept putting one foot in front of the other. See, this and you've got to what... remember as well, Matt, that some of these runners are, they could have been injured, they could have had a particular time, but they're not going to stop, they weren't going to stop, they were going to come in as well. So we've got all sorts oh, of runners at... coming in now. What a Becky. And when we go home, Andy, this evening, when we get in our cars and drive home, our long drive home, these are the thoughts we're left with. These exactly. are the emotions I get left yeah. with, with people's stories and achievements. We always have the best conversations. Definitely. With, with the Definitely. crowd, with the with the athletes. And it's easier to do when you've not got 10,000 runners in 40 what, minutes. And what I love about the, let's say, the second half of the race, Andy, as well, is a lot of people self-deprecating. They know they don't they don't mind how long it takes no, them. They're just having a bit exactly. of fun. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's brilliant. Such it a really good day. Is. It is. It is. Well then, Georgina. Yeah, had 11,000 first time Manchester Marathon runners today. Probably more than half of those were first time marathon runners as well. So, welcome to Manchester. We oh. hope you've had a brilliant day. <laughs> well done. He was well happy done, to buddy. be here. He was happy to be here till about five minutes ago. Yeah. Well done, Jack. Ah, uh, her work is done, Andy, obviously. Yeah. The Blumon Sniper's work is done. These athletes are honed. No crumping here. Look at this. What an alley. Rocking it. Great the great Ormond, Ormond Street. That's what. Beautiful. She said, Thank you, Manchester. She's loved it. Great. Well stuff. done, you see. That is brilliant. Manchester has a way of leaving an indelible mark on your soul for many years to come, I think. I've just spotted Manchester. a flag down there, Andy. I think it's. Is it Devon or Cornwall, that flag down there? Like, give it a wave for the, if you're a, that green and white flag. I is think it the black Cornish. No, that is it's it. Devon. I think that's Devon, you know. It might be Devon. Might Cornwall be Devon. is black and yellow. Cornwall, yeah. And I think I'm just... What well on Jill, what well on Sally. I'm, I'm stabbing at it, but All I'm right. thinking was I might it? be Devon. Awful. Awfully good. What well on Vicky. What well on Vicky. Congratulations to you and to Jill and Jackie. Two friends there. Well done to you. You know, Matt, there, there, there's some people that have that look that says, if you come anywhere near me with that microphone, I'm going <laughs> to yeah, I'm gonna hide it. Many people say that to us on many occasions. Well done, well done Emma. Well done, buddy. Well done, Emma. Tears of joy. Running well for done. the Blythe Bridge Running Club. Well, well done, Leslie. Leslie. Smashed it. Well done. Ah, here come the... Uh, I thought the flags were in the road then, but they're not. They're still being waved down there at the side. Yeah. Who's that? That's it's Breezy. Sea Breezy. Let's oh. get it. Sea Breeze. E. Talking cocktails again, aren't we? We are talking cocktails. We are. Later. Later on, later on. Well done to this man. 33385. Congratulations. And the next man coming in is uh, looking pretty nonchalant as well. Crossing the line. Little wave there. I think he's got his poles or something in his hand, but anyway. Him and shoot running for the Christie as well. Well done to Livak. Congratulations, my friend. Dean Ascot, well done, buddy. Smashed it. Congratulations. Stropsley side striders. Well we done. Kate as well. Well done. Well done, Dean. Well done, Noala. And well done, Dawn. Dawn as well. Looking for a James, are we? 
Yeah, we we were looking for a James. What does he look like? Don't know. He's got a running number on him. Is he like six foot two, hundred and forty pounds? Put his mouth. Six foot two. Well, is it? <laughs> well then, to well, tack. Tack. Well, well, well done, Zach. Well done, Women and girls, action aid. Well done, Charlie. Charlie being filmed by John. John so filming Charlie. Sideways though. Fidelis from Ennis Killing. In ah. the beautiful Northern Ireland. Well done. Good to see you here. Congratulations. Yeah, Joe. Go, Joe. Hey, Joe. We're Go, here. Joe. Look. Look at that, Joe. It's all for you. Go and see. Go and see your friends over here. Your unicorn. Well, there we go. We've had Deliveroo, and yeah. now we've got uh, best in show. We've got <laughs> best in show, best ladies in and show. gentlemen. I Look wonder if they've done the whole marathon. These dogs, maybe not. This gentleman. What a jack. There you go. Did you get lost? Did you get lost, sir? I think so. <laughs> we'll let him, uh, we'll yeah, let him go through, through. I think. The Nord white Nordic cross. Oh, the no. island of Barra on the Outer Hebrides. Oh, is that right? Maybe it is. Whoa, well searched. Well searched there. Mick Hall, thank you very much. We've got the uh, Nick and Shiri from the uh, Matt Millen as well. Cats support. Well done, girls. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. Our double snipers are back, Andy. Oh, one from each side. One takes your left leg, one takes your right. Oh, dear. We'll see you later on if it actually well really done, happens. Well, Adam, Jordan, well done. There we go. Congratulations to Jay. Well done, my friend. What well on Jay. What well on Shannon. Good well on, on you, Mike. buddy. What well on James. And running for St. Luke's Hospice over there is Julia. Well done, Julia. Big smile. Ah, oh, bless you. Bless you. And running for the Heat and Harriers. Hey, well done, Joe. Congratulations, mate. Running for Heat and Harriers. Yeah, well done, buddy. Well done, charlatans Linda. now, is this a charlatans? I think well done, it is. Linda, yeah, it's the charlatans. Well done, look at that, running with your number in your hands. Well done, Caroline. Caroline. Who's Paul. this is coming over the line? Well Who done, we got? Tony. Who we got here? Well done, Lauren. Oh, we got, look at this. Elliot, we got Karen Elliot, from Donna, Ludlow. Karen, we've got Donna, Sharon, we've got Donna. Ewan, we've got Sharon. Hey, Elliot, guys, Donna, over Karen, here, you got you. Sharon. You got your fan club over here, come on. Well done to you lot from Ludlow. Well done, buddy. Well done, rocking the Chester, finish the top there. Well done, Pedro, my man. Well done, Pedro. Nikki from well done, Blythe and Maria as well. Well done to you two. And Tuffy. All right, Tuffy. Was yeah. that a Tuffy? Was that a Tuffy? Yeah, yeah. it certainly was. Thumbs well up. Well done, Jess. Well oh, done, Jess. Well done, Mum. Well done. Do you know what I love? I love a good family. Like, you know, kind of like kids and mums or dads. Heartwarming. Just yeah, it is heartwarming. Lovely. Little ones uh, reveling in their parents' achievements. I like that. Because it's normally the other way around, isn't it? Us parents reveling our, our child's achievements. But... It's good to see. Well done, Sheila. Congratulations to you. Sheila, and to Neil well done, and Mike Neil. as well. Brilliant job. And Jack and Matt from the Alzheimer's Society. Well done, boys. Well done, Steve. A little bit of rain in the air again, but we don't care. Just waving. Just Hi. <laughs> oh, but just wave. Just We love a wave. Just wave. I like a wave. I like a wave as well. Mile Shy Club. Two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. I think it makes your day. You know when somebody just waves. Sarah just did a clap. Loving it. Well, well Sarah. Sarah. Hi. Nice Hi. one. I like that everyone looks up there. We're like, hiya. Always. What well uh, a day. Get it on the social. Where'd you go? 5.39.28. Well done. Hold to finish. It's all, look at that. I mean, within 10 yards, it's already up. It's up on it's his uh, run keeper or whatever he was on right there. Yeah. Brilliant. We're still waiting what? for James. Yeah, still, still waiting. waiting for James. Give us a shout. You see him coming, it was a shout. I thought he disappeared for a minute, but 
Well, look at this chap he, on the right he here. Managed, he managed to go home and get his coat. <laughs> he did. Running for your bridge half And a Cudley, well done, Anna Cudley. And the chap there got his bag as well, so he'd done a bit of shopping on the way as well. Well done to Steve. Congratulations, Steve. He stayed hydrated, didn't you? All the way. And well to done, Amy. Amy. Oh, well done to these two. Sylvia and Michelle. Michelle and Sylvia. Well done, girls. Congratulations. What a lovely Sylvia. day out. Sylv. Did you have a nice day out in Manchester? That's the most important thing. Yeah. You did. That's what we all like to see. Well done, Jenny. And That's all Mille we need Mille to know. Mille. Here we go. Another little relay team as well. We got the boot, booty fit. The booty fit. It's yeah, got a booty these. fit. Yeah, I love that. We got a booty fit. Who now? We got a Bev here looking good as well. Oh, a lady in tears. Floods of tears. Floods of tears. And it is for our Ted. For, for our, our Ted, Ted well it is. Well done. Well done. Well done. Look at this. Make an entrance, they say. <laughs> they do. Make Look at Yeah. Entrance. And here she We're is. We're loving that. Running for pace. Look at that. That's, that's, the, that's the picture of the day, that. You'd have got, you'd have got the whole yeah. finish line on your own. I found my happy place. Oh, Susie. Well done, stole Susie. A couple of, stole a couple of cheeky places there with your sprint finish, didn't you? It's all that. Like it. Well done. Yes. Yes. Well, well done, Shaz. Chassis. Chassis. Who was this, Martha? An absolute vision. Well done. She vision. found her happy place. She said, if I, I found a ha my happy pace. Gulliver, do you like that? Play on words. Vision of beauty. That's what I like to see. Well done, ladies. All the ladies, we got who's well that? Kerry, Kerry well Cooper. Cooper. Kerry well Cooper. Done. Run then, run. Look at Sam as well. Sam looks like he's had a. He's been put through the ring of Sam has. Yes. But he's made it. He's got it. He's, it he's I always say it was a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Good on you, Toby and Anne as well. Run then, run. Jack, Jack Walker and, and Sweet Caroline. And, uh, hang on, it's Caroline. Yeah, exactly. Caroline. It's, it's asterisk, asterisk Caroline. Caroline, yes. Because she couldn't do that, apparently. We wouldn't let her do it. Oh, there you go, one of our paces. Well done to Katz and Roy's runner. Well done to our pacer. What I say is, Andy, they can't all have a fantastic day out. No, it's, no, exactly. it's called real life, right? Yeah. It's called real life, unfortunately. But uh, well done to all of our paces today. They've done an amazing job. Well done to Suzette Charlie. Well done, my friend. Nice work. And look at Tim. Tim in his Sail Arias vest. Well done. Oh, that's seen a bit of action, that has Tim. That has seen a few races in well his done, time. Claire. Well done, Claire. Coming across the finish line there. Who's that there? Is that Samuel Bell? You can ring my bell. Well done, Samuel. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, why not read that uh, out? Look at that. He's finished. He's absolutely mullered, that guy. He's not getting up. Somebody get him a pint. He's yeah. all right. I think he's okay. I think he's just... Uh, a pint of <laughs> alcohol free, <laughs> of course. Absolutely hurting at alcohol free. And what, what best to wash it down with? SIS protein yeah. bar. Run, yun, run your wee bitch. Okay, there we yeah. go. <laughs> I like the way I said that. <laughs> I, if you say it, Thomas Scott, that's is that James? Is that? Back. <laughs> Great. I'm sure you'll appreciate it. I'm yeah. sure it's, it's all in good. He can scroll back through the live feed and say that was yeah. for you. But Matt and I got sacked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah, thanks very much. But as long as he's had a good day. Well done, run well for done, Zoe. Zoe. There. Congratulations. Well done, Jade. Oh, you've done well done, Bout. What well a buddy. What well an Erin. Ah, there's a bunch of roses from that man over there. He's got a bunch of red roses, that man. Oh, could there something what else be corner. going on? We can't have two in one day, surely. You never know. Look at this man. He's just on the slide a little bit. Help him over the line, everyone. Yes. Oh, I think he might need a... It's okay, though, because it it's only ever right turns on this race. <laughs> Are you all right there, buddy? Are you okay, okay buddy? You sure? Yeah. Good, yeah. Hey, you sure? Like yeah, it. no worries. Thanks, mate. Very polite. Oh, look at this for a finish. Oh. Woo! I think he did need a bit of help, actually, our friend. He's yeah. Didn't yeah. look too good, to be honest. But there you man, go. He's, he's, in, the, he's, he's in the safe hands of St. John. So there you go. Yeah. 
it'll be all right, I'm sure. Well done to these two. We got to Taysa and Andrew. Well done to you two. Well done. Brilliant job. Congratulations. And campaign against living miserably. The calm. Well done, Jimmy. That is a great charity. Well done, my friend. And you are raising good funds for a wonderful charity. Well done, buddy. Well done. There you go. Coming across the line as well. Two people who are absolutely giving everything from the Wisdom Shore Club. We got Martin. Martin. And not too far behind, Maria. Well done, Maria. Ooh. I want to do a girl called Maria. <laughs> that, was, that was a hard day out, wasn't it? Well done. Well, well done. in that case, congratulations. Yeah, well congratulations, done. absolutely. Brilliant. And there you go, preventing breast cancer. That means so much well to Kirst. Well, yeah, done, well Kirst. done, Kirst. Yeah, well done, Kirst. Enjoy Kirst. your moment. You've absolutely deserved it. Well done. Hey, Kirst, just let it out. Let it out. Let it out, yeah. Let it out. Ingrid, running for cancer research as well. Well done, well done to you, well done Alice, well done Mum, Danielle. Ah, oh, Danielle from the Rhonda Valley. Yeah, yeah Rhonda Valley. Beautiful Rhonda Valley. It is beautiful. Well done to Craig. Well done Craig. Good on you my friend. Here's hey, another one of the booty fit girls. Ah uh, yes, Bev's done it all on her own. Well done well Bev. Bev. Just popped her phone out of her top like that. Get it on the social. Hashtag on Manchester social. Marathon. Well done, Catherine. Congratulations. And Griffiths as well. Well done, Miles. And Floss. Well done, Floss. I don't know. Well done, buddy. And well Andrew. done, Andrew. Ooh, he's had a hard day at the office for Andrew, I think. But well, well done to him. Oh, it'll be Getting a hard day at the, the office line. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well it. done to Lauren. Well done Darcy, Lauren, Ian, Dan, 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 Boston. Boston from Macmillan Cancer. Another sepsis feat. In memory of... Se was it memory of... Your granddad, well done. Enjoy your moment, you've done it. Go on, help this lady across the line as well. She's done it. Yes. Yes. Be careful on that, Lisa. <laughs> Woo! Those mats needed three jumps. They did it. Just in case. At the start, at the start of today, they would have looked like flats. By the end of the marathon, they look like ro roaring speed humps. <laughs> Designed to take you out. Alpine, 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 alpine rubber mats. Colder, colder timing mats. <laughs> well done to Harriet. And Joe. Well done. You can nice stop running now. You're done. It's all over. Well done. Fantastic. Well done, Abby. I'm I think, I think she just said, I'm really cancer. happy. We got Palmer and Katie running for pancreatic, uh, pancreatic cancer. Well done to them both. A lot of people running together. It's lovely to see a little bit of camaraderie, whether it's a family or whether it's a... Hang on, there's some champagne over there as well. Champagne! I say champagne. Oh, Very well, nice though. indeed. They know how to celebrate, those girls. I reckon this is going to get sprayed. Oh, it's, oh uh, no. I, don't, please don't get it on our medic over there. They've yeah. got champagne behind you there, mate. Unless, just unless it goes directly into his mouth. He'll be asking for, yeah, he'll be asking for a little swig. <laughs> wait, wait. After a long... Well Where done. Well done to you, Sirochi. Well done, my friend. Well done, Kev. MND Scotland. Well done. Great charity. Excellent. Well done, Lucy. The Kesgrave Cruisers. They'll play on there using K for cruisers. Good, good work. Kesgrave Cruises. Well done, Anna. Well done, Anna. British Heart Foundation. It's nice work. Good. Well done to you. We're still waiting for the uh, batch. Not too far away, hopefully. Well done, Alexis, Alexis Rose. Alexis Rose. He did. He rose to the occasion. He did rose did to he? the occasion. I tell you. The rose and fall of Alexis. Well done no, to Mo. No, Mo Julie. Julie. Well done. Julie you've Mo. You've officially reached halfway. Congratulations. Do you know what I love about Mo? Mo's, Mo's gone for it on the hat there with the uh, with the insulation tape. Well done. Beautiful work. I love a person who makes an effort. Well done, Hannah. Well done, Hannah. Well, they've all made Amazing. an effort. They've well all done. run 26 miles, so they've definitely made an effort. Well done to Hell's Bells. What a loss. Los. I reckon Smashed that's Lorraine. It. What a Feder Federara. Feder Federara. Oh, I like it. Federara. It's like, it's like Roger Federer, but, but better. better. Federer. Got the shoes out, we're ready to go. Well done, Sarah. You can stop now, Sarah. You can stop, you can stop now, stop. Sarah. You're, you're all done. Well done. done. 
Enjoy so it. Good. Let it out. It's all good. Congratulations. You're an absolute star and a hero. Well done. And Selena and Gareth, yes, well done to you both. Wow, that was a journey, no doubt. Mark, you're looking comfy, mate. You are looking good. Isn't he? Well done, buddy. <laughs> you still look it. That's what's pretzel, more important. Pretzel, pretzel. Matt pretzel, Miller, cancer well done support. To you. Well done. Running for the Macmillan Cancer Charity. Oh, well done to this person as well, coming across the line. That's what it means, everybody. Sarah. Well done, Sarah. Just let it out. Do you know what? That's what I say to people. Let it out. Let it go. That's what it's all it, about. If Frozen taught us nothing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well done to Rach as well, running for the well Brain Tumor Cancer Charity. It's emotional on this finish line, Andy. Blumenek. It really uh, Windrush. Is. Yeah, the Windrush uh, Triathlon Club. Yeah, well done. Brixton. Yep. And well done to Alicia as well and Emily. Amy, come on, Amy. you got a fan club here. Your fan club's Lisa here, Lisa and Amy. Brian. Well done, Lisa and Brian. Lisa looks fresh. Brian looks like he's had better days. Doesn't he? <laughs> just, just, are you okay? <laughs> just a little I mean, short. Yeah, just a little pound of short. I'm a little bit weary. Is this Amy? Well done, Amy. Yeah, well done, Amy. You can officially stop. Amy, stop. Amy, yes. Amy, stop. There we oh, go. Look over there. There you go. Go and see him. Go on. Go and see him. Go on. They haven't waited for three hours for you for nothing. Honestly, well done to David Stone. Loving the tights, says well, David. Uh, Mr. I'll, man. I love a man in tights. Love I must admit. Tight. Well done, Amber. Well done to you with your well friend there. And to Melanie running for the Christian. I love the way we said friend and she smiled. Oh. Well, you never know, Andy. There's a story there, isn't Andy, there? Andy, I always say friend because you never know. Yeah, exactly. You should never assume. Don't, you That's don't want to put I any say. pressure on. Is it my mum used to say? Well done, Kiori. Well done, McMillan's. Well done, and, uh, oh. Yuchi Dom. Well done to you. Congratulations, and well to done, Tom, Tom as well. Rocking the shades there, pal. Looking cool. Well done. Staying cool all day. There we go. Nice hug on the finish line. Two compatriots there, Bex and Vicky. Vicky. Well done. And Becky as well. Well done to you. Brilliant yeah, well done, work. Becky. Still looking on point, looking amazing. Well done, very yeah, fresh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, wait. How do they do it? And here we go. Our six-hour pacer. Give me a round of applause, everyone. Our pacer, yeah, well done, buddy. Well done, my friend. Six hours. His uh, his flag's a bit mangled, but never mind. I'm sure he'll sort it out when he's finished. Aero. Probably got a little bit of a uh, little bit of buffeting, I think, from the wind. Doctor T. Bit of bit of buffeting. Chawn Kamadi. That's what happened. Still waiting for the. Uh, Champagne finish, champagne soup and over. So it is coming up to, it's just gone, five o'clock actually on a Sunday afternoon here in Manchester. Hope you're all having a good time. Myself, Matt Ward and Andy Hamilton, we've been doing this since seven o'clock this morning, believe it or not. <laughs> and we'll still be going for another couple of hours. 12 hour shift, there you go. You wonder why my partner likes me going away. So when I get home, I don't say much, but it's, uh, no, it's been a great day. Had a fantastic time here in Manchester at the Manchester Marathon. Remember, any of you social media, hashtag the Manchester Marathon. Keep it clean, and we will try and share any of the good stuff that you share today. It's been a wonderful day in Manchester. Well done to uh, Owen. You've done well it, done. You've smashed it. Nice work. Ah, oh, look, hang there's a bunch of flowers here. Yeah. Oh, look, there you go. Oh, oh look at that. A bunch woo! of flowers as well. She's like, oh, oh David, look, have me. a look at them. Have a look oh, at them. my God. Beautiful as well. They are. They're, they're not plastic, are they? No, they're not. They're not plastic. Hang on, hang no, on. No. You, need, you need to take that Texaco sticker off the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's, that's lovely. There you go. Some flowers there for our friends. What a gents. What a lovely thing to do. What a lovely yes. man. Love that. Should never assume, Andy. No, you right. should never assume. Other Nicky. Other Nicky. And Carl nice 28. Why is it Carl 28? He's Carl 28, 28. Carl. No, because he's the 28th best Carl ever. Maybe, maybe it's like, you know, Lord Dunn. Maybe he's oh. been on to Woucher. On to Woucher. It's a one quid. Well, well, there was Carl 1. No, that had gone. Carl 2. Kept, he kept typing. <laughs> it's like your email address. He kept typing. Carl 28. I love that. I love that. Well done, young ones. You can stop now. You're officially done. Look at that. The relief on her face. Well done, Paige. Look at these three. 
like a, I don't know, Band of Brothers. Oh, oh cheeky. Oh, Who is that, Alex? It's so, it took the wind. He's buying the beers it? later, I think, after doing that it, to you, to you boys. Because somebody, just as he got to it, someone said, last one to the bar buys the round. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm not buying. Well done. Congratulations. I tell you what, if James takes any longer, it won't be his birthday anymore. <laughs> He'll be either side of midnight. He'll be all right. Yeah, he'll be fine. Be fine. Look at this saunter across the line. Devon. It is. There we go. Well done to is that Ketson Kieran. Well done, Kieran. Running for the Papyrus charity. Well done to you. Just keep moving, everybody. And well done, Abby. You can stop now. You can stop that watch. You've earned it. You've earned the medal of the uh, Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. Well done to these girls, well done to Liv, running for the Mind Charity, fantastic work, well done to you girls, brilliant. Well done Mark Gibbs, congratulations my friend. Crowd just thinning out a little bit here on Talbot Road, but they're still around, sticking around to see their friends, family, loved ones mates, whoever they are, coming across the finish line. We're going to be here for every single one of you, of course. This is uh, Velo Mello. Velo Mello. They call him Velo Mello. Oh, there's a bit more emotion starting to come across the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. Help her do it. Help her make it. It looks like there's been a bit of a painful last few miles, but she's going to make it all the way to the finish line. You've done it. That's it. You can stop now. You can stop. Well done. Ice cold M. Oh, well done. Brilliant. Undeterred. Oh, well, that it. was a tough, tough day out, but congratulations. Well, it's Timbo. Just cool. Hey. It's ice, ice cold. cold. Dem. Well done. Mustard tree. Mustard tree. Still waiting for the Devonians. Are the Devonians here yet? Where are they? Flags are still flying in the wind there. That's what I like to see. Support your county, Andy. Support your county. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a great Lanc Lancashire flag. It's good, isn't it? It's the red good. rose. Yeah. Mm, it is Lanc indeed. Lanc's flag. It is. You can stop now. Well done, Landy. Congratulations. Yeah. Good work. And somebody else is trotting a Suzanne, just trotting across the finish line. And Look at these two. Uh, the Manchester B types digging in, as well. Digging in all the way. Well done. You Ella, done Ella it. and Tamsin. Look at that. Absolute. An array of colours. Looking brilliant as well. Well done, ladies. You've absolutely smashed it. For your delectation, there are some medals for your delight down there. You can enjoy and those. This lady's just trotting across the line. Abby. Abby. That's it. Are we done? You can do a second <laughs> lap. You can do a second lap if you want. Am I done now? Is that can I go home now? You can. You can get uh, a medal first, so Abby. Go and get a it medal was the first. Royal win. Are we done? Yeah, yeah, we're done. Yeah. Had that said to me before. Ah, well done. This man running for child bereavement. Give him a round of applause. Well done, buddy. Well done, Mark. Well done, Mark. Oh. He's uh, he's going to find the nearest fence. That's what he's going to do. And he's going to own it for a couple of minutes till he decides that he's uh, back in the room and then he's going to head and get his medal. Here's another one of our ABF uh, soldier charity runners with a big backpack on his back, and he's done it. Give him an extra special round of applause. <laughs> oh, he's had enough of that. Coleman has had enough of that. What well a mate. How many pounds it's, are in that? It's when the volunteer goes to lift it and can't. That's <laughs> all right. What a buddy. Going? No, he's dropped his water as well. Got it with trousers and boots on as well. What well a pal. Well done to him. 36 pounds in the back of that. Oh. Fair play, that is incredible. 36 pounds on 26.2 miles. I couldn't have done there with and my And one of his friends here as well, just coming across the line. 
Well done, team, as well. Another one, one of our... The ABF charity for soldiers, for veterans, raising valuable funds. Well done, boys. Congratulations. And Darren Pedro running for the Dave Project. Well done to Chris running for the Derby Rimmer Foundation. I'm not doing that again. If the enemy's 26 miles away, <laughs> exactly. I'm not doing that again. Yeah. There you go. Another one. Another one. Matt's just come in as well. Oh, boys. Woo! 36 pounds. Well done, well done, gents. A collective 118 pounds of weight in the back of a backpack. They look like they know what they're doing, though, don't they? I think they know what they're doing. Well, nicely, well-built young men. They'll probably be back in uh, back in the barracks tomorrow. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> After maybe one or two sherbets this evening. I reckon they could do a few press-ups on the finish line oh, if we oh, asked oh, them. Yeah. What do you yeah. reckon, boys? <laughs> <laughs> you see? I got you, the look. You give us a look, challenge, there, they went, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> if I must. <laughs> yeah. Now, well done, boys. Congratulations. Well done, boys. Yeah, that, well is, uh, that is a well heck, heck of an achievement. Kieran and uh, what a buddy, what a mate, and the, uh, the compatriot there. Well done, Kieran, Kieran and Coleman. Well done. David running for the Sense Charity. Well done, David. Well done, well done chap. Good on you. <laughs> Do you know, I've just noticed, Andy. You know the champagne that was going to be. Um, the champagne is going to be sprayed. Is it getting drunk? Half of it is gone. Uh, I'll, mate, I'll, I'll just have one swig. And then I'll, I'll just have another swig. And then another swig. Uh, do you swig. know what? I, I'm in now. I might as well just finish it off. They'll probably get over the finish line. I'll just give them a bottle of water to their friend. Yeah. Well, by, the, by the time they arrive, they won't recognise them. <laughs> probably run straight past. I was seeing three of them. There we go. Anyway... Well done there to Li Zing and Yi Ting Xiao. It's close enough, sorry. Look at these two lifting up the knees. Knees up, knees, knees up. up. Come knees on. Up. Knees well up done, Brown. Little sprint there. Well done. Mind the ambulance. Well done, Michael. And well done to Claire as well. well. Claire. Congratulations. Done. Well done. And this man here on the left who's marching it out. That's what it's all about. It's about getting to the finish line. It's about completing it. It's about just about getting over the 26.2 mile distance and getting your medal for that. This girl's over the moon. Give her a round of applause. Look, well done to Lucy running for the Mind Charity. Lucy, <laughs> I think she's Lucy's. Happy. I think really Lucy's happy. happy. Well done, Lucy. I think she's happy. And well done to our friend there. It is Go Jets. Go Jets, you did it. Well, well done, matey. Mate. Awesome Good performance, audience. well done, buddy. Andrew and Rebecca as well, just finished. Congratulations. Oh. Looks like it could be another backpack coming here, Andy. Yeah, another, another, another one of the backpack boys. He's one got, of our squad. Is this one running for Alzheimer's, though? He's got that shuffle, hasn't he? He's got that, I'm late for a train. Let me through. I think, it, I'm not sure, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Is it He's Alzheimer's it? Charity, charity, well done. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> wow. Well done, mate. Let him drop it. You can drop that if you want, mate. We'll allow you to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way he's gone full. He's gone webbing and oh, webbing and Bergen. Oof. He's gone full back. Well done. The to other him. lad said, "I'm going to go rucksack," and he said, "Hold my beer." <laughs> and he's um, gone. He's gone webbing and Bergen, which is no mean feat. Well done to you, mate. Well done, buddy. Is that thirty-six pounds as well, or is it more? Oh, ridiculous amounts. More. Go on. How much? Whoa. How much? 60 pounds, give him a round of applause. 60 pounds. Holy moly. Mate, well done. You deserve a bit of a fist yeah. pump for that. Congratulations. Well done, Raising money for a great charity as well. Well done, mate. Well done, Vinny. What a good man. Well done, Tim. Well done to Zara. Well done, Zara. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, you can do a second lap if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just the one. Well done to Malk as well from Dumfries. Dumfries. Well done, Malk. Loving the shorts. Got the beach shorts out as well. 
got good pins on him, isn't he, as well? Yeah. Good set of pins. Oh, and look at those flats. They're proper flats. Oh. Well done to you, Mount. And well, well done to Jane as well. Very well done, even, even more well done. And to Ruth. And a double Jane. A Jane with a Y and a J-A-N-E. You can stop now. Yeah, you can. Stop. Oh, yes, you've you can. No, officially halfway. <laughs> Andy, do you know Andy? He's going to get a slap in the face in a minute. I, I think. I'm going to see how many times I can say it before somebody finally. Well done, Dan. Well Dan, done, the man. Dan. Congratulations, mate. All good. All it good. It is here. amazing, isn't it? Twenty-six point two miles, forty-two point two kilometres, and we have to tell them to stop running. It's because they love it. They can't get enough. Yeah. They it just want it to never end. Enough. Such a good atmosphere. Yeah. Something like that. Either that or they're so delirious they just don't know where they are. But anyway, there's a chap on the sidelines. Here we go. A man in a all the way, all the way. Oh, it's emotional. What a Nelly. Nelly. Well done, Nelly. Congratulations. And Nelly, let it out. You let it out, girl. Well done to oh, you. Look and at to this. this man here. Fastest pair of sandals yeah. in there. Yeah. Well done. Tiki Bar. Tiki Bar, yes. That man we doesn't love look him. like he doesn't look like he's done 26.2. He just looks like he's been around the block. Well done to him. Fantastic. Ali Ann as well. Great running. Well done, Ali Ann. And Cleveland. Well done, Cleveland. Well Good on you, buddy. Yeah. Smashed it. You've done nice it. Work. Manchester Marathon. Well done, Sarah. Well done, Ben. Still looking out for James, aren't we? Hey, are you, are you sure he's? Are you actually sure he's entered? He's he sure definitely, he's he definitely sure he's entered. Honestly, yeah. yeah, he's on the well, phone. He's, he's on the train so going home. Probably. He was so scared about you having a birthday party. He told you he was running the Manchester Marathon. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, he's on the train. I, I, yeah, I'm just passing just, Newcastle. Uh, just coming through. Well, well okay, Kaylee. Power walking away to the oh, refreshments. What a Mia B. Look at these two, loving Run life. Walk. Girls that Jeff. John. Run John walk. and Megan. Megan and John. Well done, you two. Congratulations. Is your dad. Ah, oh, well done. Well done. Who persuaded who to do the race? Who persuaded who to do the race? Who persuaded who? Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Well That's done. That's what it's all about. And both finished it now. And where's home, Enjoy, Berkeley? Is enjoy home? the celebrations. Oh. Pasadena. Wow. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, it's congratulations. Race, this. That's what it is. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Good day. Well done, mate. Great. Well congratulations. Done. Well done. Well done. Oh, we'll, go, we'll go fist pump something. Yeah. Well done. See you later. Have a good finish. Enjoy it. There is a father and daughter from Pasadena in the US of A. Yeah, US of A. They've been to Manchester and smashed it. They came back because uh, she didn't complete it last time. Yeah. So brilliant to see. Excellent. Well done to yes. Stevie T. Well done. Nice work, well done. And who's this from the Roadhogs in Leicester? One of your friends here, Andy. Yes. And well we got we well another another weapon, weapon. another yes. one, weapon of mass destruction. Destruction. <laughs> here we go, Brian. Roadhogs, a Leicester man. No, After Brian. my own heart, as a Leicester boy. What well on, Brian? What well on, mate? Go on the foxes. Go on the foxes, well. Yeah. You would say that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Lucky it wasn't only three. Anyway, well done oh, to Louise. Well done, well Louise. There we go, still looking for a victim. <laughs> there you go. Wow, look at these two. Well done. I'll see. I'll see. Well done to John from the uh, John the Beard on the Al Sam See, that, that's a brave winner. move. What do you want to put on your number? Winner. 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 Fantastic. What I like about this man is he doesn't give up. He doesn't stop. Doesn't give up, does he, he just keeps going. He just keeps going. Like a metronome. He, I was just going to say he's like a metronome, metronome isn't he? It's Kevin. Well done, Kevin. Yeah, take the second, Matt. That's our backup, Matt. You're all finished. Well done. He's from the Steel City. Steel oh, City. Sheffield. Hard as, Sheffield. That's hard as steel, is he? Hard as steel. Over there. They build them hard in Sheffield. Well done to Kevin. 
Congratulations. He's and without blemish. He's stainless. He is. <laughs> oh. Well done, Neil, mate. Well done, buddy. Ah, oh, look at that. Finish line all to yourself. Fantastic. Latest finisher, and that is... Hard job. Well done to you. Nice. Oh, there we go. Finishing to a bit of dual lipper. It's going to look good on a social, isn't it? There we go. Who's that? We've got Bernie and we've got Yasmin Rose. Oh, Yasmin Rose, loving the effort you've made. You look beautiful. And well done to Mark as well. What Congratulations, Mark. Yeah, mate. what up, buddy? Hello. How are you doing? Who are you waiting for? Not waiting for anyone. Just here. You're just here. Just here watching oh, the race. That's what we love. That's what we like to see. Well done, Sophie. Well done. Look at that cap back, keeping it cool. Yeah. Got a rucksack, got a cat lunch, cat got a parachute. Flip that cat, well done to Moisha, well done as well. Look at that, a little, the, the swallow, the swallow finish. The swallow, Cal well done, Callis. From Callis. Stephen and Sam, look at that. Oh, Stephen and Sam, Sam and Stephen. Coordinated t-shirts, of course. And they're not too far behind, we've got a couple of friends. Oh, look, there you go, let it out. Well done, Alison. Just let it out. Well done to you, absolutely brilliant. Congratulations, you've made it back to the finish line. Well done, Becca. And running for can pancreatic cancer, we've got Kate as well. Yeah, well done, team. Awesome performance today. Peter, nonchalantly walking across the line. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. Make sure you grab your medal and your wonderful Pete Obsolete inspired t shirt there down at the uh, Athlete Village. Congratulations on finishing the. Uh, Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. It's been a great day for all of these runners and all of you wonderful audience and supporters. You've been wonderful. We are so, so grateful. It's been another big day for Manchester and it could get even bigger next year because remember on Tuesday, if you're inspired, you can get online via the manchestermarathon.co.uk website and you too could be here next year. Just register your interest and we'll let you know when entries go live. So that's all you have to do. And of course, if you're doing any social media today, make sure you hashtag it with Manchester Marathon. Simple as that. We'll pick it up. Well done, Julie. Yeah, Congratulations. Well, well done to Jude as well. And Dorothy from Utoxeter. Well done, Dorothy. You can now stop. Congratulations. And from Swinton, RC, just down the road. And as if by magic, TDT says. It's Banksy. It is Banksy. Is it the Banksy? You never. Ah, oh, you see, keeping us guessing. You never know. Just off to do a bit of a graffiti, a bit of mural, a bit of a mural on the road, on the wall around the corner. Little rat at the bottom, and you'll know who it was then. Here you go. Is this James? Run your wee. Boop. Well done, James. He's well done it. Ah, oh, congratulations. Running for cancer research as well. These people have been here waiting for you for ages. Yeah, waiting for you all day. Is it birthday? It's your birthday. It is. How old? Yeah. 47. 47. Oh, did you know that, Andy? <laughs> well done. Give him a round of applause. His birthday. Yeah, well he's buddy. just done a well marathon. Done, well and done. he's running for Cancer Research as well. One of our charity partners here in Manchester Marathon. And Amanda as well. Amanda just coming across the line with her friends and family. Her first marathon. Brilliant and they, and work. They brought, and they brought Doggo as well. That's and they we brought want. Doggo as well, exactly. We love it. James Dunn. Well done, my friend, James. Good on you. Congratulations, matey. You've got there. And you, got set, you made it to the finish line. Well done, Kate, running for the SAS charity. We saw you at the start line. Congratulations. Well done to you. Congratulations, you've made it back to the finish line. Well done, excellent. Why don't you go and get your medal? If you keep going down there, you'll get a medal. Congratulations, well done, Kate. Well done, Kate. Well, I don't see you before, Super I think. Come on. Yeah, we saw it at the start yes. line. That's yeah, quite brilliant. a few times. Another good day for you. Smashed it. Brilliant, well done. We'll go and get another well earned medal. Well done, Michelle and Neat. Well done.
Well done now. Still making loads of noise here on Tolbert Road. Well done, Richard. Brilliant. Well done, you've done it. 26.2 miles, 42 kilometers. Well done, Sharon. All under your own steam. Nobody can take it away now. You are a hero, inspira an inspiration, and inspiring a generation. Good finish here from this man as well. Well done, well done Phil. Paul. Oh, it's Paul. Sorry, I said Phil. It starts with a P. Well done, my friend. Well done, mate. That's well done, it. 26 miles in the bag, and a medal for you for the Manchester Marathon 2023. Well done to, uh, you can stop now, you can stop now. Well done, Big. Big. Nice work, Big. They just want to keep Oh, this is a man who's happy. In his skin, he's happy. He's so chuffed to be back in Manchester. And, and, he's, in and he's got the finish line to all, yeah. all to himself. All to himself. Rocking his, he's rocking his T-shirt as well already. Oh, look, let it out. And there's another person emotional on the finish line. Samuel, well congratulations, friend. Well done, my well done, friend. Buddy. Well done, mate. See, that's what it means. Some people, everyone's got a story. That's what I say. Everybody's got a story. Why they're here. Yeah. So, congratulations, Samuel. Latest finisher. He was pleased to be here. By the looks of it. Latest finisher. It's a great song, now, actually. Isn't it? It's a great. very good song. Classic. Good for uh, inspiring runners. It's like a hairbrush mirror classic, <laughs> isn't do you, it? Do you often get that, the hairbrush in the mirror? I do, I do regularly get the hairbrush. Do you, Tina now. Turner? Yeah. Does Emma demand it? Emma, Emma uh, can you pass me the hairbrush? <laughs> That's what she said. Well done to uh, Katrina Mark. Well, well done to you too. Yeah. Oh, 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 whoa. Sniper, sniper got you. Yeah, look. <laughs> He's giggling. He's giggling. He is. Around. He is. He's the sniper got him. <laughs> oh, look know. at this, the colourful outfit. Nick, of Nick and well Martin done, Nick. from the Red Rose Club. Well done, Nick. Well done, Martin. Well done, mate. There we go. Another runner here from uh, running for the Alzheimer's Society. There you go. Well done. Is it Jack? I think it is. Well done, Jack. Good on you, buddy. Oh, this fella's just. Oh, again, he's just been. He got hard as well, Andy. Just about got hard. Flesh wound. He's checking, he's, he's going to follow the blood trail. <laughs> Zoe's place, baby hospice. Well done, John. Well done, you two. Here we go, we've got Don and John. Well done to you. And Sam, Sam I think that is yeah, crossing that the line. Well done, Sam. You can stop that watch now. Looking forward to your medal and your finishes t shirt. Well, well done, boys. Gentlemen. Well done. Don and John. Well done. Making it a family finish. This guy is flying. Wow, good spot. Who's this guy here? Well done, my friend. Some call him Greg, we call him Rocky. Absolutely. Awesome performance. If I had a set of steps, you can just see him, can't you? You can't. Straight up him. Gliding up them. Well done, Greg. Brilliant. That's on the finish side. Congratulations to this finisher. Arms in the air. That's what it's all about. Well done. Here comes Norm. It's Maureen. They're one of the calm lads and lasses. Another great charity. Well done. Well done, Norm. Raising good funds for a brilliant charity. Well done, my friend. You know what they say, don't be the norm, but I want to be that norm. Yeah, exactly. He's a ledge. And we got Lynx here. Well done, Lynx.
Well done. Into the finish line, over that finish line. And ready for your medal, well done. To Linda, well done Linda. Good strong finish on this run as well, well done to you. Coming into the finish line, that's it. Oh, it's emotional as well, look. Fantastic, well done to Abby. Abby Lobb, well done Abby. Abby, your friends are here, look, look, friends are here. Don't see him over the fence there, give him a little hug. Right then, who have we got coming across the line here? We've got uh, Shishi and we've got Sam. Well done to you two. Latest finishers, congratulations. Into the finish line as well for Kevin. Well done Kevin, running for the British Heart Foundation. Well done my friend, congratulations. Oh, this chap looks like he needs a hand across the line, ladies and gentlemen. Go on. Keep going, buddy. All the way to the finish line. Well done, mate. All the way. There in. you go. He's at one of the 40 runs, I think. There is he. Yeah, another one. Yeah, he's going to make it, though. Oh. Oh, it's for Tom. Sorry, he's running for Tom for the Alzheimer's Society. So, well yeah, done, brilliant. Mate. Well done, Good mate. on you. And it is DJH. Well done, friend. Congratulations. Well done, for your mum, mate. Well done. well done, buddy. Well done, mate. Congratulations. And another one running for the Tommy's charity, another yeah, brilliant well done, charity. Helen. Well Helen. Done, Helen. And here we go, 40 oh. runs, girls. We've got Ali and Abby. Abby and Ali. Resplendent in oh. beautiful colours. Well done, it's girls. Got to that point of the day, Matt. Man. Oh, getting emotional. Oh, I exactly. Think. Yeah. Lump in the throat, Andy. Yeah, lump in the well throat. Well done, Michael. Then, think, Congratulations. Michael, yeah. yeah, well done. And just. these two have just about made it across the line, and they also deserve a big round of applause. Well done, boys. Congratulations. Looks like a hard well, day out, but Jafar, uh, well done. Jafar and M. Asprey. It is Masprey, yeah. Uh, Ma Masprey. Masprey, yeah. My favourite fruit. <laughs> That's a beautiful sight. Oh, look at that. Proud of mummy. Well, oh, well, yeah, done. well done. All in it together. You are. We're, we're all, we're in, all it together, in it together. Every single one of us. Congratulations. Well done. Brilliant. That's what well we done. like to well see. Done. There you go. And Paula as well. Just finishing. Well done, Paula. Another one, <laughs> another one of the Julie, Julie Hodgkiss yeah. crew. Well yeah, done, Declan. Declan. Well done, mate. Hey, well Declan, done. you can stop now. That's it. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. Who we got here? We've got... Tennessee. Tennessee. Like Tennessee whiskey, as the song once said. Well Smooth done. like Tennessee whiskey. It's Darren. Oh, there's a bit of a stiff knee going Not on here, that. but she's going to get to the finish line by hook or by, by crook. crook yeah. MNDA charity benefiting an asthma yeah, lung Moses UK. Hero, well, done, well done, you two. And Callum. Oh, well done, you can Aston. genuinely, genuinely ease off now. Honestly, ease off. What a melt. What a melt. You are all done. No, all done. Oh, don't worry, man. Did you, did you get that's just the backup, Matt? You're absolutely oh. fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you as go. The, as Monty Python once said, clucking bell. Yeah. As, how's that champagne going? Yeah, uh, it's gone. <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> that, oh. oh, it's kind of still there. Your cheeks are a little bit more rosy than they were. <laughs> when I first saw it, I thought it was worth clink. I thought, oh, I'm gone. That's, uh, that's going for it. I'd have definitely started drinking it, I think. I would as well. Well done, Colin. Well Good done, on you, Colin. my friend. Yeah, you're back in town here in Manchester. Yeah, Alzheimer's. And so's Heidi D. Stop your watch. Hey, well, there you go. Everyone needs a friend who tells you to stop your watch. Oh, there yes. you go. Well done, guys. Congratulations. 
Looks like he's helped his uh, partner, maybe, or wife, or even friend uh, around the race route. Yes, exactly. I was just being... I didn't want to surmise anything. It'll always get you in trouble, can't it? Well done to them both. And uh, the old the old Salby Bridge Running yeah. Club up there. What a Caroline. In, uh, all done in the whole area. That's where that club's from. And Sarcoma UK, this is... Charlie, well then Charlie. Did he not let you take a photo either? He won't let... <laughs> Brilliant. Well, anyway, he's got to the finish line, that's the most important thing. Well done to him. His first marathon, and uh, it also looks like it. Hopefully, it won't be the first of many. You never know. Done it for his granddad. Is this Mark? Is this Mark coming in now? Hey, well done, Mark. Mark doing it in his, for his friend John. Is that right? Well done, Mark. Look, all your, all your lovely family are here waiting for you. Look, there you go. Well done, Mark. That's what you need. You need friends like Mark. Well done, Dave. Well done, Wendy. Amazing. <laughs> Look oh. at that. Gonna get Ow. some dog fuss. That's what we want. Nothing better than a dog, <laughs> doggy cuddle. That is one excited dog. I can, oh, I can say <laughs> well done. Well done to Karen and to Jeanette as well from the Dunstable Roadrunners. Well done to you two. And oh, here no. comes a proud, I'm going to surmise a proud mother. Is that right? With her. Littlands coming across the line, running for British Heart Foundation. Brilliant. Well done to you. Yeah, well that is, done. Uh, that's Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, you can stop now. You can stop now. You can stop now. <laughs> well done. Well, well done, Rebecca. Done. Well done, boys, as well. Keep going well down kids. there and get yourself a medal. Well done. Dad's coming. Dad's going. Oh, Dad's coming. Route. There you go. There you go. He also jumped the barrier. And well done to these Plymouth Harriers as well. Well yeah. done, girls. We've got Jen, Amy, and M. Yes. Well done to you. Who are you waiting for? Who's this? What up, Connor. Connor? Come on, Connor. Oh, he's got his little flag as well. Well done, Connor. And ahead well, of Connor. Well, well done, Debbie. Well done, Debbie. Well done, Brilliant Debbie. job. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic for well the booty Debbie. bit. Well done, Connor. Connor, look, come over here. <clears throat> you can't walk straight past them. They've been waiting here for you. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a cramp. He's, he's had him. To be honest, he had 26 miles to get away from him. <laughs> they still turn up. He said, I got yeah, well cramp. he said, I got a cramp in the last 100 meters. You know why that is, don't you? <laughs> Sniper. He's had it again. <laughs> Just thought you'd share that with the family. There you go. Well done. Hey, Connor, well done. Well done. Bonnie Tyler. Well done to Pat Sam and Kerry. Hey, well done, you two. Congratulations. Pat Sam's Grand Slam. Speak easy. Yeah. Speak easy. Anybody give me anybody who's seen what, see that? Oh, well done to this runner as well. She looks like she needs a little help to the line, ladies and gentlemen. Go on all the way. Uh, we're going to get some power, power giving high fives. Oh, that's it. What a Jones. Oh, oh, there's a bit of cramp going on. There's a bit of cramp going on. If you need to, there's a little chair there if you need to. Yeah, there you go. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Rocket Mantum. Rocket. In leather brogues. What made oh, you well. run in leather brogues? Why not? What? Oh, there we go, you see? <laughs> that's well, a great story. That's, oh, that's, that's great. Who's it? The Rockport, Rockport. is it? <laughs> yeah, the Rockport. There you go, sponsored by Rockport. Please run in our brogues, a uh, London Marathon. Okay, I'll do it. I wouldn't do it in my churches. Whoa. Yeah. Ah. 
holding out for a hero. Aren't I'm always holding out for a hero. On this finish line, we're always holding out for a hero. We don't need to hold out long, there's plenty of them. No, it's going to be one in a minute. He's just making sure he's got wide angle on. He's going for a, pa- he's going for a panoramic. I he's going to he finish backwards. Fastest backwards finish of the day. Look at that. This guy, <laughs> this guy, they call him yeah. Social Social Sam, they call they him. They call him Social Sam, yeah. There he is, coming across the line. Insta Ian. And Twitter, no, I won't say that one. <laughs> it looked like he was, uh, I am the resurrection. I want to be adored by the Stone Roses. He though. was. Anyway, well done, matey. You've done it. You've crossed the line. Congratulations. Andy. What an Andy, Andy Hitch. You've done it. Really well job. Well done, Andy. Pleasure. Great stuff. That's another lovely finish line shot there as well. Hey, if you've got the finish line to yourself, you might as well enjoy it. Hey. Can we all wave? Go on, everyone wave behind you. Go on, go on everyone wave. He's not going to do it now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah look, hey, look, there's loads of us here on the finish line. <laughs> she covered, him up, covered us up with her hair. <laughs> She's like, I'm not getting any of them in. <laughs> Run for British Heart you. Foundation as well. How well done. You. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. He's a man on a mission, if ever I saw one. Rocking the headbands. Adidas headbands are and available, the just saying. He's gone wristband down, headband. He's gone for the combo. Two wristbands, uh, two wristbands one arm. Serious. Well done to him. And every single one of these people got, oh, there's some real, absolute, look at that, there's some pain coming across the finish line for this chap. Oh, look, oh, no. Well done as well to uh, Eddie and to Jen and... Sarah, well yes, done, Sarah, Sarah, running for Matt Mellencamp's charity. Congratulations. Well done to another Plymouth Harry coming across the line. Well done to you. Latest finisher in the Manchester Marathon. This is Lisa. Well done, Lisa. Keep going down there and you'll collect your medal and your finisher's T-shirt and, of course, your SIS goodies and Erdinger alcohol fry, if that's what you fancy as well. Why not? Have a tipple. Big thanks to all of our partners and sponsors here at the Adidas Manchester Marathon 2023. It's been a great day. Thanks to all of the volunteers out there on the route doing a great job. Thanks to the people from the Manchester City Council working on the roadways and making sure everyone stays safe along with the people from Trafford Council here where we are based for the race. And of course to the Manchester, Greater Manchester Police as well for keeping us all safe and hopefully uh, doing things in a friendly way as they always do here. And of course our team at AWOL Media taking photos all day long, AWOL Adventure. Photos will be on the gallery in the next day or two. So make sure you keep an eye out for them and keeping the content coming. Uh, the content team at Human Races and, of course, all of the people out on the course, the live stream, everything. It's been a brilliant day. It has been a brilliant day. And here comes another runner to make it even more brilliant. Coming across the line, running for the World Wildlife Fund, I think, as well, which is what it's all about, raising money. Well done, Chantalia. Yeah. Well done. Yes. You've done it. Smashed it. Dai, you, know, you look good. Enjoy it. Get your medal. Enjoy it. And not far behind, it is Kate running for Kate. the British Heart Foundation. Yeah, Jeff, yeah. Brilliant well effort, well done to you. And 37, 250 is Sarah. Well done, Sarah. Congratulations. Coming up to quarter to six on a Sunday afternoon here in Manchester on Talbot Road in the borough of Trafford, part of this lovely city with the skyline there just at the end of the road. And of course, runners still coming into the finish line. It's been a wonderful day. We've been at it for ooh, well, coming up 12 hours, I would have thought, now with all of the organisation. But we're here well till the finish. And this well done, is Holly. Holly. Holly, you can stop now, Holly. You can stop. Holly. Holly, Holly you can stop. You can, you can stop. stop. You can You're stop. done. Stop. That's it. Maybe she doesn't want to, Andy. We should not stop people who don't no, want to stop. Exactly. Maybe. Enjoying it too much. Value for money and all of that. Well done to Holly.
Oh, the champagne's oh, oh. getting ready. Either she's, either she's dehydrated from a little run, or she, she's just seen the person she's here to support. There's a person here to support. Is this, coming, this person here? Is it this next here? person? Oh, okay. Right, right I never give, give up. up. Yeah, what a great slogan on a t-shirt. Well done, Chris. Chris, Chris well, has got you, Chris, you've got your fan over there as well. Just come in there. That's your mum. There you go. Well. Hey, everybody needs a mum as a fan. Come on, let's be honest. Yeah, look, she wants to give you a big hug. Look, there you go. Go see her. That's it's what it's all about. Well, Colour coordinated their tops as well. That's it. Hey, well done too. Oh, look, who's this? He's got our a bunch running, of flowers as well. Our, our running nun. But also, well done to Karen. you got a bunch of flowers as well. Tulips. Ooh, oh, beautiful well flowers. Well done to you. And who's that? That's Jeannie G, raising money for 10 of us UK as well. well and our running nun. Bertie. Well, well done, Bertie. Bertie. Well done, mate. How are you, Bertie? Here comes the champagne, look is. at that. Whoa, look at that. It's hardly Formula One, but it's not bad. Well done. <laughs> she was really hoping you, you should have finished that champagne by the time you arrived. He was hoping he can have a drink of it as well. Well done to that man. Well done, buddy. No, you're oh, all good, thanks. Oh, we're on duty. To be honest, I've seen how many, many people have been swinging out of that <laughs> bottle. <laughs> Well done. We didn't even get your name. Go on, let's see. If, let's zip, zip, zip down your top there. Let's see yeah. who you are. You are Dan, Dan Skinner. Skinner. Well good old Dan, Dan Skinner. Skinner. Well done, Dan. The one They've been only. waiting a long time for you, yeah, and it's well good done. to see you. Well done, Dan. Congratulations, and welcome back to Manchester. Well, welcome back to Talbot Road, should I say, in Manchester, of course. For the Manchester Marathon, get your medal and your lovely T-shirt, inspired by Pete Obsolete. Is this Minnie or Winnie? Winnie, well done. Oh, Look at that. Kiss it or oh, blowing kisses to the crowd. The best thing is on your finish the line photo, it'll look like you won it. Exactly. You <laughs> will. Well done, Minnie. Running for the brain tumor cancer well charity done, Minnie. as you well. Can stop now. All done. Well done. Yes. Going further for cancer. That's what it's all about. Congratulations to Minnie. Here we go into the finish line. A couple of people helping themselves. Yeah, yeah that's got? what it's all about. Everyone needs a helping hand sometimes across the finish line. Well done, girls. We've got. Well, uh, uh, is it Sika? Sika. CCA. CCA and, and Lindsay. Lindsay. Well done. And not too far behind CCA and Lindsay, we've got Debbie and we've got me. Well, well done, Meg. Well done, Deborah. Yeah, Deborah. Well done, well Deborah. Deborah. Got that watch stopped. And not too far, but yeah, this is yes. what it's all about. Well done to Tara, I think that is, isn't it? Yes. It is. Well it done, is. Tara. And to Phil, or is it Paul again? There Paul you go, again. Paul. Well done. Well, it's not Paul, Paul again. He's not been around twice. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he has. He could well have been. Anyway, running with the for the Calm charity as well. Great to see. So we're now coming up to not well ten to six on a Sunday afternoon. Not sure. Here we are coming into the finish area here on 
Talbot Road. Just our last few finishes now. Yeah. Yeah, so we've... What we've done now, just in terms of our closure protocols... There you go, give a round of applause. last few onto the pavement so we can safely get them across the finish line. Well done. But well done to our... There you go, give her a round of applause. Yeah, well Fantastic. Well done. Well done to our last, again, our last safety finishes there. We've got a few. We'll just make sure that we've got your numbers as well but Matt as we start to head into the closing stages of the 2023 Adidas Manchester Marathon just want to say a great thank you for sharing the airwaves with me today thank you to Manchester for a brilliant day to our title partner Adidas our support partners of SIS and earning alcohol free not forgetting as well our charity partners Alzheimer's British Heart Foundation Cancer Research and Sense Thank you, Manchester. We've had a brilliant day. My voice is starting to go as well as my back. It's been sensational. We've had over 22,000 runners finishing today. So well done. Well done to all the support teams, the volunteers and all the race crew. And we very much look forward to seeing you here for the 2024 Adidas Manchester Marathon.